that okay. recording. You'll get that eventually. Yeah. You're going to need it all tonight. Let me tell you guys, this is not so, going to be sci-fi day. No yeah. music, no movies. No time travel. No nope. time travel. No, no questions. <laughs> so, uh, so a bunch of you were talking about a bunch going to some city with the museum that was particularly good. What? Which city? Los Angeles. Okay, so it's got the. Yeah. No, it's not anywhere near Calgary. Unfortunately, yeah. if I could have gone to your last one, yeah, definitely. Here comes. Kim. Yeah, yeah, you would have liked. Yeah, you would have liked to have seen the Tyrrell Museum. Oh yes, Jim. If I had gone there to that conference, then the conversation we'd be having right now would be like, okay, so what are we going to do? Who's got enough chairs? And who's picking up? <laughs> it's a party. I love. I love hanging out. Okay, hey, Jim. Uh, Jim. Yeah. Uh, what university is it? Uh, not the Royal. Um, oh, okay. There's a Roy. Uh, there's a museum. No, a university. University. There's a, there's a University of Calgary. There's, uh, there's a Mount Royal University. Mount, okay, what do you know about Mount Royal? Good. Is it a good school? Um, I <laughs> guess so. Like, why well, like, you think it like, 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 like I haven't really been looking at uh, how to, at. Uh, well, no, because my son, because Avi uh, heard, and he's not sure if that was the school. There's a school, one of the universities in uh, Calgary is looking to expand their mathematics uh, uh, fa uh, program. And so he's, you know, he may uh, look into it and consider uh, uh, yeah. applying, you know, so, uh, but um, sort of wondering, I'll, I'll, I'll check with uh, Adrian when she gets around here too. Yeah. Um, talk. Oh. Oh, uh, maybe I should put you in touch with Jana Lee, uh, who, um, like, or Adrian could too. Uh, yeah, I th yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, he's like, not he's not doing anything because he hasn't. It's just that he just said today he he had been told that one of the schools he couldn't remember which one was yeah. looking to expand their their it wasn't yeah. the university of but yeah. uh yeah okay she, okay so Jenna Lee this. was working at Mount Royal University and and she's Wendy or now, Kyle do you know who this is go ahead I'm sorry uh, yeah okay uh, yeah, so Jan so, so Jan Lee was working there. So so if it's Mount Royal University, she could tell them okay. more about it. All right. Well, I may be back to to ask it another time. I'll wait and see. I'll let uh, Avi go and do a little research. That'd yeah. be fun to have him in Calgary, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, then, he, then he'd have to try and uh, ski again. So uh, we'll see. Uh, but, you, you is it like a log or something? You post What's that? Susan, were you asking about that link you posted? Yeah. Yeah, that yeah. he's he's good. He's CFI's lobbyist. Is he gonna he's gonna be at he's gonna be at CFI on Sunday doing a talk? I've never met him before. He's he's a really good guy. Should we should we try to um do a, an event on Saturday and I, I can invite him? Do you think he'll well, be there? be good, yeah. Just I don't sorry. I don't know if he's I don't know what I don't know his travel plans. Is he okay. live in LA? Where does he live? No, uh, I think DC. Okay. The uh, okay. The conversation has shifted to somebody whose name I missed. <laughs> I don't know. It's in the chat. No yeah. idea who it is. We're just uh -huh. having five conversations at once, Jim. That's just the yes. way it is. Let me add a sixth. Carl, I sent you a DM. I don't think you saw it. <laughs> yeah. Uh... See if I West organization if I fight for the sales of. Oh uh, yeah, uh, probably. I can look. <laughs> yeah, Ashar is really good. So you know this guy, Leonard? Yeah. He's a CFI employee. He was at Cyclone. How come he didn't know him? There was only like 600 <laughs> people there. Yeah. With, with your prodigious skill at, at being social, I would expect I'm that you would shy. get to know everybody. Jane, are you coming again? Jane? Oh, what? Are you coming to Cyclone? Um, tentatively, I, I hope so. Yeah. I hope so too. Look forward to it. Hi, Jane. Hi, Peggy. 
Third Peggy's Thursday. Peggy's having a happy anniversary. Susan's having a happy anniversary. We all are having a happy anniversary. Yay. I'm uh, having a happy fourth anniversary. Year, the beginning of the fourth year. Yeah, today is the first year. And oh, we're recording. I should be doing, I should be like paying attention instead of sending emails and stuff out. Are we almost ready to start? We're almost ready to start. Mm. This is exciting. I cannot freaking believe that we're about to have our fourth and fourth year. To start our fourth year? Yeah, today starts our fourth year. Our anniversary was June 11th, 2020. 2020. Everybody here? This, here. You know what this game, this um, enabled us to, um, well, also the Australian project enabled us to have some really historic experiences together, live through some really hairy times. Absolutely. I, I, yeah, I, I, I was I was amazed at how much I counted on that weekly get together of the Australian Psychic Prediction Project. It was it, in, in many ways the high point of the week. I didn't know what to do with my Tuesday evenings for months and months after. <laughs> I kept suggesting that we start on another country. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and, and Richard it's was horrible. just so eager to go along. It's just so horrible. <laughs> After working on it for like two Watching days. Watching you guys argue over the minutest little thing with these people. I'm like, no, it's false. Just false. No, it's not false. We're gonna be it's like they drove me crazy um, some days. Hello, Jane Jane. Yeah, another Jane. I've been listening to the skeptics guide to the universe for some time and at least most of, <laughs> most of the last several so some years, they've uh, uh, been noting the psychic predictions that were made the previous year. Yeah, they've been doing that since the beginning. And then they make Yeah, they've been doing that for, for a very long time. Really? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah, but they just pick a couple of predictions yeah. and, and there's there's nothing systematic about it. Yeah. They're funny, though. Yeah, <clears throat> that's that's a word. Yeah. Up to my other meeting. Oh, okay. We'll see you in a little bit, Lee. Okay. I'll put you on a team when you get in here. Okay. So, by the way, uh, you mentioned uh, Melanie Teresa King, and I interviewed her today for my first in the series of uh, kicking off uh, Psychon 2023 pre-interviews, and I was flabbergasted. She has never heard of this trivia game, Susan. How? Oh. I don't well, know how, and she spent an so much time with you, and choir and you didn't know in... about that, and she said she spends a lot of time with you, and you never mentioned it? How did well, you she... never mention this to her? Well, she's in a weird time zone. She's in the East Coast. She's in my time zone. What do you mean weird? Okay, well, you're weird. <laughs> well, like she said, there's weird people at that time zone. Mm. Hi, Gail. <laughs> I resemble that remark. Hi. Hi, Bill. Exactly. Hi. When you talk about logical absurdities, I just left the television, so if you haven't been watching, you may not have heard this particular bit of nonsense. Right now, the big claim by the Republicans is that what is going on is, and this is, it seems to be universal among the Republican presidential candidates, what's going on is that Biden wants to be a dictator and is controlling the Department of Justice in order to weaponize it in order to get Donald Trump. Well, Donald Trump apparently in his speech, I don't know if that was today, but the speech they just showed on MSNBC promised that if he is president, he will use the Department of Justice in order to get Biden. In other words, he will be the dictator. Yeah, well, that's that not, they're claiming that's not, no, by the way, it's not universal because Chris Christie is going after him. Oh, that's true. Yeah. He's yeah. Not saying, Logic that's makes right. no sense in that world. Just yeah, the idea well, black of, and well, white. It's so it, it's okay if you're Republican is is the attitude. It, the whole thing is just bizarre. It's just like we're living in upside down world or or something. Well, it's clear, the, it's clearly the, this is nothing new, no. because there has been for uh, several months a standing committee in the U.S. House about the weaponization of the government. Mm -hmm. But 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 the. The thing that's getting to me is what he is promising to do is exactly that. Well, he he, he does... just in a speech said, if you elect me president, 
one of the things I will do is weaponize the Defense Department in order to get well. And he did weaponize Biden. it. So every, every actually everything yeah. Trump says is just projection that he already did. That's or he right. To do. It's all it, projection. It's, it's quite amazing. And don't worry if Nikki Haley is um, elected president, she will She's pardon, pardon Trump. Yeah, several I mean, I of them are saying they're going to pardon him. I think. Yeah. You guys, you know, I mean, I, I I know not every skeptic is or atheist is like me, but my politics is kind of a little bit to the left of Fidel Castro. So, um, <laughs> but he's this, dead, so I don't get that. Um, I was not I, dead. I just started listening to a new podcast. It's called Making the Case. The host is. A uh, U.S. Senator Sheldon Whitehouse of Rhode Island. He's fantastic. He's good. He, yeah. He he. This is the scariest thing that I have ever heard. The transition of the Supreme Court is going according to a plan that's been in. Uh, it's started over forty years ago. Federalist yep. Society. Yeah. And oh. it, it, it's it's called making the case. And there's been so far uh, a trailer, and um, and then the first episode is called "Laying the Groundwork," and it just it is just it was taking my breath away. I mean, maybe oh, he's, he, he's, he's, it he's done a series Reagan. of yeah, he's uh, uh, no before he started yeah, a started he did a uh, a series of um, Senate speeches on the topic. I and uh, it's it, it it is absolutely stunning. All right, so we need to we need to. I hate to interrupt you guys because I'd just rather just sit there and listen to you guys because it's so interesting. Well, we better get started. Well, this this is this. I, I feel like I'm in the right group of people to to say, you know, to be authentic myself. But I really really appreciate having this game you know the recreation and feeling creative and i missed it i was going through a whole bunch of things about my sister's estate and that's nearly wrapped up and so i'm glad to be back i love that you're here wendy and we are glad to have you wendy yes Thank you. even if we may disagree with you occasionally <laughs> occasionally well, bill you're entitled to be wrong <laughs> I think. I remember. so is everybody else <laughs> exactly hi janine your garden looks beautiful. It's growing so well. Hi, Cindy. Hey, Susan. I see Ben's here, but he's on mute. So I don't know if he's got any of the kids with him or anything tonight. But and Karen's he's muted here. Muted and not videoing. Oh. Hello. He's hiding. There comes Ben. Hi, Ben. Hello. Are you alone tonight? I am. Okay. Just me. Just me. Me, myself, and I. We're getting ready yes. to get started. Okay, so. Oh, here comes Jamie and Caspian. I possibly have one more person coming that is somebody that is brand new. Oh, here comes Mono. So we had we had um, Monterey County skeptics last night. We went to Gianni's Pizza, and it's just total social event. I had three brand new people show up that I have no idea, and it was just me and Paul Carr, one of the other Monterey County skeptics, just sitting at a table, this long table, just the two of us. And three of these people came over one after another and said, is this the skeptics group? And I'm going, how did you know? So we get to break in new people? Well, one of them said she'd probably show up, but it wouldn't be till 6.30. Her name is Colleen. So if she shows up. Well, she, it's 6.30 now. Well, late. she's she's yeah. coming from work. She yeah. lives in Salinas, uh, drives, yeah. works in Salinas and lives in Monterey. So yeah. it might be a little later. But if she shows up, just be that's who she is. We'll be on our best behavior. <laughs> Why? Yeah. So I don't know her really well. Be ourselves. Oh yeah, I want her to feel really welcome. Yeah. You guys By the way, to... Alan, if you, uh, I guess if we exchange emails, I could I could give you Jana Lee's email and say, uh, tell her that you, you're 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 looking for information on uh, Mount Royal University. If that turns out to be the one. Well, let's let's you know what. Let's wait till next week, and we'll see if 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 Avi's found out, you know. And then then I'll then I'll be back to you. Yeah. Hi, Thanks. Kevin. Hi, everybody. Hi, Mono. 
Hello. Good to see you guys. Hi. Welcome to Gerbic Fest 2023, according to Ron. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> the cactus just really, the mirage looking effect there. All right, so we're gonna get started. This is works, oh. as you guys know, this is how it, how it happens. Uh, what we're gonna do is I'm in control of the whole game all night. Oh, that's so, right. <laughs> Hence is, Skirvik Fest. This is Skirvik Fest. Um, Carl, I'm putting you in the other thing. Oh, sorry, Mono. But you Tonight's, won't ever be on our team. So what we're going to do is we're going to have an unusual, a little bit unusual. I'm not doing anything really weird. I'm not going to be doing anything super strange. It's going to make you guys all freak out and get mad at me. But tonight is the first night <laughs> of year four. And this started out, this trivia game started out on a whim when Robin Welch said, um, let's start doing, keep doing trivia because we couldn't go to the uh, Monterey County skeptics, couldn't go to the trivia in person at the pub. And so we, we, she tried to put on a trivia game and I wouldn't shut up through the whole thing. And I was laughing and having a good time. And her daughter got really upset because I was talking and laughing and she called me a boomer. So She's having too much fun. <laughs> so I said, fine, I'll put my own trivia game on. And I said, and that was a Tuesday. And I said, what are you guys doing in a couple of days? I'll write some questions. And we had a trivia game on Thursday and I just completely made up what we were doing. And the next thing I know, everybody seemed to have a good time. Yeah, we're starting year three, right? That is a legend born. And so, um, uh, but it's yeah, a, we have our, okay. yeah, four year trivia degree. You guys are funny. So um, what happened is I did it on Thursday and people said, well, that was fun. We're doing it again next Thursday, right? And I said, well, I guess I could do it again. That was fun. So I wrote more categories and we were doing, we were doing five categories. No, six categories. And then I wrote the next one and then we did it again and we made next one. So it was like, I was doing it for a long time. We finally went to six, uh, went down to five categories to make it quicker. And <laughs> you guys are so cute. And um, then- you sure, about, you sure about that? I don't remember the different number of categories. Yeah, if you go, to, if you were to go back and look, you would oh. see that there was the first category. The first game ever. Um, Thought it was four and a bonus, but I wasn't at the first one. I was at the second or third one. Okay, the very, very first one. What the category was California, monsters, American presidents, classic kid literature, random, and bonus. So mm. six, six, yeah. So we went, we went a long time. The next week was Disney. Famous crimes, Barack Obama, <laughs> sci-fi, literature, and bonus. Yeah, so we did it for a while, and, and I was writing them all, and it was only after a while you guys finally talked me into allowing you guys to write the categories, too. But I'm really confused, because I'm looking at the score sheet, and I'm looking at game one, and it's got the same that we do now. So do, are some of them not on that score sheet? No, they're all, oh, the score sheet? Yeah, yeah. probably. Didn't you alter the score sheet so Probably that it would was. be like uniform throughout the whole time? No, I no, I wouldn't have done that. I was looking at the last question, the, the questions. It's just it's just been retconned. Oh, I don't know. So, Mandela so this is year four. Right. So we started we, we are seniors four. now. And this is like we a high school or college school. grad final year. So, so graduate. next oh, week yeah. I have Caspian down, and that's the only person I have at the moment. So I'm oh, I have one ready. Okay. I do one too. I haven't done one in a while. Okay. And okay. Is there so any chance I would want to, uh, my, my category is going to be anything like any of yours tonight? No. I sure hope not. Probably not. So I'm trying to, because it's me this time, I'm trying to pick some things that are a little more social. Not, so if these are a little harder than you think that you're used to, so be it. Tough. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Susan, I can do a category next week. Okay, great. Thank you. 
So anyway, in response to somebody's comment the other a uh, few moments ago, I went and put on my trivia shirt. I may be wrong, but it's highly unlikely. Unlikely. <laughs> unlikely. <laughs> That's cute, Bill. All right. So for Ben and for uh, Rob, who've been helping so much on this trivia, whenever we, when I'm not able to do this, they also have control of the social trivia spreadsheet. Please don't look at future trivia ever, because that's where I start putting my categories. But here's the categories I had written down on there for them to, to see. And if anybody had noticed, I, uh, whenever I screen share, I've been showing these. So category one is more Punch and Judy. Number two is Poodles. Three is left-handed Nigerian, no, three is Iranian dictators. Four is left-handed Nigerian football players. And five, the bonus is Dr. Pepper locations. Damn, I spent the whole week studying all of those. Are you telling me that's <laughs> not going to be tonight? Oh. I'm sorry, that's not what we're going to do tonight. So you'll learn about them as we go. So let's get into our teams. How dare you deceive us like that, Susan? Damn. And you learned all about left-handed Nigerian football players? Ugh. I accidentally studied right-hand Nigerian football players. <laughs> How about left-footed Nigerian football players? How about poodles? Who took on poodles? Were any of these Nigerian football uh, players princes? Dictators. They're the only ones who could afford to play. And of course, I studied Nigerians who play American football. Mm. Yeah. That Not learning sense. from Ted Lasso. Ted Lasso. Oh, that's right. Oh, that show. Oh, well, like, gee, if it's, the, if it's if it's the football that everybody else in the world plays, uh, then th then they would be left footed. <laughs> Boo. Where's Vincent? <laughs> I was just wondering that. Canada. Uh -huh. <laughs> Probably. Is more specific. Problem solved. So my bonus category is not finalized yet. I have several written. <laughs> no, they, don't you laugh, Carl. I heard you laugh. I have several wit written. I want to see how your scores are. Oh, okay. up to it. Oh, so Before she's going to gear it up. The, I want to make the, the bonuses, bonuses are completed. Back. You just haven't chosen which one it will be. Right. I want to see how you guys do and how much it's you guys. In a quantum state. <laughs> yeah, that's how it is. Okay. Adrian no, says no, she's going to probably no. show up in a little bit. Uh, Paula <laughs> says she might be able to show up. Um, Deborah usually shows up a few minutes late. Um, I might be leaving early. Not sure yet. Um, okay. I might also be leaving very shortly. Um, I'm on call today and we just got a P1 level issue that came up. So we will a see P1? if I have to. Yes. Let me know when it's Priority P2. one. Priority had, one and, means and that had, all, and, all the things are down. Uh, and I had brain surgery last night up. yesterday. So except for the thing that sends P1 <laughs> alerts. Did they find one anything? <laughs> Ron, All right, they so let me send you off to your room no. before we, we get. You said it'll have to come out. Here, Colleen, here she is. Here she is. It's all be nice. It's a what? surprise. This is Colleen. <laughs> We're going to be surprised by being I nice. I told you guys you have to be really, really nice. <laughs> so we're all stop talking. I think we should it's the only way we can. It's the only way. <laughs> that's the that's only way it takes. And I'll be super nice. I think we should sing happy birthday again. It's This is not a birthday. This is an anniversary. Colleen, you there? Happy anniversary to you. <laughs> I am here. Wonderful. I'm so Who is excited. this person? I was just Hi, telling Colleen. everybody. Hi, Colleen. Colleen. Hi. She looks just like Colleen. <laughs> I was plus just she, telling him that she's a pirate. Know. Colleen so R. They're all been R. going to be on their best behavior now. Okay, so what we're going to do, Colleen, are you comfortable or are you familiar using breakout rooms? Uh, yes. Yeah, I've okay. had that happen on a couple of different meetings. So, okay, so, so cool. What you're going to do right now is I'm going to send you guys beauty. to your rooms. I'm going to put you guys in separate rooms. The, what you're going to be is you're going to be in a group with uh, five people. And probably four right now. Other people will join in a little bit. And then that will be your team for the rest of the night. Here comes Celia. And then uh, you'll always be keep, keep coming back to that same room each time with these people. Okay. Here comes Vincent. And so I'm stalling just in case we got a couple more people show up. And what you're going to do first is you're going to come up with a team name. So whoever's in Colleen's room, uh -huh. can you guys make sure that she knows the rules and explain to her what's going on? Um, I'm going to just make sure you guys all do that. Oh, here comes Mike Wolf. And also, uh, how it works. This is totally a social game, Colleen. 
So um, there's a lot of going back, back and forth. And forth. <laughs> we'll yeah, we'll so call don't, it banter. Don't, don't freak out. Okay. Okay. So um, some of the people here who've only been here a few games themselves. Lee's only been here like five games. So, you know, and Savia has been here like five games too. So there's several people. Hi, Savia. Vincent, we were just talking about you. Oh, really? Jim gave a really bad dad joke. And so we were like, where's Vincent? Ah, uh, we figured, you know, okay, uh, so I'm getting ready to put you guys in your rooms. I should have been doing that, but I was talking and I didn't get it done. So five rooms. I want to. Okay, so nobody's in uh, since I'm running everything. This is nice because I don't have to have you guys. Um... Oh. Okay, cool. Let me look for a second and see if I like the way this looks. Tear it down. Hold on. Talk amongst yourselves for a second. She doesn't okay. like it. She's Gossip. moving people. Now I'm really scared. Yeah. Gossip. Didn't anyone tell Colleen if she's eating while on screen, she has to share it with everybody? Well, I, I, nobody told her that rule yet. I wish I could. This is pizza from last night, and it was fantastic. Oh, I had mine for lunch today. <laughs> <laughs> but if you're, but if you're, but if you're eating virtually, it has to be. It, it, it can only be bits and bites. That's right. <laughs> oh, oh, very good. Oh very no. Good. Have a see, see, Vincent, you're getting out. That was that was a Vincent level one. Hey, why don't you guys put your locations on your on your names? That'd be nice. Calling that we should know where y'all are from. That would be kind of sweet. Maybe um, someday. I'm from Canada. Eh? Uh, uh, oh, here comes Karen again. She was just here and she's back. Okay. She's here and she was back. I'm going to pause for station identification. Okay. I actually knew uh, a, a store that provided computer supplies and had ice cream, and it was called Licks and Bites. Oh. <laughs> well, when Fry's Electronics first opened, they sold. Uh, uh, snacks as well so you could uh, uh, walk down one aisle and find uh, chips and oh what was that? they they said that they sold chips and chips uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> as in snack chips could, and could computer you get fries chips. with that um so in fact the uh, fries grew out of a grocery chain so the first stores were full grocery stores that then added the electronics. Uh, Licks and Bites. Uh, uh, a Vampire's Adult Store. So there was actually, I did not make this up. I know it sounds crazy, but there's a fast food chicken um, place in rural Nova Scotia called Lick a chick. <laughs> For real. Oh, and it still I am, exists. Uh, all, all, all Nova Scotia. I've heard of this, yes. I thought that was in Amsterdam. No, <laughs> no, it's it's in North Sydney, Nova Scotia, on Cape Breton Island. Oh, there was a I get in Las Vegas, there are I passed close to I, I cast, passed close to Sydney, Nova Scotia, but didn't go in. I did the I did drive the Cabot Trail and took a couple mm -hmm. of hikes. Mm -hmm. Okay. There was a combination okay. gas station and restaurant called Eat and Get Gas. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Go Yay. and do your thing. Make sure you guys explain to Karen uh Colleen what's going on. Uh. Came back. I'm so proud recording, of you guys. Recording in progress. Yep. So, all right. So, I don't know if everybody uh, um, got some good names. There was nothing happening in the news at all whatsoever these days. Nope. I can't imagine how you <laughs> were able to choose anything. Boring. Boring. Boring news. Well, <laughs> every day. Mm. My gosh. I turn on the news and it's just blah blah blah. Nothing happening. The world is everything's great. And well, except except that Canada's still burning down. 
Oh yeah, Canada burning. Well, we had several names of Canada last week. Anyway, I like um, I like names that are current and in the news. I think they're all fun. And Jim, so at least you're not sending your smoke uh, my way this week. Right. Last week, <laughs> it almost pegged the needle on the awful air scale. Literally, it was like awful 20 points scale. off the highest it possibly goes. And I, I like, it's I like to, Ron's it's uh, this week. new name. He says the nice part of New Jersey. That's pretty funny. Um, it's, <laughs> yeah, I want nice to differentiate from where Rob is. <laughs> for your locations on your name, I think it'd be fun. Okay, so today, you guys, we're ready to start our fourth year. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to do our names first. So unless, in case you guys didn't tell Colleen and anybody who's watching out there, hello, everybody in YouTube land. Hi, welcome. welcome. Hi, Wendy. Deborah's here. <laughs> so we're going to do four full rounds, 10 questions each, and a bonus. After the second round, we take a bathroom break or whatever. I mean, you guys can go anytime. I I, I don't care, but we take an official ba bathroom break at uh, for about five minutes after the second round. And then we come back, we do some announcements for about 10 minutes, what's going on, and to let everybody know what's going on. And then we go back to the round three. Now, this is the first time I've done everything for a long time, I think. I don't think I don't think I fully run the game in a while. It's been a while. Anyway. So for the first category, what was it? Iranian dictators? Oh, oh I got to do team names. That's right. All right. So team number one, who shall no longer be called team number one, unless you name yourself team number one, Colleen, Faith, Romero, Karen, Kyle, Peggy, Deborah, and Wendy. Who are you tonight? We are espionage with Kofifi in the first floor bathroom. Yeah. Faith was inspired by Clue. <laughs> Clue? The game Clue. You know, you have a oh, weapon. In the oh, I get it. I and get a it. little bit of uh, Aperol spray. Spinach with confete. Okay. In the bathroom. Okay. bathroom. First floor bathroom. That's good. That's good. Poison, good. Poison confete. Poison confete. Okay. Bill, Jamie, Caspian, Jane in Oregon, Jim and Leonard. That is reboot the left footed Nigerian prince. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's see, put that in, in the chat. chat. Kind of a private joke. <laughs> okay. Not so private. <laughs> you, you had to be there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm waiting for it to show. Okay. If I get cut off, I post, I sent it direct to you, Susan. I might. Yeah, I got it. Okay. okay. Team number three. Which would be Brandy, Carolyn, Bob, Jane in California, Janine and Kevin. What's your what's the winning team name tonight? Who knows? The one with Carl on it. <laughs> oh, oh, Kevin. Brandy, Carolyn, Bob, Jane in California, Janine and Kevin. Kevin come back. Charge. What happened to Kevin? Kevin? I thought Kevin was Kevin's team four. No, no, oh, Kevin, no. Kevin's team three. with us. Oh, he wrote team number four, so that's the one. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Oh, okay. He put it in the chat private to me, but he put team four, so I thought it was his. Okay, oh, that's oh, part okay. of the name. All right, standing with Trump now. You may be standing with him later. Just don't drop the soap. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh. Geez. oh. <laughs> wow. All right, so team number four, Ben, Cindy, Gail, Carl, Mono, and Ron. After three years, we've run out of ideas for names. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good names. one. That's lame. I love it. <laughs> Alan, Celia, Mike Wolf, Rob, and Vincent. Someone Please. define recuse for Judge Eileen Cannon. Please. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh, cool. I, heard some, it. I heard some really good news today. I don't know if you've heard this or not, what? but if if something happens with the Miami case, they haven't they haven't filed Jersey again. New they Jersey, do, they can New do Jersey. a Jersey, uh, New Jersey drive for me. and they can do Washington D.C. So they got two more cases, all just ready to go. If and if she starts stalling, they can open it up in Washington D.C. or in New Jersey. So just it, it depends how she screws it up. Well, they said that it'll, it should be our, anyway, getting off subject again. So tonight's our anniversary. It's the first day of the fourth year of trivia. Game number 164. We've never missed a Thursday. 
never think thankfully to Ben and Rob who have run the game whenever I can't be here or I have no Wi-Fi connection or whatever. Really appreciate it. Kevin's coming back in. And um, so tonight we're going to have, I'm running everything with a little bit different categories than normal. So the, the team names are Espionage with Kofefe in the first floor bathroom versus Reboot the Left-Footed Nigerian Prince versus Standing with Trump Now, you may be standing with him later, just don't drop the soap versus After Three Years, we've run out of names, ideas for names versus someone define recluse recuse for judge eileen cannon please who yeah. who who there's no recuse for that <laughs> who, 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 who will be the winner tonight on our first year we don't know okay so you guys are ready we are ready everybody sitting down no i'm now okay Somebody. So I have to think about which direction I want to start these in. And remember, this is going to be a little harder than normal. I have I've gone out there and done things that are going to probably take you guys all off, I hope, and will be tougher than normal. You're hoping to take us off? Wow. Yeah. No sci-fi, no time travel, no movies, no, no, none of that stuff. All Billy Joel all night. No Billy Joel, no music. We no. want to go back and pick a name you can't pronounce. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, so let's... categories of Punch and Judy. Yeah, Punch and Judy expanded. Okay. <laughs> All right. So here's what we're gonna do is I'm gonna start with this one. Punch and Judy in space. Can you start with this one. <laughs> <laughs> no, Punch and Judy in a lighthouse. Okay, so here's the first one. Now, this is inspired by Celestia Ward from the Scoring the Strange podcast. And I'll put the category here in the chat. Pregnancy superstitions from uh, Celestia Ward and Snopes. Oh, 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 oh. Pregnancy superstitions. All right. Hmm. Okay. See the writing on the wall. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, so question number one. These will all be in the chat. Hopefully everything is updated okay. When you get into your rooms, um, somebody may end up putting them out. So you can, anyway, you'll figure it out. Okay. Question number one. Remember, you guys are all on mute. Only on mute if you have something funny to say. Okay, question number one, true or false? The rabbit test for pregnancy actually didn't mean that the rab that if the rabbit died, you were pregnant. Question number two. If a woman experiences a lot of heartburn during your pregnancy, there's a good chance she will have what? This is superstition. Question number three. True or false? This is superstition, not really. So the superstition is that the woman who has house heartburn will have whatever, but that's not a scientific medical reality. No, no, no. Okay, just are, just to clarify. Are you, are okay. you asking what sex the child is going to be, or is there something more? I to said it? what the child. What what does it mean if a child if if a woman experiences a lot of heartburn during her pregnancy? There's a good chance she will have. Great question, Susan. Thank you, Karen. I was going to say, some people already know side. the answer, Robert. Okay, true or false, an IKEA ad campaign in January 2018 asked women to dab their own urine on the advertisement. If the woman is pregnant, the paper shows a coupon for a crib. <laughs> oh. and, and when I say true or false, I'm not going to fool you by it actually being January of 19, 2020 or something. No, it's, it's, it would have to be completely wrong. Okay. Question number four. According oh. to something I can't pronounce, Cahoon Medical Papyrus, the oldest known medical text, the ancient Egyptians believed in a fertility test that involved making a woman sit atop a pile of dirt that's been soaked in old beer, fruit, and dates. This was said to provide which result? And I gave you some multiple choices because I know this is kind of odd. So uh, the result of question, uh, the answer A is any woman who could stand this for at least one hour was said to be fertile. 
B, the number of times she threw up was the number of future children she would have. C, if she was willing to partake in the test, she was too foolish to bear children. Or D, by sitting there an entire day and night, she would reverse an unwanted pregnancy. So you got to figure out which one of those four it is. And that was making a woman sit atop a pile of dirt that's been soaked in old beer, fruit, and dates. <laughs> So we are doing time travel because that's the only way you can reverse a pregnancy. But okay. Yeah, that's it. Okay, question number five, true or false? This is weird. I have not done this in so long. I forgot I have to like copy the, the things over into the chat. True or false? The baby train. This is about the baby train. Did a town with a loud early morning train experience and usually high birth rates? who knows number six in ancient greece in order to help assure a safe birth the birthing room had to be cleared of what signs of evil evil doing that were thought to be a magical obstacle to delivery a knots you know like tied mm -hmm. things b cats you know the things of meow uh, <laughs> c lego pieces or d mirrors so I got most of these questions from Celestia Ward. So the, I didn't write them all. Number seven, an old folk tale from South America warns that if you place a baby with its head facing behind you over your shoulder, you risk what happening? A, getting barf all down your back. <laughs> B, the baby's face might fall off. C, a witch will kidnap your baby. Or D, the baby will forget who you are. Deborah's was cracking up. Okay. One of those is true, huh? Hmm. Yes, one of those is true. According to an old folklore from South America. So number eight. Here we go. True or false? Coca-Cola is an effective contraceptive if used as a spermicide directly after intercourse. Huh? Number nine, number nine, true or false? Morning sickness only happens in the morning. And last but not least in this wonderful category of pregnancy superstitions, mostly from Celestia Ward. Thank you, Celestia. Is another true and false. A amorous couple engaged in a parking car were rammed from behind by another vehicle leading to an unplanned pregnancy <laughs> and lawsuit. <laughs> like that one, Deborah. Deborah's right next to my picture up here. So she's right on my left hand side. So I can see that. I can see me again. Oh my God. <laughs> Cindy, I'm going to give you the questions again because you, you were out when these were here. Oh, you should know, Susan. I found it today. There's a new option in Zoom that you can force the view you have on everyone else in the session. I can do what? Yeah. You know how the tiles are all different for everybody? You can change that so everyone sees exactly what you see. Ooh. I yeah, can impose my yeah. will on people? Power. Oh, my God. Power. Power. Do I have to do something Power. special? So yeah, you can't you can't are, do it in the session. You do it on you know on the website uh, as oh as beforehand. A yep, yep. Just just to be clear, are these superstitions? Is it the question whether these are superstitions that actually exist, or are these superstitions that are actually true? They're just superstitions. Superstitions. No, yeah. they 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 all have a different question. Like there's true or false. Yeah. Which is the superstition? Hey, what the heck is that? They're, from they're context it's believe, pretty yeah. obvious yeah, yeah you guys will have fun anyway yeah, no, i will be visiting your rooms they're all true jim it's which ones are the least true superstitions but but we'll figure out the you'll be fine they're all figure outable and if you don't figure them outable oh well Number, number 10 number 10 is how susan had caspian <laughs> <laughs> you don't figure them out you probably shouldn't be having children that's true. yeah yes poor caspian okay 
Kevin, you're in room, room three. four. You're three. Room. Really? You changed the team well, number? You, you told me four, but it was actually three. Oh, I'm sorry. That's all right. That's where you are. Cindy, I just gave you the questions again. Okay, cool. Let me go visit the classrooms. Well, maybe I should put the questions in the... No, I'm going to go visit. So let's start with room five. Let's see what's going on over there. Killing... The rabbit would die in the process of the operation, generally, but it's not if the rabbit dies, the woman's pregnant. There was some kind of um, chemical interaction between the woman's urine and this an organ of the of the rabbit. But they don't wait to see the rabbit die. They remove this thing from the rabbit, and the rabbit usually dies in that process anyway. Am I making sense? No, but it sounds good. <laughs> I've heard this also, so I, I agree. Okay. Uh, so I'm I'm thinking uh, this is either it's a uh, it would be if with that much uh, that much heartburn, it's probably a boy. Boy, because yeah. because because he's, he's giving you so much grief. Yep. Well, um, I wanted her to clarify this, but she wouldn't do it because it could mean something like have a small child, have right. It could be twins. A right, so and I, I think. Yeah, I don't know. it could be. It could I, be that she's having a boy. It could be you're having a girl. It could be um, birthing early, being pregnant. Right, it could be a lot of things. So I don't know twins, that it's just the gender things which popped into my head. Yeah. Well, okay. Be. So our our yeah, our boy. our scribe has put twins down. Any particular? Wait, wait, I have a, no, no. If if a woman experiences a lot of heartburn during her pregnancy, there's a good chance that she will have heartburn. Yeah, I mean that's another thing. I said no. or a <laughs> jar of tums at her truth. face. I don't, no, I don't, no. I don't like this one. No, it'd be a boy or a girl or a preemie or um, something like that. And I'm actually personally siding with boy, but it could be twins, but or something else. But, but, but twins, are, twins are I'm so agreeing, rare. Twins are so with, rare. With, I'm agreeing with boy because yeah. of the, the reason, because it means it's some feisty, troublesome boy. Yeah, yes. I'm, Okay. If a woman experiences, there's a good chance she will have what? Does anybody know? I don't know what that one is. I'm assuming it's they're talking about it will either have a boy or a girl, but I don't know. Yeah, the probably was supposed to determine the sex. Yeah, yeah, that's my guess. I just don't so let's know say which one it is. If she will have a boy. Yeah, I would assume heartburn tells me that it's probably a boy. Okay. Yeah, that's a. That's a good guess, I think, too. Okay. Probably false on three. I oh, would say three. false. Three sounds so ridiculous. It must be true. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, that's no, my it must be false. Yeah. I could, I could believe that they just included a pregnancy test in the ad as part of the ad. Do you want to say true? Yeah. I like true. Yeah. Okay, this is where I got stuck because I was trying to fix that. There's the A, B, C, and D. Well, right? here, right. Uh, yeah, if it's helpful here. I, I was going to paste the whole thing, but that's just way too much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that, oh, that would have been awful for the employees. Oh, I got a coupon. Okay. Mm -hmm. I can't I'll imagine, especially in 2018, I can't imagine that being true. Yeah. Yeah. False. False. Who would take yeah. a piece of paper with a coupon on it that only could be seen if you, you you're, it's so disgusting to take yeah. that to a store. So it has to be false. It might have been in Finland, though. I don't know. <laughs> if it's true, it was a joke on April Fool's or something, you know? <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Yeah, probably any liquid probably would have revealed the coupon. You could just Yeah. I'm gonna uh, number four, I guess D. I like D. Yeah. You think D? Yeah. yeah. D sounds that, good to me. That was my guess. I mean yeah. I would hope so. 
we have contraceptive. The baby train did a town with a loud. It should be the baby train period. Did a town with a loud early morning train experience unusually high birth rates? Oh, maybe this is like a colon. Yeah. Yeah. Baby yeah. Train. Did a did a town with a loud unusually Ooh. high birth rate. Is that what you meant, Susan? It's a question. She's gone. No, she's still there. Is she still being recorded? Yeah, wait, yeah. What, what's the question? I wonder if it's true just because maybe they named it the baby train afterwards. Like they noticed there's a whole bunch of babies. I don't know. Like I'm thinking that question five should read the baby train, period or comma or colon. colon. Did a town with a loud early morning train experience usually high birth rates? It's a question you're asking us, right? Is it yeah, true or false? Was there a town that they called the baby train or something? have unusually high birth rates. Mm -hmm. You're right. So the reason I, I thought, well, I thought maybe it, up early and they didn't have anything to do. They weren't ready for breakfast. There you go. So, yeah. There you go. I'll, I'll tell, so I'll tell once true? we get our answers, I'll tell you a joke version of that. <laughs> true? After she's not recording, right? Okay, so you're saying And A is true regardless of whether it's an old folk tale or not. <laughs> Hi, Susan. Yes. Well, the head is facing behind you, so you may not get barf on you. Yeah. Right. If the baby but, but, the but, head but, was but, facing but what barf for you. Does come out will uh, land on your back. <laughs> I, uh, I, 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 uh, Susan, I really like the idea of ancient Greek Lego pieces. <laughs> okay. They so had to so, start somewhere. Yeah. Uh, yes, that's true. Yes. Okay. The baby's face might fall off. That's a that's a good that's yeah. that's a good no, no, I, I I think it's something to do with a witch. I think that the baby will forget who you are. Because it doesn't see who your your face. Yeah, it's not seeing you. Uh, okay. Uh, it's a wild guess. I think they will just have to vote oh. on this one because it's going to be a wild guess. Okay, go with you, D you, then. You, yeah, it's no. fine. You for you. We're just you guessing. Tweeted me, Jane. I'll go with D. I think. Okay, true eight, or false? I think this is true. Really. Oh, really? Yeah, it's, again, a wild guess, but it, it seems logical. It doesn't have to be Mentos and Diet Coke? <laughs> it, <it's, laughs> yeah. it seems uh, logical to me. Um, yeah. well, something, no, about the, something about the acidity? Mm -hmm. sperm or something? Oh, except that it may not be, the, it may not be true that Coca-Cola is an effective contrast. Correct. But that they believed that people believe it. That people believe it. So yeah. that would be true because it's uh, I think that in, it's in to be true. And I think that in times past that women probably tried anything that seemed uh, So Susan, the, so this is a good example for number 8. Are we saying that the assertion that Coca-Cola is a contracept a good contraceptive is true or are we saying that this is a superstition? Is this a superstition? Okay, in that, in that case, okay. I bet yes. that's true. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's go with true. And clearly, number nine is also true, because that's why it's called... No, I, no, because anybody who has known a pregnant woman during the second trimester knows that morning sickness happens all the time. But, if it's in the afternoon, but the question it's afternoon isn't whether or not it's true. Yeah. The question is whether or not there is a superstition that says this. Yeah, Except I don't know anybody... how to answer this because I can tell you that for sure morning sickness happens all 
all yes. hours of the day. Yeah, absolutely. Just ask, but just sure ask when, yeah. Sure the thing is, it's so well known that morning sickness happens all the time. There is no superstition that says the other way. And as we all know, no superstitions exist where there is overwhelming evidence to the contrary. Oh, yes, you would bring that up. <laughs> <laughs> And Susan, Susan would think of cats. She's got cats on the brain. That's true. Oh, that's a good point. Never mind. I'm not going to say anything. Are you guys doing in here? Knots are yours? Run number six. Maybe oh. let's go with knots because maybe that would signify that there would be like tension or things would get tied up. Things yeah. would get tied yeah. up. There would be an obstacle or something to overcome. Mm hmm. I like knots. Here. Anybody sure. have an objection to knots? No objection. All righty then. Okay, this is hilarious, this one. Please, <laughs> someone read it out loud again. <laughs> An old folk tale from South America warns that if you place a baby with its head facing behind you, over your shoulder, you risk what happening? A, yes, absolutely getting barf all down your back. <laughs> Probably not the answer she's looking for. B, the baby's face might fall off. <laughs> probably not the answer. C, a witch will kidnap your baby and D, the baby will forget who you are. <laughs> I think it's D, but I, don't yeah, I think I it's D too. D. I was leaning that way myself. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. It's either D or the witch, but um, Fine. why would the witch kidnap for that? Okay. And how would that make it any easier, right? I mean... Yeah. Now, the matter. thing about the Coca-Cola is they say that but if it's used after intercourse, honey, it is too okay. late. I am a millennial a baby and we got sex ed out the wazoo. And this was not a thing that I remember us being taught that would not no. work. No, because it, it goes <laughs> right through the os into the cervix. Right, it's but this time. was not something that they told us, hey, Coca-Cola is not a valid contraception. Yeah, no, we weren't warned against this it. This was not something we were warned about in the D.A.R.E. era. Yeah, no, no, like, spermicide needs to go in first. Before, right. to kill and, the sperm. You, I mean, people do douche and all that well, stuff. I heard, I heard her, crazy but... things like if you douche or you do no. you this no. or you did that, it would prevent it, like... Nope, it's and I its never way. heard the crap about putting Coca Cola up your vagina. Like I it'll rot, rot your teeth, though. It comes yeah, down to what I, was the definition I heard that of Coca Cola effective. would make worms come out of meat. What but Kyle? I never heard that Coca Cola would prevent you from being come pregnant. No. What did you say, Kyle? Well, it's a de what's the definition of effective? <laughs> I mean, it couldn't hurt. Well, actually, it could. Ninety-eight percent. Like, okay, number nine is false. Yeah. yeah. We yes. all know that. We've all been yes. with pregnant women. I've it's kind never of there been in pregnant the name, though. That. Um, you don't even have to be pregnant. And number that. 10 <laughs> is true. Number hilarious. 10 is true. That is hilarious. Is it really is it true? Really? Yes, because this this was also something I was taught that you do not want to let your boyfriend ejaculate anywhere near the outside of your vagina because or your vulva, whatever anatomical part we're talking about, because... They it swim. The little bastards it swim. It's possible if the sperm That's can possible. somehow enter that area, you can get pregnant. Okay. Yeah. Pe so people get 10. pregnant in swimming pools. Mm -hmm. Real? A parked car. It's possible. And they have to be pretty close. Not you, know. you Kyle. <laughs> yeah, but, but, but Faith, that doesn't make me think. That makes makes me think like everything was in position the car rams well, no it wasn't necessarily that was everything was in position it was that it was possible that his sperm somehow got close to her vaginal vulva area okay, and it that's vibrated its way up it's but i like true. the the they're being it rammed happened. from it happened. behind Okay. Yeah. Does anybody? I'm just, I'm just wondering what Colleen is thinking through this all. Like, what the hell? Well, why did you have we, this? We talked about this, like, and this is how I probably what never got pregnant as a teenager. It's your category, because... Susan. I know. Yeah, right? I know. But I wrote these ages ago. Hey, like, Wendy. I was petrified as a teenager when I knew that, it, like, even if a penis didn't go inside you, if the sperm got anywhere near your vaginal area, it could migrate in the same like, room. But not in the same room, but if like they ejaculated on your what side the and you're near sperm. whatever, or it's like those spitting cobras, outside, like that, <laughs> on a that sperm could make its way up. 
like that was a real thing like it, it petrified me I was like you're keeping your penis away like you want to do whatever you can't do it here da, 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 da. you got to do it somewhere where it can't like M- moving on from face. Face. that's I mean, what I socks are for right exactly <laughs> hey Wendy uh we, we haven't heard anything from you and you're muted so if yeah. there's anything that you want to contribute unmute yourself because we talk don't the whole time it. I didn't know. I've been talking the whole time. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. okay. Did you have the answers the whole time? You just well, wondered why they're ignoring you. It's been taking notes. <laughs> do, you, yeah. do you disagree with any of our answers, Wendy? No, I'm good with everything that we agreed on, or that okay. you agreed on. I was listening. I'm we didn't know you were in agreement. So do you think now the driver I'm really of the my childhood trauma here? <laughs> do you think the driver <laughs> of the other <laughs> car could <laughs> argue for custody? <laughs> <laughs> no, they couldn't because they weren't the originator of the sperm, but they could be probably charged with sexual assault. <laughs> <laughs> or have to pay part of the child support. Make sense, it does make sense. Like, what if he had spontaneous ejaculation from the excitement of the car? Right. Or seeing the train, <laughs> seeing or hearing the train. Right, right. right. Okay, what it means, amorous couples, they probably were engaging in some type of sexual act, and they the other person hit their parked car. They were parking their car. They were car parking at Love of Way. So how, how does that lead to an unplanned pregnancy? Because because he didn't mean to do what he, he did. He do it. The car he wasn't intending to let his sperm anywhere near her vaginal vulva area. It could have been that it ripped the condom because of yes. the force of the... Of or the he was planning to pull out and then didn't get the chance Right. Pulling out's a hundred percent effective. On depositing his seat on another. <laughs> oh yeah, we all know that. He's he pulling out right. late. That's a problem. Yeah, that's yeah. it could be the jolt <laughs> of adrenaline <laughs> from the car wreck. Led. I believe you guys are having so much fun on this one. <laughs> you knew that's going to happen. We, we've totally given you pornographic content. For you. Actually, all of this would have been a moot point had the car that rammed their uh, twenty five uh, nineteen seventy five Pinto not been a Rolls Royce. It changed yeah. the whole. But structure. let's just say we didn't need the car to do the ramming, <laughs> did we? Because they were doing enough ramming themselves. <laughs> they already all ramming. The child grew up to be. Actually, we're like, how can we try? For those them? of you listening, this is PG thirteen or R. Usually they're G. I'm so <laughs> glad time's up. Reliable witnesses, right? <laughs> I was fun listening to your guys' conversations. Very well, interesting. I like I my categories and ages. I like the category not just because I liked it because it was kind of fun. Um, and my mom was a big pioneer in natural childbirth. So, <laughs> um, th- did any of you guys have any trouble again with the uh, losing all the questions in uh, yep. in the chat? Yes. Yeah. yes, I did. I went in, I looked at the things, and I was like, what? They're not there anymore. Okay, Peggy so- had, had copied them, and so so we got them back. Yeah, you guys, you can, if somebody doesn't have them, I have them already here. I can just boom right there to you. So just send me a message and I'll come over and do that. Okay, so this was fun. Let's move Uh, to the next category. You ready? We have to to know. (laughs) All right, so let's see how you guys did. Now, no yelling at me. Remember, you got to be extra nice. Colleen's here today. We have to put our best foot forward. So no yelling at me if you don't like these answers. Hey, Karen. You'd be ready with your. Can nice. we yell at we? Can, can we yell at you if we, if we do if we do like the answers? Yeah, if it's positive yelling, that's okay. <laughs> okay, so true or false? Hey, I'm going to give you some links to these. So some of these I got from um, Celestia, and some of them I got from like Snopes. I I didn't like some of the ones Celestia had, had; they were a little too vague. So here we go. Number one is. False. Can can you put the questions up again? Oh yeah, sure. Okay. Couldn't see what you mean by number one. Okay, here's number one. This is the rabbit test for the pregnancy that didn't false. mean that yeah. the rabbit had died. It is false. The, and there's the uh nopes things on there. It says that if the uh the I think I heard was Cecilia was explaining it earlier that it, it's um the yeah. The rabbit will have wait, to. Wait, wait, you have a double negative, Susan. Susan. So yeah. it's a double negative. This, the rabbit dies every time. The yes. rabbit always dies. 
Yeah, right. you're, so, you're, you're doing a surgery it, on the rabbit, some, you know, and he dies. Right. So true. that makes it true. So the answer is true, true then, Susan. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's true. no, don't, it's, don't the yell. The rabbit test for don't pregnancy when you didn't actually that. mean that if the so, rabbit died, you were the rabbit dies whether you're pregnant or not. So right. That's right. not the question, yeah. Celia. So the statement is, yeah, it is. true. So so the rabbit in the process mean. of doing the test. Yeah. Yeah. Therefore, the answer is true. Okay, so the answer is true. Correct. Right. Yeah. Okay, correct. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. The woman I didn't realize I had a double negative. You guys have to take that up with Celestia. Okay. Uh, Question number two. If a woman experiences a lot of heartburn during a pregnancy, I know you guys overthought this. It's actually a hairy baby. Oh, yay. Uh, <laughs> not a male actually, or, or female. Yeah, I mean, it could have been right. one <laughs> much for somebody who's never been pregnant before. I knew it. I've heard that so many times, you guys. Um, okay. okay, so okay, so this is an actual superstition, but is it true? Uh, <laughs> no, it's not true. It's not true. <laughs> I don't know that there's ever been a proper study. Well, I've had, I've had I like, I need data one way or the other. No, a actually, lot of pregnant women have heartburn. Actually, I think there is some 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 science on it that, but it's nobody's done a really maybe we need a good data scientist to start doing a, a survey on it for us but go ask all the pregnant people you know kyle <laughs> you can ask these people. Yeah, do a longitudinal a perfectly longitudinal balanced. study okay here comes lee back from his <laughs> she's a midwife and you, and you'd have to how, find a how way how do you define hairy baby and you'd have to quantify uh a lot of hairy yeah hairy that's baby. considered hairy babies right. follicles per square inch all, they all got baby molded baby that's arrow. how they got pregnant <laughs> let's see isn't there a uh isn't there a sort of hairy coat that develops at some point in uh, yeah, during the pregnancy, uh, and 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 for most, and and usually it falls yeah. off before. Yeah, the... yep, I've heard that. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Well, that's a good yeah. question. Yeah. So here we go to Obama's question number heartburn. three. Lee, you got here just in time. They're just finishing up with the pregnancy superstition myths. Here's question number three. This is like an IKEA ad campaign, and this is true. Really? Yep. And God. here's the Snopes link to it. It is a pregnancy test. I, it was an ad. I think it ran somewhere in uh, Finland or Scandinavia mm. somewhere. Must have been Sweden. It was someplace <laughs> like that. I think it might have been Sweden because that's where IKEA is. IKEA is from and Finland. it only ran for a while, but the woman would pee on the ad. And if it was <laughs> if she's pregnant, then she would get a coupon for for a crib. And I, I was listening to <laughs> Kevin talking about it. Like he's oh. like, who's gonna bring a coupon soak with you? I know, but you know what? It actually was in China. I heard it was along the Yellow River. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> did they have the? Did they have the? So does that? Since this was map? Karen, does that make that a mom joke? <laughs> no. I think these are all mom jokes. Okay, so here's question number four again. This is the one about the uh what would it mean what according to this uh papyrus in ancient Egypt, I hope nobody put Legos, but uh, this is the <laughs> woman who sits a pile atop a atop a pile of dirt that's been soaked in old beer, fruit, and dates. And it is the answer is B as in bravo. Oh, no. Which is she's going to have <laughs> the number of times she throws up is the number of future children she'll have. Oh my gosh! I know oh you all God. got that right. Wait, who? Oh my God! How more than once in a row. How could they come up with that? I mean, I would have litters and litters and litters. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right there with you, Janine. I had pretty oh, right. I, I, I thought the C was the most logical. <laughs> I had, I had had morning sickness so bad with Cassie. Had a stronger stomach. Maybe. And you know what? I never threw up with Sterling. I only threw I only threw up with Cassie. I don't know why. Okay, number five. This is about that the baby. Mean <laughs> That's probably related to question ten. Then that probably doesn't mean anything. So the baby train was one of it was a legend. It's an urban legend. And here's the Wikipedia page that we wrote. Thank you very much. On this legend of the baby train, apparently the, they said that there was an overwhelming, it's false. There was a train that would come through the town and that it would Did make a lot of noise. And people would wake up and, at whatever time and then they'd be like, ah, it's too Wait a minute. We, we took that to mean that the Wait legend actually exists. 
Yeah, is it a superstition? Oh, well, figure which out how it, you're going to score it. The it answer true. is that it is not a true thing. So if you need to change it. So it fall, is a legend. It is, it a, is legend. a legend. A legend that therefore, that no train did ever. That was not well, a true yeah. story. I mean, we presume that, but we didn't think that's what the question was. Okay, asking. well, yeah, then answer that question. Nobody's going to check your score. I don't yeah. care. <laughs> well, I'd say we get that one true. With, correct. You guys decided so it was true correct. or not. Yeah, correct. I'm telling you the it's answer. We knew that it wasn't true because that's what we put in the position. Okay. okay, question number six. This is about the ancient Greece. Oh, this is the one with the Legos. Okay, the true answer is knots. Oh, so uh, right. I decide if the Damn mirrors it, were shaped like Lego pieces. <laughs> <laughs> or the Lego pieces were made of mirrors. Yeah, that, that's good. Okay, so, okay this one like right here was hilarious. This is question number seven. This is from South America. What happens if you <clears> place <throat> a baby with his head facing behind you over your shoulder? You risk what happening? And the answer is the baby's face might fall off. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> that's the legend. <sighs> So uh, my team, okay. my okay. team, we answered five. Mm -hmm. Are we saying that that's correct? Mm -hmm. What? What? He's on question five. Who's on first? On we five? answered on five. Are you three questions behind Vincent? Vincent, no, Vincent we no, just decided no. we were we Canada. decided we were correct, Vincent. So whatever it is, we were correct. correct. Okay, All here's right. question okay. eight. Fact, you decided you got ten out of ten on the round already. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> we are okay, doing question eight. So Coca-Cola is an effective contraceptive. It's used as a spermicide directly after intercourse. Was this was this something that was a thing? And the answer is False. So, false. so now false. again, false. just like I said before, I might have worded this wrong. Depending on the conversation you had in your room, you can decide if this was, um, if you're thinking of it from the point viewpoint, was this a contraceptive or is that incorrect? So I don't care how you answer it. Well, did they ever so, try so to use it? Obviously, as far obviously, as I know, nobody's ever used it, or if they did, it doesn't work. The word I effective. Heard, it obviously, it only works southern... if it's Diet Coke and Mentos. Yeah. Oh. No, well, I heard that. someone tell that when they were growing up in the South, that was a thing you kept. I am a Southern. Of Coke I am a millennial, and, and this was not woo woo, we were told, or anything when we had our box. I think I remember it being something that I, I'm with. I'm it's more I think more I remember like it. Boomer yeah. stuff. It is yeah, a it boomer thing. Yeah. So it is. I heard the thing about if you kept an aspirin between your knees, you couldn't get pregnant. But I heard the thing about Coca Cola. All right, so there is the an ice pick, and you shook the Coke up and jammed the ice pick, and then. Psh, it would... uh, no. Oh, oh you're showing us how it's done. Control legends don't Bob, work. you can you can stop with the thing about ice picks and vaginas. I don't like. That. <laughs> no, it's making me uncomfortable. No, he was. He was a lady told the story. She said this is how they used to do She was wrong. She was All wrong. Right. Question number nine. Moving along. Does morning sickness only happen in the morning? No. Nobody who's had a baby knows that it can be all day long. So it, it is false. I misspelled the word false. But, but again, is it called morning, six, morning sickness? Because the legend is that it only happened in the morning. Well, you guys decide how you're going to answer that. <laughs> <laughs> the answer is morning sickness does not happen only in the morning. It happens all day to some people. But it did happen mostly in the morning. Then it's afternoon sickness or evening sickness. Well, you can take it up with the mom's nausea. <laughs> <laughs> Just plain the man nausea. made up the title anyway, so it doesn't matter. So I had a, a biology professor in college who said that there was a term for, for couples who depended on the rhythm method. Oh, no, for women, women who use the rhythm method. Mothers. What, Mothers. Mom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> women who use the rhythm method. Moms. Yeah. yeah. Doesn't no. work. And okay, so question... certainly doesn't work. And an aspirin between your knees doesn't work. Yes, it does because you can't open your legs. better than all the others. You can't open your legs. That's the point. Okay. Yeah. It's now, still I'm... false. Okay. <laughs> Now I am confused over what the actual answers is for a bunch of these. Where where, where they where, where they were Jim, Jim, Jim. They are the answers that Susan uh, has uttered. 
Yeah, but it doesn't matter because oh, you God, guys can Tim. figure it out. Oh, okay. number 10. Somebody on the team keeps score. Time? We need to get the number picture. 10. Number Unfortunately, 10. the guy keeping score on our team is the yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so this number is 10. the couple. So the so question is, was false. true or false, did this couple engage in this happening to them? And was there a lawsuit and all that other? It is a urban legend. It's false. It never happened. But it was a story that went around for a very long time. And here's the Snopes link to it. It okay. is a legend. It's a legend. It is a legend. So it could be true. So it could be true. Right. Depending on okay. how you guys answer that. See, I'm just making this stuff up, you guys. I don't have, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. So five I'm false. Go back to number five. Everybody okay, number gets five? a 10 this round. Everybody gets a 10. <laughs> Well, well, five can we was go true. back to our room and decide what score we want? Five was true. <laughs> I think we got a 10. <laughs> you guys will figure it out. Okay, let's do our scores now. We get whatever Gail you know, came no. up with. Okay, so <laughs> I have no idea. False. So pardon me, but five was false? No, five was true. Okay. Uh, it could be true. Eight was... Jim, I sent you our score. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Vincent, 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 wait till the other scores are up because we're last and, and then give us a, an accordingly good score. No, you want to go one less because you want the next available player. Yeah, if Paula comes in the room right now, the person who has the lowest score is going to be the one that gets Paula. But that's Paula. how low. That low, too low, and it won't help. Yeah, but you're the last player, so you could always go oh, six or seven. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Lee that. doesn't have a room yet. Lee's here now. So the person who has the team has the lowest score is getting the lead. Just remember. That makes me feel good. There you go. So no fighting. Right? Pregnancy. It, it, it teaches you not to show up lately. <laughs> no, it also helps the, it helps the dummies get another person on their team. All right. So, <laughs> all right. Team number one, espionage with Kofefe in the first floor bathroom. What is your score? Hey, team number one, I I think we have six, seven, or eight, and it depends on how it's going. I put eight. We have eight. I'm saying we have six, but we can go with eight. So. I have eight. Okay. I'm I four cocktail eight. then. Okay. I have no, had no cocktail. Reboot. Why? Because seven, eight, Nigerian nine. Nigerian prince. What? Leonard told me it was nine. Okay, no, it's nine. I know you 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 didn't look. I I recounted. We got seven. Oh, seven. You just okay. want Lee. That's why. Stop the count. Stop the count. <laughs> standing with Trump now. You may be standing with him later. Just don't drop this up. We we wanted three, but we want to choose a different score. <laughs> so what is the answer? Three. How could you three? have three? You couldn't have three. Do you no, have no we had two people on your team? You can't what? possibly have three. Nobody on our team is pregnant. But has anybody on your team ever been pregnant? Yeah, Janine's pregnant. Or no, anyone that's been pregnant. pregnant. Yeah. Or no, anyone ever, like, has or watched any movies or television shows? Or? Yeah, she like, does, but she doesn't drink Coca Cola. I've never so been her. with child, and I knew the thing about Coca Cola. But I'm I mean, haven't had kids. Most of the I'm answers are true and false. I haven't. I was in the class. That's why we want to go choose a different score. Well, think about it. I'll come back to you in a second. Okay. After three years, we've run out of ideas for names. Six. The lamest category name in the whole thing. Okay, someone define recuse for Judge Eileen Cannon, please. We got five. No, Are I you think sure? it's four. I think it's four. No, oh, it's you, had, five. you had five. I refuse to recuse. We got one, one, five, eight, and nine. Which one of the ones do you think we got? Any of them. Any of them. We'll take five. <laughs> <laughs> take five. It's five. Okay, so so standing with Trump now, you may be standing with him later. How many points do you think you have? Anyone else? I well, like, honestly, we got three, but we, we're glad to take so that's number. fine. Uh, yeah, let's just How say many? three. 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 Good Yeah, we're not. Okay. Welcome, Lee. <laughs> <laughs> The me. next the next round won't be about pregnancy, we hope. Okay. I was too sick to know anything about pregnancy. <laughs> I, I just have cats, sorry. Okay, so. I told you it was going to be hard this week. This isn't going to be the normal week. Okay. That's what she said. Well, well why we chose the most score. This is yeah. all very difficult. I don't know how hard the categories are. <laughs> 
All right. Oh my gosh. Category Wait. two. You guys ready? Are uh -huh. these ones in English? Yes. <laughs> okay. Next category. Double negatives. More double double negatives. The yeah. next category let's, let's is cartoons. All right. Cartoons. cartoons. The answer is Blue Land for all of them. Things you play in the car. <laughs> okay. All right. So question number one. This strip is over 20 years old and follows the Bermudas family. Father, two children, and Tia Carmen. What is the name of this cartoon? This is a new, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a hint. It's a newspaper cartoon. Okay. Question number two. This animated cartoon premiered in 2005 was written by a son who was broke but wanted to give his mother a birthday gift. It became a viral video written by Jason Steele. Wordle? <laughs> or animated cartoon? Okay. Question number three. Also by Jason Steele, this black comedy released in 2009 follows two characters. One who is a dangerous sociopath that murders each episode, escalating the death toll. This series also went viral. The last release was in 2015. Holy. <laughs> Question four. Launched in 1964, this follows the characters in a shabby medieval kingdom. And obviously, launched in 1964 means this is in print, not, okay. not a cartoon on the internet. Question number five. Focuses on the middle-class life of an American family, husband, wife, and preteen daughter, Hillary, who is aged two years since this started running in 1982. Obviously, another something that's a print. This, number six, this strip started in 1958 and is one of the oldest strips in time and in story. Mm -hmm. Okay. Number seven. This strip follows black and brown characters and presents social and political commentary. It stars limit Lamont Brown, who is beyond obsessed with Star Trek. That's the only reference to sci-fi tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe this one too. This next one too. Number eight, this furi furist futuristic. futuristic comic follows the adventures of the dim-witted captain of the spaceship Are You Serious? And it's only <laughs> usually and on Sundays when it runs, they run great science content. Very good content on in science wise on Sundays when they have a lot more space. Okay, number nine, number nine. Launched in 1948, this series is the soap opera comic strip style. Characters like June, Sarah, Johnny, and Mike slowly or not at all age. The main character has stayed the same for decades. Also, Susan, myself, I interviewed the writer artist for the Skeptical Inquirer column about a science pseudoscience storyline that they had run. So that was a few years ago, but I did run an, write an article interviewing the, the comic strip, the person who's running the strip. And lastly, question 10. This cartoon follows a woman who struggles with life, food, love, family, and work mainly pokes fun of the modern, in quotes, woman from 1976. So hopefully these are hard. That's what she said. Okay, here we go. Back to your room, over Barter. Open all rooms. And Lee is going into what? Would I say fourth room or three? Three. three. Hmm. Should be there, Wendy. Room one. Yeah. The view. 
I don't know number two or three. Me neither. Yeah, me neither. I don't know who Jason Steele is. Well, let's go on and come back to it then. Or? Uh, I had the Wizard of Id. That's what I yeah. thought. That's what I put. Yep. And number five, I... Oh, sorry. Wizard. Five, I should know, because I read this comic every day, and I can't Sally remember the Ford. name of it. Sally, Sally Ford. Ford. Sally Ford, that's it, yes. Thank you. Is this number six? Is it uh, Blondie? I thought six was probably BC. Oh, like time think, and yeah. story. Oh, that would and make story. sense. That makes a lot of sense. That yep. makes I agree. sense. Yeah. What? The, the oldest. In that, uh, at that. Okay. Yeah, yeah I would say so. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, I'm not sure when it started, but Wizard of Vid fits the. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Okay. Uh, pretty dollar oh. family stage two. Okay. And time and story. Oh, fifth uh, number six is. Would that be BC? In time. Could be. That's a good guess. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay. None of them fit Pogo, which is one of my... Guessing was... I Do was we thinking... have five? I'm uh -huh. sorry. No. But number six, I was thinking is BC. BC. Oh, or, clever. Oh, yeah. No, maybe, that's or Hagger the Horrible, but maybe, maybe BC? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that yeah. would be for five. That's the it. oldest in time. Yeah, yeah. It's a much better clue for BC. Yeah. And I remember... I remember Hillary. I'm trying to remember the name of this um, comic. I can see her. I can see her mother. What do they look like? She, well, Hillary has blonde hair and her mother has dark hair. And Is this the one they live in Canada? No, I think that's for better or, or for worse. That's the one I'm thinking of. Yeah. Her name's not Hillary? No, that's that they have a bunch of children and dogs and a cat. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. They have the rat. I think they even have a rabbit at some point. Um, what the heck is the name of that one? That oh, I know this one. I see it. We need to come back. Okay, this come back hard. to Hillary. So we've got BC. The strip follows black, black and brown character. characters in Star Trek. Oh, would that be Boondocks? Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Oh yeah, but that's yes. it. Yes, yes. Yeah. I, I mean, I can picture the characters, but, but yeah, the thing. Yeah. Good. Uh -huh. And paper that had the at the strips in it. I mean, they had daily ones too, but I always read the weekend ones. I just can't remember what the heck the name of it is. Gail, can you scroll down so that we can see the first three? Sure. Thanks. So this Jason Steele, nobody has any ideas? Yeah. Nope. No. BC? Actually, BC is probably better. Did you want, I think it's older than 58. Did you want me to put the answers down, or are you guys just comfortable with... Because then somebody yeah, else... Let's put the answers in there so we can remember them. Oh, all right. Okay. Answer for uh, number one. I don't think we got that one yet. Okay. Answer for number two. No, first one's four. Wizard of Id. Oh, the first one? Oh, number four. Yeah. I'm telling you the ones we have. We have number six, which we put BC. Number nine is, what'd you say, Mary? Somebody Mary Worth? Had... Yeah, Mary Worth. I've never said. heard of this. Mike Wolf said i never heard of that. Uh, 
Uh, uh, ten, I ten, I think is is Kathy. There's no. Okay, so. I've read number seven. The kid's got like a spiky afro. Yeah, he's got yeah, and it kills me because he's in their search. Is it Boondocks? Is that Boondocks? Yeah, yeah. Oh, very good. Yes. Yeah. Good job. Okay. Well, we have eight and one that we have nothing for. And we're thinking number five, we don't know. So. Yeah, I don't know. I never heard of eight. I would... No idea. I've seen it in the paper years ago, and I can't think of it. So, yeah. Kevin, how long ago was your class reunion? Um, no. I didn't. I didn't go to the last one. I graduated oh. in 1981, so. Oh. oh I didn't geez. go to the 40th. I went to the 30th. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is the first one I ever went to. I was like, it would have been the follow up to Charlie the Unicorn, but I can't remember what it was because I had a job then. So, eight is a futuristic comic policy adventures of the dim witted captain of the spaceship. Are you serious? And, and nobody seems to have ever read that. I know I haven't seen it. I don't think so. Not in any of the Sunday papers I ever read. No. Yeah. <laughs> But they run great science content, apparently. I only see these if if they happen to get posted by Susan on Facebook. Right. <laughs> Otherwise. Uh, Susan, yeah, Susan posts um, the cartoons. Well, I post weird stuff, too. <laughs> oh, I'm not I'm not complaining. I think it's delightful. Yeah, and I just I used to. Um, in fact, that's what I used to when I was learning to read. That's what yeah. was interesting was car was the funny papers. Yeah. I used to read them when I got an actual paper. She puts um, pearls before swine often. Yeah, yeah, because that's it always pearls good. before swine. No, <laughs> none of these are pearls before swine. I'm pretty sure. Could could three be like a precursor to Dexter? Maybe. Okay, so no, not Dexter's Laboratory. It could be. The Jeffrey Dahmer funny program. <laughs> I didn't really watch Dexter. Was it based on a comic by any chance? The Jeffrey Dahmer clown show. <laughs> you guys have bad answers. I'm so means I have to do a hard research. Here's Susan again. What about Blondie? That doesn't really fit any of them. Yeah, Blondie doesn't Blond fit. Blondie's not obscure enough for it to be a, car a cartoon that Susan will pay attention to. He's not obscure. Yeah. But Wizard of It wasn't, but Wizard of It and BC weren't obscure. <laughs> well, they are to me because I don't follow comics. Yeah. Uh, American Family. Damn. I'm sure I. I'm sure I've I I followed five when it was in a paper I was reading. And. I can't seem to pull that name out of the back of my head. We'll reach back more. Yeah. <laughs> oh, let's see. I was, Oh, maybe I should have shaved more hair off the back of my head that, that when I took <laughs> when I took the clippers to it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or maybe yeah. you shave too much. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Well, no, this time I could put the pen in. So we've got so we've got three where we don't have a guest. Five, seven, and eight. Right. 
Eight is something about Rocket, I think. What's his name? Brewster Rocket? Don't re I I haven't seen it in ages, but uh, the Are You Serious uh, comes from that. Yeah, so put down Brewster Rocket. Brewster, Brewster Rocket? Okay. B-R-E-U-S-T-E-R Rocket. Rocket with an I. R-O-C-K-I-T. IT. Okay. Uh okay, so that leaves us with two. Um, are we able to request extra time? No. We weren't done. Oh well. You were certainly able to request it. Everybody had the same amount of time. I got a phone. Well, we always have that same amount of time, but one of our numbers could who was very valuable had to uh, could not be into the last uh oh, minute. I got a phone call. Oh, it's so oh. nice hearing that I was a valuable oh. member. I got one right for you. I know that. Okay, there you go. <laughs> so here we go. I love cartoons, and I know a few of you guys also will follow these. Just a few of you, enough that you should have known that I would do a category in cartoons. I've done this once before, totally different categories, and this time it's got some new ones. So number one, um, I will. I was going to show you pictures, but I don't know if I need to do that. Because I didn't do my homework in school, and I'm damn sure not going to do it for this trivia game. <laughs> yeah, seriously, Susan. I'll, even I'll, if we assumed you were going to do that, how would one study on all the cartoons in the world of the minutia of them just for tonight? I'll, just I'll wing you don't need to know pictures. all the cartoon, all the cartoons in the world. This just is one just, Susan Susan likes. Likes. It's just the way it is. It's like whenever you guys do categories on science fiction weapons or fictional diseases and stuff. I, I don't follow any of that stuff. So this is <laughs> fair game. So yeah, I'm just saying on your comment that we should have known and looked it up. Like it's this not, is not something you can look at. You should up. know. Aren't you psychic? Come on, Paul. Is this, this is this revenge night or I think it is. If, if the I'm three years were like this, I wouldn't be here now. I'm telling you that. <laughs> Go ahead. All right. Question number one. The answer is Baldo. Yeah. Baldo. I know many of you guys got that. Can you put the questions up again? Sure. And chat. Oh, yeah, they're gone, huh? Hey, the answer yeah, is gone. Baldo. And you can look this guy up if you want. Here he is. Okay. Uh, number two. I know that Lee, I know that Lee got this one right. It is Charlie the Unicorn. Yay, Faith. Yay, yay Faith. And number three. The follow of Charlie the Unicorn, and I know this was one of the one he got right because I, I gave it to him <laughs> to, to watch one day. It is llamas with hats. Oh, <laughs> it is hilarious, and it oh, is dark as hell. Oh my mm. god, I should have known that one. Question four, launch in 1964. I think most of you guys got this one right. This is Wizard of Id. Yeah. Heck been around since 1964 and this one i think a lot of you guys kept coming up with um uh for better or for worse which is one of my favorite cartoons of all time yeah but I it's knew. not because those people age like crazy and they're from canada this is sally forth wait yeah. i have a right. question oh, no. did lee, oh, did, yeah. i have a question did lee get Llamas with hats. Did our llama yeah. father yeah. get it? Yeah, <laughs> damn it. Yeah, sure yeah. That, was, that was kind of a slam yeah. dunk. I re I remembered number five, but I couldn't. I, but, and, and I remember that the title that, that the title had something to do with the name of the wife in it. Yeah. And I remember there was Hillary, but I couldn't pull up. I know you guys are all. I, I saw a lot of you discussing it. So, so you, you got it. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Sally well, and and, and, and Colleen and have more children. And and Sally Forth, Sally and her husband Ted have just the Hillary. Yeah. You're my new friend. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I, I like this it. every day, you know, every it, night. It's so funny because I knew that strip before I knew the expression Sally Forth. Yeah. <laughs> and, and when I heard Sally Forth, I thought, oh, is that based on the the comic strip? <laughs> and then of course I I learned that it was the other way around. It's it's a really good cartoon, and it's it's been following like through people's real life problems you know marital trouble yeah death of a spouse a death of a death yeah. of a family member the That's relationship really between sally and ted i always found kind of amusing that there were you know one of these couples that that work so well on, yeah. their, own, on their own terms 
Very I always liked the way Ted's shirt fit in. <laughs> Yeah. He always priorities like, there. You guys, his his, his collarbones or shoulders or something always made like little pleats on the on his chest. <laughs> okay, now I think everybody got this one. I'm so proud of you. You figured it out. It is BC. Yay! This was one, the only I know one, that really one of you got right. I don't think was... anybody else got this right, which surprises me because this is a huge Star Trek constant to Star Trek guy. And so I'm surprised if you didn't get this one. Um, it is Canterville. Oh, Canterville. Uh, Thank you, Mono. We got it. You got it. Oh, good job. I saw a lot of people putting um, Boomtown. Boom. Boondocks. 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 Yeah. Nope. It's Canterville. You guys should follow it if you like Star Trek. He's always oh. making Star Trek references. But it's not just for Star Trek. It's also very political. Yeah. It's very yeah. political. And but Lima Brown is the... Is a teenage character in that? No, he's an oh, adult. No, no. He has a child. Okay. That kind of threw our group off. We didn't know what it meant to star in a comic strip. We were a little confused about Oh, he's the main character. Cartoon. Okay. So and he always wears a he character. always wears a shirt with the with the gold shirt with the Star Trek emblem on, on there. Oh, he always does? Wears. Is is that the one I'm getting strips a little mixed up in my mind? He's always talking to a woman character named susan philosophy or politics or yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. they are here's a card here's a link okay he's talking, 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 talking to a woman but also talking to a friend of his who is kind of a strange guy yeah i okay. like him a lot yeah really great here's Ball, it's coming no, to me now but i never would have guessed that um it's it's, it's an interesting cartoon i really like yeah. it um sally forth she's it's also it's it's really well done here's sally forth and where are we at? Oh, so next is question number eight. 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 Kevin, that's oh, a yeah. One of you guys got it at the very last second. I'm really impressed. This is so cool. I'm really shocked if you guys don't follow this one. This is Brewster Rocket Space Guy. So if is you just Brewster, Brewster Rocket, Rocket by itself? No so is Brewster Rocket by itself to say? Uh, yeah, adequate? that's fine. You can have. You can do that. This is hilarious. The cartoons in this are hilarious. Um, and then every Sunday, they usually do a big spread with a lot of um, uh, science related stuff. It's usually like a mad scientist kind of character. And he does all this stuff that's like real astronomy and real, real interesting yeah. things that are science related. But uh, they make fun of things. They're, I think there's a mad scientist who's constantly cloning a little boy and blowing him up or something. I don't know. It's, oh, it's nice. Hilarious. It's that's hilarious. Funny. It really that's, is. Yeah, that's pretty funny. Does anybody even funny. get the newspaper anymore? Where do yeah, you see Sunday? I do. Street edition. Okay. All right. I yeah. still get my paper. I get the Here. paper online. Here. Yeah. See? No, I've, I've, I we, oh, get, we get two papers I, delivered I, to the house every day. I love um, the paper. My my mother oh, has. I, got I would me. love to, but I'm I'm so rural. Yeah, they, you got to get a llama train like to a, go get it. They wanted like hundred and fifty dollars a month the newspaper, and yeah. I want yeah right. Yeah. What'd you say, Celia? My mother has read the San Francisco Chronicle every day since before I was born. Wow. It's delivered and she reads it every day. Yeah, my mom always read it too, and we had the best conversations. My family always read it. The um. Uh, there's something about paper. I don't know. There's something yeah. about that. That feeling, something that sound. Do you and, still have a landline? No, we don't have a landline. I have a landline. I have a, I have landline. a landline. Nothing wrong I would have had landline. one, but I needed to cut costs. Here's number I one. have a landline and I get a lot of junk calls on it. Yeah. <laughs> Two more answers. Okay. That's why I, think I got rid of mine. One of you guys got this right. Uh, I wrote this article in 2019. Whenever they came out with an art, with a, a he does uh, the characters almost never age. Very famous. He wrote an article. He had a whole storyline on a pseudoscience topic. It is Rex Morgan, MD. All right. Hey, Wendy. Oh, hey, Wendy. Wow. Good that job. Was our Wendy. Second, that was I, our I second choice. Him. Yeah. Um, I was. I thought, you know what? I'm writing columns for Skeptical Inquirer. I could write. I could get anybody I want. That I would like to talk to. I could just interview him, huh? Just yeah. say, hey. Uh, is it on is it online? I can look it up online. I'll read it. It is online. It is okay. Online. I, I, a lot of these things <laughs> I watch online because I can't wait until the next day. So it so at 10 o'clock my time here in California, all these cartoons come online. So I watch them. I 
I have a, before I go to bed, I have to read what happened to the next one. So <laughs> I'm really- That explains interested. why you don't play Wordle. That's exactly why I don't play Wordle because I'm too busy with cartoons. I got to follow it for better or for worst and Sally Forth, well, for better or for worst. I think I've been following it for like 40 years. Okay, hey, this one right here, this cartoon follows a woman who struggles with life and food. I can't stand this cartoon. I haven't followed it for years, but it's very famous. It's Kathy. Very oh, you know what? I almost okay. said I Kathy. If I hadn't it gotten Luann, I would have gotten Kathy for our group. You guys put Luann? No way. Yeah. No, Luann. Luann? I know. Luann I knew. started as a teenager. Kathy was. Will you uh, accept Luann for Kathy because they're the same freaking person? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no. Luann's a teenager. Kathy's a grown professional woman. Same freaking person, just different timeline. What are the yeah, They're connected like Kathy's a witness except protection. for the ways in which they're different. Yeah. Yeah, Kathy's in witness protection. What? That she's the grown-up version of teenage Luann. No. Exactly. I I agree with Kyle. I think exactly the same. Our interpretation of that. I've been following yeah, Luann. Uh, no, I, I agree with Susan. Luann's a deeper character. Oh, are you are you a Luann follower too? Oh man. So, yeah. is... Ron Get rid of your it. paper news and your landline oh, phones and Kathy them. is just classic. What a bigot stereotype. Face female obsessed with her weight and getting oh, yeah. and getting a date or whatever her thing is. Yeah, I, I am not a big I can't yeah. stand Our it. Archaic technology is not a protected class. All right. So we're going to do can our be bigoted now. against Let's things see how that we aren't did. protected. All right. Standing with Trump now. How many points? Five. We have cartoon cartoon followers in that group. Um, let's see. Someone please define rec recuse. Print print is dead. <laughs> no, four. We you got know. four. Four. I stole. Oh man, I would have gotten that Kathy one. Would have been five, but okay. So after three years, we've run out of. Any... We got I Kathy. Just... We got six. Six. So good. good. I'm glad we got Kathy. I'm trying to keep the scores into the fives because these this the days of tens and nines all the time are are gone. All right, <laughs> reboot the left footed Nigerian yeah, not... prince. Nice Eight. Eight? Just coincidentally, Susan, I have another thing I'm going to be doing every Thursday. What? Anything else. Anything, Anything else. else. But trivia. <laughs> <laughs> okay, espionage with Kofete. I, I got, we got six. Yep, six. So you're not clueless. Mm -hmm. Here we go. This is more what wow. I'm looking for. Same score. But the okay, thing was, so we didn't have one cartoon uh, reader. We had a few people that knew one or two. Right. So we had a lot of guys got break. two points. Everybody. Yeah, I, I didn't know them. most of those, but there are definitely a couple of those cartoons that what are you doing both here? Susan and I are fans of. Yeah, I'm yeah. following quite a, quite a few uh, web comics, but there's. Ooh. What happened to my light there? Okay, hold on. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So let's go to pictures. Everybody ready? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay. I'm okay. Waiting. Oh, here's another thing we do, Colleen, is before the break, Ow. we take a group picture. Ow. 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 And people yell at their pet. <laughs> okay, here we go. <sighs> Happy fourth anniversary, everybody. Hey. Oh, here we go. Wait, wait. <laughs> All righty. Okay, got it. Five minutes, y'all. All right. Actually, it's the third anniversary of the start of the fourth year, but never mind. Right. Okay. It's the third anniversary. Okay, so group number two uh, will have to have somebody else uh, copying the uh, question to uh, to a file. Right. I'm, I'm going to drop out Susan and update Zoom and then you'll have to let Jim. But, bye, Vincent. Uh, I see, well, you see I the Zoom recording? Kyle, when are you going to be in Chicago? Oh, thank you. Is, is Kyle there? Kyle's not there. Ah. See the stains on her face? Is still recording? Still yes. recording? Oh, never mind. So don't play. Well, I love I, uh, uh, Kevin. I love that cartoon. It's a great cartoon. Yeah. 
You know yes. what that is? The junk on her face. On whose face? What? what? Right here, I'll show you. Look at, see on her on her comb the dark stains ah. around it. Too like much wine? Mulberry. Huh? Too much wine? Similar. The mulberries are ripe. Ah. Yeah, they go around, they they eat the fallen mulberries. Their stools are like a dark blackish purple. But do, do we really do we really need to know that? Karen does. She's doing another category. <laughs> it's interesting. <laughs> will that show will that tell whether you're pregnant or not? <laughs> I don't know. I gotta go. I gotta go. So remember way back when, when one of my friends was uh, at January 6th when I, and I went to his Facebook page and showed him there, he's in jail. And this is a friend of yours? Or an yeah, a friend of mine from years ago. That's good news. He posted on his Facebook page that he was at January 6th. He had all these videos and stuff. And I showed him at uh, trivia night one night. And then his family turned him in because he actually stepped into the Capitol and took a selfie and he got seven months in jail. Wow. Well, I, I have a, uh, I have a customer. I uh, one of my, I have a customer who, um, who uh, was in there and um, uh, he, he was a CEO of a, of a tech company until the next day when, uh, you know, they, they, they fight they just, they fired the guy. And uh, but he but he got on the thing is he's the, nice, the, the nicest guy and he um, he got on and he, he said you know they came over to his door and in, to interview him and he he said it was the single stupidest thing he'd ever done no no kidding but uh, I think so he pled guilty uh, and uh, I I believe he got something like a twenty five thousand dollar fine and I think three months in jail so he did all that. You know, yeah, but, my my friend got uh, six or seven counts, and each one was six months in prison. But they could do them concurrently, so somehow they settled on seven months total, and a five hundred dollar fine, a restitution for something he broke, I guess. And uh, and then when he comes out, he gets a year of probation, or he goes back in. Well, I looked up to see what this guy did. And he wasn't in there for just a walk because um, he uh, uh, he refused to leave and he threw something. I think at, I threw a, I threw a chair or something at a cop or something like that. Good. So so he didn't find himself in there by accident. He he knew yeah. what he was doing, you know. Kevin, did you did you know that about your friend that he? That uh, he well, I knew. I it's funny because I was. Uh, oh, oh, who are you talking about? Um, well, I because was asking this, Kevin about. It's a good question to you too. Did you know that that he, that your that your friend, your acquaintance was that? I mean, was something like I that? knew. I knew because the first time I was at their house, he wasn't there, and I got chatting with his daughter. And you know, I I'm going. So you know, if you don't know, I go in. I tune pianos, so I'm in a lot of homes. And so I'm I'm in this place for the first time. His wife was a lovely lady, and his daughter was just home from college very very liberal and we were talking and the two things they always tell you in a service thing you never talk politics you never talk religion well that's been half the fun wherever i go you know some of these people just wait for me to come in so we can talk and and uh so we were just talking about that and after after i was just finishing up she said you know my dad's on his way home you might want to leave um <laughs> And so I so I got the idea. But then a couple of weeks later, I get a call from the guy's office. He had they had a little piano in there. Could I come in and tune it? So I was going to get to meet Attila the Hun. So I um, so I, I went in and he came to me. And he was just really it was very funny, very nice and not what I you know, you have a picture of of, of a, some kind of ogre. But I did know he was a big contributor to um uh, conservative causes, like, you know, to the Republicans, and he was a big contributor to Trump. So I knew he was, I knew he was a Trumpy, you know, but, uh, 
Um, and then, and then the thing is like, there was a guy I was just at yesterday uh, who I visited and I like to tell all my customers, Hey, you know, I have a celebrity customer. And I, so I was mentioning to this one guy I said, you know, uh, this guy was, you know, arrested for, you know, uh, on, on Jan uh, January 6th. And so this other guy says to me, Oh, so, you know, Brad, well, they're buddies and actually right after had been texting each other about it, you know? So, um, and these are smart people. It's it, it just blows my mind. These are not stupid people. It's uh, so bizarre. One, one of the dangers of being smart is it allows you to make up justifications for almost anything. That could yeah yeah mm -hmm. yeah. It really really pretty amazing. But, but it's uh, like they never took a civics class. You you know it's like the oh no they they did they just. Have reached different conclusions. Yep. And they I mean, justify it's, it's, and they can justify where their mind is. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I don't you think I don't think Trump ever took it. if the you take a civics class and you think that the country is being stolen, you're going to revolt. Uh -huh. yeah. I see what you mean. Civics classes won't help there. I, I, I don't think a guy like Trump ever took a civics class in the same way. I don't think he's ever read a word of the Constitution because his approach to everything is through his whole life has been, you know, um, I pay somebody off. I get what I want, you know, or things like that. Uh, it, it, so it, it, knowing knowing civics anyway, wouldn't have done wouldn't have mattered to him. Well, in Trump's case, knowing anything, knowing it matter to him. <laughs> Kyle, when are you going to be in Chicago? Um, I DM'd you back the dates. Let me pull it up again. Sorry. Oh, that'd be fun for you to go hang out. Yeah. You could tune Take your the boat out. ride. Take the boat ride. When I went to Chicago, I asked Alan what was the thing to do because I was only there for a day. He told me take the boat ride, and I did, and it was it was awesome. Well, Kyle, you're, only in the, one you've boat? Been, you're in the air. You've been in the area. Yeah. Have, have you take, have you taken the uh, the architectural tour or one of those boat rides? To I even took the haunted boat ride. And you did. That's <laughs> funny. Back when Everybody, Richard Crow Mark's was kicking. here. Hi, gang. Hey. Hi, Mark. Hi, Mark. Mark. Hey, Mark. Congratulations Mark. on another big bunch. Happy August six to, to August six to eleven. Why well, don't you let me know when we're getting closer? Before. Maybe we yeah, maybe yeah. we can. Are are, are you working or what are you doing? What are you doing? The main thing is I gotta take my uh, nephew oh, to his first uh, punk rock show. Uh, don't don't ask me for that. <laughs> All right. I heard Alan will be on stage. That's right. Mark, awesome. Mark, Mark. Without looking, without me telling you who's on the teams, I'm gonna. You tell me which one's gonna be the winner tonight, because you know Mark's psychic, right? Alan, what if the <laughs> punk rock people need a piano tuned? Uh, that's okay. Well, so they can throw it off ready? the stage or something. Okay, Mark, Mark. It has to be in tune for that. That's right. <laughs> here's the espionage. Here's the team names. Mark's going to tell me who's going to be the winning team tonight. Espionage with Kofefe in the first floor bathroom. Uh, reboot the left-footed Nigerian prince versus standing with Trump now. You may be standing with him later. Just don't drop the soap. Versus after three years, we've run out of ideas for names. Versus Someone define recluse for Judge Eileen Cannon, please. Which is the winning team? Recuse. The second one. So he says, reboot the left-footed Nigerian prince will be the winner. And actually, it is in the lead right now. Leonard wants to know if you're going to be going to um, the Computer Museum on Sunday. I don't think so. He thinks no. But I will. Well, we'll miss you. I, I could change my mind. It's just, it's a long day, as you know. Yes. Yeah. All right, you guys ready to come back? Say, Have fun. Say goodbye to Mark, everybody. Thanks. Bye. Take care, Mark. Bye, Mark. Bye, Mark. So let's do our updates real quick, and then we will come right back with what we have for team for for round three, which will be very different from the other two. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because those had those had so much in common. <laughs> Okay, so we have um, Adrian might pop in a little bit. She was doing, she's tutoring somebody right now. Um, Kyle, why don't you start us off? Sure thing. Well, this week on Data Skeptic, we continue our series, Machine Intelligence, exploring contemporary topics in AI, specifically talking to a researcher studying how AI is affecting mathematics education. 
If you don't know, uh, you can actually like write an equation, take a picture of it, and apps will solve it. And teachers are not happy. <laughs> and that's this week on Data Skeptic. Yeah, I was hoping Adrian would be here because it's artificial intelligence for math. That should be really kind hey, of Kyle, fun. does does it tend to make up shit like it does for other stuff, or does it actually do the math correctly? <laughs> <laughs> Interesting question. Uh, I, it there, would be surprising. There is no, there is no coherent uh, it in that uh, sentence. Yeah. Okay, good but, job. Thank you. Thank yeah. you, Kyle. That's for Data Skeptic Podcast. The other thing I want to mention is that Adrian had done a really terrific interview with um, Courtney Hurd from uh, the podcast called The Q Dropped Podcast. And I have not started watching this podcast yet, but it looks really good. It's also YouTube if you if you're interested in YouTube. It's um Courtney was one of the people who spoke at uh Weekend Reason up there in Calgary this uh month she ago. Was. Wow, it's been that long, right? Well, Jim's gone, right? Vincent's still here, right? I was there. Yeah, Vincent's here. So oh, sorry, is, what what's the name of it? It's Q Dropped oh. Pod. And what it is is she interviews, her parents went down the rabbit hole during the pandemic and became QAnon people and anti-vaccine people. And so what she does, Courtney heard, is she interviews people whose family members are lost and they call it, she calls them cues. And so it's, it's a, I've subscribed to it. I'm, I'm looking forward to having some time to sit down and listen to it. But she has done uh, an interview with uh, Adrian. And I'm going to put the link right here. It's terrific. And it's a lot of fun. This is the first time she says, listening to Adrian talk about the Wikipedia project that we run, she was, she says, I feel like there's hope. She says, I felt like there's something being done, that there's there's more hope than she had had before. So it was really interesting. I Are had, you putting the link in? Yeah, I put it in the chat. Oh, I gave it to just Leonard. Sorry. Yeah. I'm going to say. Leonard's the only one that can watch this. <laughs> but it looks like a really good um, event. She was a, a wonderful speaker at Weekend Reason. Oh, Wendy's already got it? Yeah. Yep, good. So it's a podcast as well as a YouTube channel. So I think she's going to be a wonderful speaker in the future. Maybe we'll see her at SciCon. Uh, she, oh, she just interviewed Mick, Mick West. It hasn't come out yet, but oh. she just finished interviewing him. I so think I it's out. She's on here. Hmm? I believe it's out. He's in the feed. Oh, is he? Okay, good. Yeah. Well, when I listened to this a day or so ago, it wasn't in there. Hopefully, mm -hmm. I'll get to do an interview with her also. She thinks that she might. But Adrian talked so much about me. I don't know if anybody's going to want to hear anything I have to say, which is Adrian's, fine. Adrian's interview um, brought up just some really horrendous stuff. I was really hard to listen to, but uh, important. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. The, the interview with, uh, with the the, the huge drop person or courtney heard yeah. she's the godless mom really incredible what's going on in her and her family they finally got her parents uh vaccinated which was was like a big deal so um then i'm going to put my interview that just came out today so you guys most of you know that there is a conference in in vegas that we're really into a lot of us it's called psycon it'll be this october i was one of the people on the main stage this year I will not be on the main stage this year I was last year and the video has just been released today and I'm and it, it was it was really fun to watch me do this and there's a point in it <laughs> Wendy's in it too and Rob Rob's in it well no Rob's pointed at what what <laughs> pointed at you'll have to watch the video um, I'm on stage. And I'm talking about you, Rob, and I say, "Where's Rob?" Oh, there you he put is. The, oh, that's, I pointed you. The link is in the chat. Yeah, you're not in it necessarily, and they don't show all the screenshots. But Wendy definitely pops up in the video. Is the, ah yes, is this it is on the, is it in the, I'm sorry. Is it in the Facebook um, on the Psycon page? I could put it there, but I haven't. I just put it in the chat. I just it just came out today. I just watched the interview. Yeah, I saw it come through on my Facebook feed. I'm not sure where. Hmm. Yeah, I saw it too. What is it? This is a cyclone lecture I did. It's 30 minutes. Huh? Neil deGrasse Tyson, I talked to him. I talk about <laughs> him. And Wendy gives us a nice, really beautiful laugh when I talk about Neil deGrasse Tyson. And he wasn't even in the freaking room. <laughs> Here. 
It's in the other room. Anyway. Yeah. Well, Susan, Susan goes to me for a talk. Like, okay, I want you to find where Neil deGrasse Tyson is during my talk, and I want you to take pictures of him watching my talk. And when I mentioned him, I want you to take pictures of him. And I'm like, not in the room. He didn't show up because he was chit chatting with some people in the other room, like Leonard, probably. It, it must have ha been me. That happened, actually. Yeah, that <laughs> like, did happen. I don't know if Richard yeah, but it wasn't was during there or not. Susan's talk. It wasn't during. It was. It was when he was supposed to be somewhere else, but he was late because he was in the other room, chit chatting, chit chatting, you know, listening to me. It was anyway, a very important conversation. It was. It was a good conversation. What? Lynn, um, Neil deGrasse Tyson's? Yeah. You were. You, and me and and him and then all these other and paula was there and everybody was standing around in this kind of clump of people and he was being you know he was holding forth he was being it was, Tyson. <laughs> it was did, amazing did yeah. you and leonard uh, leonard did you and then neil uh, resolve the dark matter dark energy uh, you know problem of figuring it out we did not just <laughs> we did we would have, but we didn't discuss it. They were talking about they were talking about something really deep. Right? No, it, was a, it was it was a, it was during a different talk, Susan. Okay, thank yours. you. Never was at my talk, right? I, yeah, I was yeah, there. Thank you. Yeah, Neil couldn't show up. I, think I only I'll missed. I might have only missed one talk. I don't remember which one though. Okay, so anything else that I need to know? Because Skeptic Zone's not here today, so. I don't think Neil came to my talk either, so don't feel too bad. <laughs> I advertised everybody to go to your talk, Rob. Mm. Rob, do oh, you yeah. have so, anything else? Well, so yeah, today was my first in my 2023 uh, interview series for promotion of PsyCon. I, I interviewed uh, Melanie Tresick King, and that was fascinating. And uh, we actually, I, as I told you in the pre-show, we started talking about the trivia here, and she didn't know anything about it, so... Um, but but she's uh, she goes to bed at like eight o'clock Eastern time, so she's never <laughs> going to make this. Uh, and so I have other interviews set up. Uh, the uh, new Skeptical Inquirer editor, uh, Stephen Hupp. That's really exciting. Uh, the producers uh, of the uh, of the movie documentary that's going to be screened at Psycon, uh, Virulent: The Vaccine Wars. Uh, Mick West. Somebody known as Eugenie Scott, I think people know, uh, Dr. Oh. Paul Offit, uh, Stuart Weiss, the, the, uh, he was acting as an editor for quite a while, and, uh, so, and some other people. Yes. Thank you. So, yeah, it should be fun. I'm really looking forward to getting those. It's such a treat to have you interview me. You do a really good job, and it's nice Thank to you. have uh, know a little bit more about these people before. It's one of the... It's one of the great things about, you know, having the column that I get to talk to these people privately and ask them whatever I want. So it's kind of cool. Yeah, it's very cool. You do, you do a nice job, Rob. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, they're excellent interviews. All right. Is anything Thank else you. I need to know? I think Faith and Romero are on a vacation here really soon. They're going to be going up to see Adrian. Cool. Yeah. I thought they were going to see we me. Will, we will see you too, Vincent. We're going to be in Alberta in about two weeks. No. Two weeks. Sure. Yeah. Uh, Go back. We'll be in Idaho this time next week and hopefully joining you from our van down by the river. <laughs> you want to take? Oh, me? yeah, I know what you're talking about. Don't do that. <laughs> we'll be doing it from a Cracker Barrel <laughs> parking lot. Yeah, I promise. They have any Cracker All right. Barrel anybody else have anything else? Well. We set? Ready to start? Daniel was shot to death in his first grade classroom at Sandy Hook Elementary. Wendy, mute yourself. Wendy, mute. Oh, okay, sorry. What is Wendy listening to? It's, 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 it's an ad. Probably crisis actors. Yeah, no, it's an, yeah, it's an ad for the San, Sandy Hook. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's an ad. Yeah. Okay, all right. All right. Round three. We ready? You guys ready? Okay, so I said we're not going to do any time travel, but in a little way, we are going to do a little time traveling. <laughs> All of us have gone through this one experience that we have in common worldwide. It doesn't matter where we are. We all had gone through this. And this is part of birth. what happened, why we went into birth. <laughs> you might not remember that. But this is something that happened to all of us and is pretty much the reason why we started the social trivia in, in, at all. So what we're going to talk about today is uh, for round three is not left-handed Nigerian football players or poodles or whatever it was that I said we were going to do. What we're going to talk about is early COVID. So put your brains back a little bit. So uh, probably, I think we're going to be focusing on 
uh, April, May, June of 2020. So I know we all have a little trouble with our memories, COVID wise, I sure as heck do. So I'm gonna ask you some facts and things about 2020 early and early COVID. So let's see how well you guys remember this, okay? So the category is called early COVID. And hopefully I don't make a bunch of mistakes with it, but just deal with it. We'll just flow with it. You all have your money back if I screw up on these questions. Question number one, what is the three word phrase that we heard from nearly all talking heads concerning the slowing down of the spread of COVID-19 and not overwhelming hospitals? The Could you put words. it on the chat, please? Yeah, I did. Oh, I didn't hit enter, yeah, didn't. sorry. Sorry, I put it in the chat, but I didn't hit enter. So what is the three word phrase we heard from nearly everybody that was a talking head, media, politicians, so on, okay? Number two, question number two, what U.S. state had the first confirmed case of COVID? At the time, and if I had been making videos of, of our trivia at the time, and I didn't make videos of, of our earlier trivia games the first six months or so, I wish I had because the conversations we would we would have was constant with trivia. I mean, with COVID, what have you heard? Who do you know has died? You know anybody who's sick? It was like terrifying. I wish I'd recorded all of that because it was it would be an interesting thing to go back and listen to us. So question number three, the cruise ship that docks off the coast of California has 21 people testing positive for COVID out of 3,500 passengers. The name of the ship was the Grand Blank. What is the blank? And the interesting thing about it is that they had to, um, they, um, they had to recover. And so they sent several of the COVID people who had COVID to Asomar, which is right around the corner for me. And that's where they, they had guards and everything. And it was just incredible that they had to recover there. And we were all like a little like, oh my God. This is the, remember, this is the ship that Trump said, I don't want them to come ashore because it'll raise our numbers. <laughs> you guys might remember that. He was going to leave these Americans just there. Okay, question number four. What part of the United States, and I'm talking about part of the United States, was the first to announce shelter-in-place orders? I want you to be more specific than the state name. And if you know it, you'll know it. Hopefully somebody in your room knows it. <laughs> Question five, what country started, started the moment of solidarity when people in quarantine sang from their balconies? Read that question carefully. Question number six, what month did we see the 45th president seek treatment for oh. COVID? Number seven, oops, I misspelled a word. What company granted an emergency use authorization for a COVID vaccine by the FDA? You mean what company was granted? Yeah, was granted, yeah. My spelling is atrocious there, sorry. Yeah, when I put in my, on my spreadsheet, it doesn't tell me if I have a missing uh, word misspelled. <laughs> okay, number eight. The first vaccine publicly given was to an ICU nurse in Queens, New York. What, we know what year it was, if you know what month it is. So I want the month and year, they, they go together. So when was the first vaccine publicly given to an ICU nurse? And it was the first publicly, I say Queens, New York, but that was the first one that was really publicized. Number nine, at the time of the first vaccine, what was the death toll in the United States? And I gave you 100, 200, 300, 400, or 500,000. And last but not least, question 10 to rack your memories. True or false, did Antarctica report a COVID case in 2020? 
the last continent. They eventually all got it, but was it in 2020? All right, so everybody's on equal footing. We've all lived through this. We all know this stuff. Just try to see if you can remember if it's true or not. Let's go to our rooms and see and see how well you guys remember. And I need to put Carl and Ben in their rooms. Carl, you are in four. Four. And Ben, you're in which one? Ben, you're in also four. Also four. Yeah, four. put your together. Enjoy yes. what you can. Thank you. When it, uh, when it copies, I occasionally miss a line. So let me yeah. uh, see if that I worked. Could, I couldn't capture the whole thing at once and copy it. Do you need me to give you the, give them to you again? Maybe. Adam, you have them, or you want me to give them to you? I have them. Okay. 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 Somebody needs to complain to Zoom. Zoom is kind of freaky. Yeah, it's, it's really been a problem. Yeah, so um, let me make this bigger. Uh, so Number one, the three word phrase is flatten the curve. Right. Do you, do you have these in a document, Leonard, that you can um, I'm getting them. Okay. Yeah. So let me, uh, uh, I don't want to share my screen until I think I have them all. Okay. Uh, but yeah, look, well, let me, let me try it. How's that working? Perfect. Thank you. Okay. okay. So yeah, though yeah. Dude, that's, I that remember, sounds good. I remember the Emerald Princess, but because there was a documentary on her. Uh, mm. I, I just threw that out. That's totally monkey. Yeah, but that was gonna be but, my second cat. Yeah, but you know, they always name him some awful thing. Yeah, they're always, yeah. But part of the U.S., part of the U.S. is the first to announce shelter-in-place orders. Be more specific than a state name. Could it what? be New York City? I think it was the Queens, New York. It was a borough. It was or it was Queens, a, New York. It was a neighborhood in New York. That makes sense. I'm going to say Queens. Queens, New York. I I don't know. Queens or Brooklyn or Brooklyn. One of those two for sure. I would say. Yeah. You want to go Can we just say New York City? No, because I think she's wanting something specific, so like the borough. But it's her. Well, her that is more says, specific than the state. Yeah, it's more specific than the state name. So okay, yeah, the she's great, probably Greater City. New York City. The New York. I mean, City. New York technically, Metro. somewhere in New York other than Albany would also qualify, right? As less than the state. More specific, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But if it was going to be, I think maybe Brooklyn. By Brooklyn. Because isn't that where more fluent white people are from than Queens? Or Manhattan. Or Manhattan? I don't think it would have been Manhattan. It was, I wouldn't think Manhattan. Manhattan. No, too transient. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think New York City is fine as long as it's not just New York State. Okay. Yeah, I, that's why I wrote down a bit. Retirement. Yeah. Could the, she be looking but at like, Pacific I don't Northwest? Think I don't think that the first um, uh, shelter in place was in Washington, even though it was the first. Um, I think it was New York. Somebody said Manhattan, so I don't know Manhattan from New York City from 
whatever else is there. Manhattan is just a part of New York City. So New York City would for some would reason. Make... So what was what was San Francisco first in? Were they first to like shut the schools down or something? Remember, San Francisco was first in something. And that would make sense if it's like that area where Susan lives because she's on top of it and California. So maybe Southern California or something. I, I thought like San Francisco was first in something, but I mean. It could be then. I, I was but just my first, my first thought, yeah, my first thought I agree with you, Janine, is that. I think it's December, end of the year, December 2020. That's what I was trying to remember. It was January or December. Okay, I'll go December. with that. Okay. She did kind of allude to everything being in 2020, so. What was the death code? You know what happens when you allude? You make it all of you and D? <laughs> yeah, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> So what was death toll by that point? Oh. Uh, big. I don't know. My guess is C, but again, yeah. I'm not. I'm not. Uh, it's that's, probably that's wrong. A good that would have been my guess too. That was my guess. I'm thinking we had around because I, at the time, I was following the numbers fairly closely on whatever site the. That had the whole map of the U.S. Three hundred. Yeah, okay. that's my guess. I could be wrong, but everybody, three hundred. Yeah. Yep. Sure. Did Antarctica report one in twenty twenty? I think so. I think so. Okay. Pretty sure. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but they did eventually. Yep. But they did eventually. For some reason, I thought that wasn't until much later, but I may be wrong. I don't know. So, and that's what I would have I would have yeah, liked to have thought because it had to come there and they're very isolated. I mean, I I would think it wouldn't necessarily be that much later because once you'll decide nobody's in it or out, there's no way to introduce it. Right. You'd think that someone would brought bring it there before they decided to lock everything down, but I don't or rogue that or it came much later. A rogue but, penguin. All right, so we got answers for everything, right? I believe yep. we do. All right, good. Yep. You do. All I know is I took my wife for her birthday. <laughs> we decided to, let's go to visit New York City for her birthday, which was the beginning of March 2020. <laughs> uh, and we wandered all over the place, and they closed the place down, like, the day after we got back. Yeah. And then I got very, very sick. Wow. which according to my doctor had nothing to do with covid i'm still not convinced i was gonna say did they even they didn't have tests back then right no but i had one of the the uh, tests later on to see if i'd ever had it they had it back. no, no. Had they but you know i could have it's one of those things where you do the test five times you get six different results so right. yeah uh, so I, I i think i may have actually had it right off the bat early on but i don't know well, what's oh, I got it. Oh, my God. Okay. The first publicly given was that nurse and she fainted. And then there was all oh, the conspiracy yeah. about it. So yeah. let's see. It took. When did the first vaccines? We got our vaccine in 2022. Right. No, the first, the first one, twenty twenty one, right? Twenty twenty one. So fall. Was it like the fall of twenty twenty one? No, hold on. I think I still have a vaccine card in my wallet. Is that cheating? Uh, that's cheating. <laughs> that's Let's cheating. A look. I have my cat. Um, I just remember. Um, okay. When it was first approved, it was for 16 and over, right? When it was first approved, it went to healthcare workers. 
Yeah, it was right. For but, the, it was and the elderly, workers. and then the the and you had to be like health first health care workers and then elderly. But but it was the same formula was still allowed for sixteen and up, right? Yeah, I think so. and then they had to retest it to for the younger ages. Because mm -hmm. I just remember being on pins and needles waiting for my son to turn 16 to get it. <laughs> yeah. And his birthday's in May. And um, so I think fall would be correct. Yeah, I think it or, was in the fall. Um, my husband's three years older than me, and he got in earlier than me. Okay. But he got Moderna, and I got Pfizer. So we both had our second one at the same time because there was a shorter time for the Pfizer than for the Moderna and I'm thinking fall of 2021 right maybe even earlier mm -hmm. no well I got I got my Moderna January 30th 2021 yeah, so I'm thinking been earlier. Oh, so, so, have, so December. I'm thinking of, like, I'm thinking so like January. Must have been, it must have been like the fall of 2020, I assume. December of 2020? Well, no, I'd say I, I was thinking. Now. I was thinking January 2020, 2021, because no, I'd, remember. Well, I'd, I'd... Okay, we can stop making the. Uh corrections to everything she did wrong on these questions. Which corrections are your typos? Yeah. There were only three. Yeah. We're done, so we got nothing else to do at this point. I guess she's editing some Wikipedia pages while you're just having nothing better to do right now. <laughs> I've been going to people at random and I'm not sure who I have been with and who I haven't gone to. Let me go let me go see. You know what's interesting? It was it before went, they tested everybody. We had before we had tests. Right. So there, you know, there was also early on in those early days a lot of people who probably had it and never knew that they did. Right. Because, you know, you almost had to be dying before you were tested at one point. Right. When Susan came into our room, I heard a voice saying we were uh, being reported. That's, that's her. Uh, yeah, that's her. That's did, a clue. Uh, did everyone else hear that voice? Yeah. Yes, we did. Are you hearing voices, Vincent? I are, are you, are you okay? I, no, I, I, so, I'm so Vincent, you didn't, you, didn't, you didn't write one down for the last one. Yes, he did. He put in false. Yeah, it's in false. red. That's why you're not false seeing red. it. Oh, okay. Okay. And um, oh, yeah, actually, Susan. Susan, uh, we probably need a, a an explanation of number ten because it's not a true or false. It's a it's a uh, yes or no. Right. Okay. Yes so, or no. Yeah. So it, which which it, does true mean yes and false mean no? These are so weird. Yeah, you know, we like we like English to mean what it's supposed to be. So if <laughs> if you leave the word, I'm surprised you're a writer, Susan. If you read if you leave the word did out and you said Antarctica reported a COVID case, true or false, that would make sense. But when you stick the word did in front of it, it doesn't make any sense. But we we know what you meant. Okay, so you then no. you know what I mean. We put no. And when we, I give you the I answer, you can just correct it. You can say, oh yeah. The name of the ship was the Grand. Budapest. It's, it's weird. None of us can remember that one, although we remember Grand, the news story. Oh, God. Grand. The Grand Poobah. What do they mean ships? Let's just pick it up. Uh, the Grand Mary. I don't know. Was it a princess or something? Or, uh, was was it know. a princess cruise or a... Um, no. Grand, what do they mean ships? Something the, Pacific, the Grand Pacific. The Grand Old Opry. Uh, <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> it sails out of the landlocked Nashville. I do remember this story. I can't exactly remember what the ship was, but I know that it was not English. Not English? And it was... mean, yeah. it wasn't English. It was... You mean British? Not British or um, not an English word? I know that those people. It wasn't an English. It, it wasn't an English word or English name. But grand is English. It was That's weird. Spanish or something. No. Oh, oh yeah, that's Andrew's a good uh, semantic point, Wendy. Yeah, Are you done? Yeah, yeah we're done.
Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna call people back then. We're going with false no. False no. <laughs> false no. False no. <laughs> oh my gosh, my phone is listening to us. Oh, Moderna no. clinical trials ad has popped up on Facebook. Well, I yeah, they do. Thing. I got mine February twentieth, but I remember having a lie to get it a little earlier than I was supposed to. Yeah, I don't think I got mine till April. I'm going to look now that you've April sixth. Oh. As soon as I could, I think April first was the earliest I could get it. I had an April sixth. I believe ours was March seventeenth. I have to go pull the vaccine card. So, Colleen, what do you think so far? Is it kind of weird what we're doing? This is a lot of fun. Well, I'm, I hope you. I hope you come back. It it is a lot of fun, and then you get to. It feels like everybody knows each other. This is kind of the benefit of it, but we'd love having new people and we'd love to have you come and hang out more often. I hope, I hope you're helping. Has she been helping? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Wizard of Id. Oh, you knew Wizard and, of Id. And we're going to nail a question that other people are going to guess is sooner than it was, or later than it was. Because oh, she really? happened to be part of the first cohort that got the vaccine. Oh, so. that's right. I know why too. That's true. They did. It so wasn't did just we. like she doctors and nurses. It was all kinds of branches of people in the medical world. They had a different kind of thing. Yeah. Crazy oh science. It was scary, wasn't it? Don't are you guys remember how terrifying supposed, it was? Yeah. yeah. Are we supposed to still be getting boosters? Because the last I, I, I are going to the CDC. Was the combo looking, thing. I had the combo the CDC thing. The CDC is looking through what the next booster should be. So we should well, know. In the Rob's going to talk to Paul off it. And, and our start. former Department of Health and Human Services is now the head of the CDC. So just saying. Yeah, I I, I got mine Dr. in October, uh, September last year, whenever it came out again with a new booster. I had one recently. They'll get. Oh my God, was that hard? Wow. You guys did well, Rob. Everybody, look, Bob. We need Bob to is to totally Dr., passed Dr., out. Doctor um, Doctor Paul Offit. Can you make sure you ask him about Stanley Hawk, um, Stanley Plotkin for me? He's got to be what like should, looking nine well, now. Look at, what, look at what, Rob. What He's I, asleep wait, with a chicken on his head. What should I ask him about? <laughs> I want to make sure that, you know, ask him how, how oh, he is. <laughs> well, so send me a text. Send me a text about it, Susan. And look, also the thing that people want to know. Look at the square with the about. guy in red. He's we have multiple a, conversations. Susan, send me, send me a text I, about it. Send me a text about it. They want to know if... Uh, about the new booster if everybody needs to get a booster for you know what's going on with the boosters oh yeah yeah because that's oh, part right. of what is that's what his talk is about so yeah it's so yeah. cute about that. okay so, so i hope you guys like this category better we all on the yeah. same Take up the chicken i turned his video off because he was sick. i was waiting to see if it, it oh, lay an egg on it, it lay an egg on his head <laughs> we were having fun i'd like, like to see video. if he's breathing okay yeah. let's look Oh, I can't. I turned. Yeah, yeah. You can turn it off, but you you have to. I can't turn it off. Bob, wake up, Bob, Bob. <laughs> hey, Bob. Is it's that actually going to work? The chicken's going to get scared. Yeah. We already <laughs> tried to wake him up. <laughs> it didn't work. We tried to wake him up. Okay, so let's go back to COVID. Early COVID. There was some. I'm worried early. now. Oh, he's asleep. All right. He works hard. Yes, but the chicken might fall off his head. And lay it, but it'll lay an egg there. Watch that. And lose, and lose. It'll, end up, it'll get and to the other the side. The if the rooster oh, lays gosh. an egg on his head, which way does the no, egg no. roll? The, the, roost, the chicken well, might lose its head up. because it's Thank facing you. the other direction. Did it turn around? The chicken's face will fall off. The chicken's and face will fall off. That was is it on his shoulder or just on his head? Oh, it's, it's on head. the back of his well, head. Oh, on his on his head. He's got a little Answers. bit back there with a little pillow and everything. Answers. Sit there. Does right, anyone answer. want to hear the answers? Oh, you guys are something else. Can you post? Do want to watch the chicken? Can you post Let's the questions again? <laughs> okay, over overwhelming uh, hospitals. The three word phrase was. Flatten the curve. Ugh. Oh. You guys don't it's, remember that being drilled so in our heads? Funny. Oh, yeah. Everywhere. How Hell yeah. quickly you forget. We yeah, all it is. All we all remembered uh the social distance, 
you know, the six feet. Would you guys put Celia? Yeah? We put shelter in place <laughs> because oh, that. I mean, that is three words. That was a phrase. Because we were going to use lock her up, but so, yeah. social <laughs> distance, <laughs> social distance was only two words. So it said shelter in place. At flatten the curve, I completely forgot. <laughs> yeah, boy, it was like all we talked about. You know, now we're word. looking at it in 2023. I mean, in 2020, we didn't even know if we would have a vaccine for years. Years. We had no idea. And then every time the new variants would come up, we we're like, oh my gosh, are we going to have to come up with a whole new vaccine? Oh, yeah, it was terrifying. Looking back now, we can see how it worked. But I love it. One team put this in there so cute. They were wonderful. They spelled it correctly. Yeah. Oh, 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 here comes Adrian. Washington, we it's Washington, Washington, you guys. Yes. What yes. year state had the first confirmed case of COVID? It was Washington. <laughs> and here on Trivia, every mm. Thursday we discuss COVID to death. So I don't know if I should use that phrase. Adrian's here. Hi, Adrian. Adrian, Hi, Adrian. We're, just doing the, we're just doing the answers for. And I just I talked to everybody about your your excellent interview with. Um, uh, Courtney heard that was great um so we're doing the category was early COVID so we're getting the answers right now so I'm putting you the should have asked who was the first one of trivia who got COVID oh oh yeah Kevin was, uh, James James, yeah, James. I think. James. And what happened to him you know yeah, right? he, he had long COVID for a while That's yeah, right. yeah. so okay, the, how many question. have not had it that would be the, the low numbers Oh wow! Really? Oh, that many? Wow, you yeah. guys are so lucky. <laughs> that many? Wow, that is a lot of guys. Uh, well, we're kind of serious with that thing. So we wear yeah. we, we wear time. our masks. Well, so did I. <laughs> well, the mask doesn't keep us from catching it. It keeps us yes. from giving it to somebody else. It, well, it does. No. It, 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 it does wear not it. It. It Okay, question it number. You three. need to wear an N95. Question number three. The cruise ship that docked off the coast of California that we've all forgotten about. And remember, it was, they had a, several of the people had to go in quarantine over to Silomar. It was called the Grand Princess. Oh, all right. Uh, uh, good guess, team. Good guess. I heard a lot of people talking about this and, and you went back and forth on some of these things. It wasn't like it was, it was. Some Anybody who put piano for the answer, that was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> we, we were almost going to do that because we didn't know. It was, I thought either, it, was it was either piano or poobah. Mm. Yeah. yeah, we talked about poobah, actually. Well, that's good. <laughs> I thought finale. Or if you're, you know, if you're a wine fan, Grand Cru. <laughs> okay. This one I'm really surprised at because this was a big freaking deal. Thank you. And when Thank this was announced, I had so much pride and Kevin almost reasoned this out because I remembered this and Kevin said Susan would put it down because if something happened in California, it happened in the Bay Area. That's right? what I said. Oh, no. We talked ourselves into New York. We yeah, I heard you guys out go right it. to it New would have York been so much Queens better if it had been there. Manhattan. Yeah. Nope, it was yeah. right here in they right needed here in it. Area. So is, is well, San Francisco? Knows, you were is up in that San area, huh, Colby? That's San Francisco, Bay Area? You're on mute. You were right there in that area in Sonoma? San Francisco, yeah, okay? I, I don't remember. Hello? I didn't remember that. I, I remember San Francisco, so I would say yes. Gavin Newsom on the news, but I thought it was New York City. Oh, really? Yeah. It was yeah, right got, there. We, so Susan, is San Francisco good enough or is it gotta be what San Francisco think? Bay? Barry is like San Jose. I, I would say that's good enough. You would say that. What do you guys, Leonard? Would you we call put San the Francisco Bay Area? Bay Area? Well, I my answer our our team's answer was San Francisco Bay Area. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't okay, sure. Okay, okay, let's go ahead and let it's you have more it. more specific than state. So I didn't know if that meant town or county. Bay Area oh. is a very vague term, by the yeah, way. Kind of. Uh, it's actually but, a legally not defined term. Live there. Yeah. It's not really. Yeah. It's, it's very vague. But um, <laughs> there was an association of Bay Area governments. It's an official thing. It's and not there's vague. a Bay Area skeptics. Mm. Yeah, yeah, but Bay it's not the Bay State. Berkeley, San, I'm in the Bay San State. Francisco, yeah. So um, for the Bay Area, I wanted to make sure I mentioned this that our GSOW team wrote the Wikipedia page for this woman. She was the woman, pretty much, who decided that. Um, She's kind of the person that made the decision. And Sarah Cody, she was 
She was a uh, public health director of Santa Clara County, California. She, her and yep. her cohorts are the ones that made the decision that we're going to lock down. And that's what happened. I know what funny. date my county locked down. It was yeah. March, March 17th. Uh, St. Patrick's Day? Yeah, that's why I remember. That's right. Me meanwhile, in my state, Missouri, the governor and attorney general were suing anyone who was trying to lock any county down to prevent them from doing so. Nice. So Sarah Cody's Brilliant. got uh, 36,000 page views. Just want to let you know, she, she had some prominence for a while. She was in the news a lot. We write these Wikipedia pages. We don't know if they're going to end up being superstars or they're going to be duds. We don't know. We just write them. And she was she was big at the time. Good for her. Yeah. And that was another woman in science. Got her Wikipedia page done. Okay. So question number five. What country started the moment of solidarity? This is different from the people who were applauding. This is singing. They sang from their balconies and they played musical instruments. It was Italy. All right. Here's and a, that's here's... different than what New York, New York City for a long time actually had everybody going out and shouting at the same time every yeah. night. Spain did the same thing. They, this anymore. Are they saying I'm as mad as hell that in New York all the time, though. <laughs> yeah, New York, they did it all the time. Yeah. No, it was actually really cool. My sister was living in New York at the time. And my sister, by the way, did not leave her apartment for four months. That's how uh, seriously that, that's she all? took it. For, well, four months that she literally did not step her foot out. I think that was pretty yeah, that, Most people went to their mailbox or something, and she literally did not step wow. her foot out of her out of her apartment door for four months. So it was kind of a big deal when she got to go to the window and shout out with everybody. <laughs> and, at the and, same uh, time. It was very healing. Monterey County Skeptics has a really good friend, Arland, who was in Spain when COVID came out. And I had tickets. I almost had my tickets to go to Italy. For, um, and then COVID happened. But in Spain, he was there and we were watching it closely because it was so frightening. But he, he would Zoom with us and he would go out onto the balcony and we could see everybody yelling. It was really interesting. So number six, what month did the 45th U.S. president seek treatment for COVID? Maybe you guys remember it was October, right hey. before the election. Yeah. I remember, I remember clearly Leonard saying, better not die now. <laughs> yep. the, the Cheeto because Mussolini. then people would blame it on you know I mean the election was happening so we, we couldn't um, Karen remembers it. everything about it yeah she, well because Christy Chris Christie's been talking about it in the news lately that story I told you mm. would you be elected when you're dead yeah, yeah, you, you can be elected when, when you're in dead. jail so can you be elected yeah, when you're, you're on dead? the ballot yes. if yeah, you're on the ballot then you're, you there there like, have been U.S. senators elected when dead. Oh, yeah, Mi Missouri well, elected a dead person. To yeah, Songus, for I example. Think, Sounds yeah. like a trivia category. Yeah, they hire, oh, yeah. Ooh, Let's move on. Well, that would be too too wild. Or we could always get some psychic to talk to them. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that'll work really well. Yeah. Let's invite psychics to this. Let's offer a, a Randy-esque challenge. They come here, they're a team of their own. See how many answers they get. We won't right. give them the questions. We'll just think them to them. Oh, it's not like a whole team of psychics would ever cheat and Google anything. Well, we that is not questions. True. They just have to come up with the answers. Okay, no, we just have to ask, if, ask if you don't give lottery. them the questions and they have to uh, get them telepathically, then ah, Google that's the amazing I like Kresky. that plan. There you go, Kresky. Okay, question that's number what we seven. do. I give them the question after they give me the answer. I like well, that. Well, that's one. that's yeah. about right. Okay, so that's question Jeffrey seven: was. What was the first company that had the emergency use authorization? And that was Pfizer BioNTech. And you have to have both. No, no. You don't they're have that two both. different yeah. companies. They're two different companies. So that's fine. But I put it down there in case you 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 did both. Okay, the first vaccine was given to yeah. an ICU nurse, and I remember somebody in one of the rooms was talking about this. Was that you, Wendy? You were saying that she fainted. One of the nurses fainted. I, well, I, I was thinking. Janine, <laughs> Janine and Rick, yeah, she, she fainted, oh, and there's this whole conspiracy around that. Yeah, mm -hmm. and didn't Rob? Did you fix that Wikipedia page? I, no, I don't know anything about that. Who did it? We were just talking about it. It was December 2020. Yeah. Yes. Yay. Yay, Colleen. So that was Carol. kind of like. <sighs> You know, you're trying to remember, but at the time we were following it. I bet you anything, all of us were watching it. 
I believe it, she was in Queens. Yeah, I think that was. It must felt very optimistic to have. It was like right around New Year's and know that the vaccine was coming to mm -hmm. us. You know, mm -hmm. it, it felt very, it very it felt optimistic wonderful. that you know, and it could would be over in 2021, but. Uh, it wasn't over no it was not but, no. but still it was amazing to have yeah science, science, happening science was amazing and how actually, rapidly actually, that actually my, my, yeah. my take is that if trump had died it might have been over because then his idiot followers would have gotten themselves vaccinated no because they would have just accused no. us of doing the doing I don't the think deep. so it was the so, deep state no he came well, out of it I saying think, see covid's not so bad i survived it in fact he was saying i'm healthier yeah. than ever yeah, I think, I think he made it worse. Yeah, he also had the best treatment in the world, too. Yeah, he sure did. Question number nine, at the time of the first vaccine, what was the death toll? I heard Ben, at least, talking about, he says, I was following this really closely, and some, it was 300,000. Oh, I almost right. said that. Oh, we should have done the mean I mean, instead. maybe not woohoo. Yeah. But yeah, not woohoo. Woo for the answer being correct, not woohoo for the number. 300,000 people yeah it's amazing okay, so that, so you remember when it hit a million that mm -hmm. was, and then it and then like the, the new york times on the front page listed mm -hmm. new <gasps> names oh i do remember, remember that this. that day yeah it the, was like the whole, whole the whole front page of the new york times was a million names in teeny weeny print everybody in the u.s well every yeah everybody in the u.s excuse me not the first million in the world yeah. Um, that would have been earlier, of course, but every a million in the U.S. and and every one of them was listed on the front page of the New York Times. It was extremely powerful. Want some data analysis of that, Kyle? Can you actually, with the pixels on a newspaper <laughs> one page, fit a million names? Well, they did. It might I was wondering better. how they no. collected them more than fitting yeah, them. Yeah, 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 I don't think I don't think that there about. is a database that has that information. And if it did, it would be protected by HIPAA. I right. think yeah. it was um I think it was New York residents. It no, it was a million US now maybe they didn't have all the million names, but it was the day that the US death rate Yeah, was that's a million. What it was. But I think it had to do and with And they listed the whole front page was a list of the victims. It's probably the people who died that day, which would be protected by HIPAA. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Well, it was well, a list look of, at it carefully, they say Donald Maybe Duck. Maybe the families that allowed them to do it or something. Yeah, something. there was something. It was, it was. And Della effect, somebody's got to look that up. Mm -hmm. Question 10, true or false, did Antarctica report a COVID case in 2020? 50-50 shot. <laughs> no, I heard somebody reason this out and it made sense. I think it was your team, Carl, that was talking about it. It is true. December 2020, they had 36 cases. And Ooh, I uh, gave a link to the Ooh. Snopes article. I didn't even know there were 36 people there. Yeah, it, was right. a, it was a Chilean. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. They're, ca they're counting penguins. <laughs> they're counting the penguins. There's a lot of research stations down there. Yeah, well, they're oh, counting people in tuxedos. <laughs> ah. So, you so guys I can see how they did be really confused. well on this one. So it nope. spread quite quickly nope. in, the, nope. in the tight quarters they were living in. Yeah. Well, that, that would, yeah. Okay, so let's go with let's go with screen. I think everybody was pretty healthy with it, and I think it's because everybody in the Antarctica was pretty young and healthy people, you know. Just so I think they did okay, no deaths or anything like that. All right, so we got a nice spread here. I'm at five point eight on my uh, score, which is let's see how we do. I think mm. it'll be up a little bit on this one. So standing with Trump now, you will be stand. You may be standing with him later. What are your score? Seven. Okay. Somebody define recuse. Five. Five. And after three years, we've run out of ideas for names. Ten. Ten. Oh, wow. Francis and everything. Okay. Espionage with Kofefe in the first floor bathroom. I got seven. Is that match that's, my team? That's, that's yeah. what I got. Yeah. Yeah. Reboot the left footed Nigerian prince, which is the one that. Mark picked as the winner. Eight. Eight. Boy, my score went up. Well done. Seven point four. That was easy for you guys. Okay. Moving on. You guys ready for the next one? Yes. I'm four. Okay. This this one is created using a website I found a long time a uh, month a month or so ago. Hopefully it'll be okay. 
because I use the Washington Post. Um, it's called demographics. That's what I'm calling this one. And what happened is during um, there is a Washington Post has a has a um, does a research is really strange topics and they use the data. So Kyle probably knows all about this. So I thought this would be a fun one category that I made. And I got links to everything in here that you guys will find will be interesting. It, it, it's different. Okay, here we go. Question number one. My goodness, more, more spelling errors. Okay. Not surprised. Yeah, well, you know. Washington okay. doesn't have an R. <laughs> and several. Okay, according to the 20, 2021 and 2022 investigation by WAPO, which is Washington Post. Hi, Vincent. Oh, bye, Vincent. Looking at countries that voted for Biden and Trump, there is a 10% difference in the amount of people who drive to work and those who do not drive, 80% versus 90%. It's a 50-50 chance. Which of those chunks voted for Biden? Do more people who drive to work... What? I read the question. Now the perfectly worded question. I don't understand the According question. to a 2021 Jerry? 2022 investigation by Jerry. Washington Post, what? looking Jerry. at counties, counties in the United States that voted for Biden and Trump. Deborah, mute yourself, please. There is a 10% difference oh, yeah? in the amount of people. Did somebody mute Deborah? I got it. There is a 10% difference in the amount of people who drive to work. So if you drive to work, there is a more people drive to work. There's a 10 percent difference, 80 percent in or 90 percent. There's a I think it's a difference. great question. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Caspian. Thank you, Karen. So, so it's, it's, an, easy, it's, it's an easily it's understood question. 80 percent of the Trump voters drive to work or 90 percent of the Trump voters drive to work. Right. And there, there's a reason behind that question, all right? Except since we never want to actually mention the Cheeto Mussolini by name, it, you should word it by Biden. Okay. Right. 45 or 80 percent voted for Biden or 90 percent voted for Biden. It's one right. or the other. Okay. For question number them. two is followed up on that same question. According to that same study, insert the name of the president in the blank. Places with a high percentage of blank voters have a higher percentage of restaurant chains. What? Have? Live near? Own? What does that mean, have? Places yeah. with a higher percentage of restaurant Places. chains so you're are asking... in the county of blank. Which, which president? Okay. Who's more likely to go to Applebee's? <laughs> You're asking us of all 46 presidents. So no, 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 but the, are more the, likely the to go to two, yeah, just the, the two. two mentioned in the previous question, right? Oh, okay. 50 50, as indicated so, by according to the same study, right? These so, are mm -hmm. again, I'll use Biden's name. So, all the counties in the country, if they have more restaurant chains, they Tended to vote Biden. Voted for Biden or against or Biden. the other guy. Yes. Cheeto Mussolini. So I this is, I'll, give you, I'll give you the links to this Thank when you. we're all Thank done. You. It was that fascinating what like the Washington Post asked these very interesting questions. And then they break it down with demographics and, and data. It's really interesting. I'll give it to you later. So, I would wish Kyle did this topic. <laughs> he would have data on it. Okay, I love data. I love data. I've had three college level stat classes. I know you guys find that hard to believe that I actually went to college, but I did. Did All you right. pass them? And I passed them. <laughs> yes, I did. Thank you, Juan, for your loveliness. That was cool. I'm going to remove some points from his team, even though he's a big Blue Man fan. That was Bob, cold. wake up. Funny. Bob, wake up. Bob, Bob wake up. <laughs> Oh, he's connecting to audio, so he must be back. Okay, question number three. According to another WAPO study from 2021-2022, what U.S. state has the highest cost of living, almost 2% above California? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Susan Tight. 
Okay, question number four. Well, you asked. Is Casey helping you out over there, Deborah? <laughs> no, we were just eating cherries and he was telling me about the soccer game I just finished watching. Oh. <laughs> that they ended short because they started having fist fights and his fans were yelling racist stuff. Um, this is in Las Vegas. Um, I, I just ate about a dozen cherries. And they um, okay. had four red cards and four people ejected from the game. Mm. They should just end that sport. Question number four. It hardly ever happens. It's like weird. Are you watching an episode of Ted Lasso? <laughs> no, this is a real soccer game. It was a U.S.-Mexico game. So, I wasn't watching question it. Question number four. The U.S. state that has the highest percentage of 65 and older population that are military veterans is what U.S. state? Highest percentage of people that are military veterans that are over 65. Okay, so here's to clarify. The highest percentage of military veterans are in that state, not that it's the highest percentage of population of the state. Oh, Do you gosh. understand what I'm asking? Okay, what U.S. state has the most elderly veterans versus the state that has the highest percentage, like let's yeah, 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 has the high, I think of so. the state of Washington are elderly. I think the way you worded it first, yeah, has the most elderly. No, then that elderly. takes out the percent. Now that's yeah. more confusing. Highest percent of sixty-five. Yeah. I I would think that's it means the, the highest the in the state. What is the percentage of veterans over sixty-five? Which Correct. state has the highest number? percentage not number percentage yeah yeah it percentage. Is percentage. total population moving yeah. on over five. yeah okay question five what u.s state in 2020 produces the most crude oil hmm. oh gosh question six what U.S. state in 2022 pays the lowest taxes in America? Federal what taxes. You, what U.S. Tax state taxes. drinks the most coffee milk? No nope, taxes. <laughs> <laughs> taxes. Yeah. That taxes. No, sales taxes. Local, taxes, taxes, federal federal taxes, taxes. taxes. Federal taxes. Federal income tax. Federal, state, everything. Including lowest property tax. Lowest tax burden on. Oh, okay. All right. All yeah. property tax. Stop giving him. So. Bye, Bob. We wanted to see if the chicken fell off your head. Does that include property tax, Susan? I believe so. Okay. I assume so. Don't hold me to that, but I, I think it was I think it was all the other taxes. Bye, Bob. Question seven. Good night. What U.S. state they researched still... in 2017 is a is a bird okay? Yeah, she's still up there. You just got my camera off. It was yeah. so adorable. Yeah, she's she's very affectionate. You have to put your camera back on. She turned it off for privacy. She didn't want us imposing. Oh, on I don't her. care. Did yeah, so turn it back on so we can all go ooh and ah. So we can take a night to your chicken. <laughs> did you check to see if she laid an egg on it? She on your head? Me, she yes. still won't let me. No, she's too young. No, you it should be able me. to put your, you should be able to put it on. Won't let me. Uh, ask to start video. How about that? There you go. Oh, you can oh, that. So oh look at that. So cute. Perfectly Your head's cute. warm. She, her little tush is warm. It's She's all been good. Up there. <laughs> She's been up there. I really, I, I actually slept in a little bit this morning, so I thought I'd be good. But I, this is. The, the, it's gonna no, be I'm just. I'm just right. not into it. No problem, Bob. Good night, Good night Bob. Bob. Get Good night, some Bob. Sleep. Good night, Bob. Right, see you next Good night, Bob. Time. Okay, question seven. What U.S. state they researched 2017 to 2021 are you most likely to marry someone also from your state? And I gave you three choices, four choices. Is that New count York, like Texas, Kentucky where Michigan, they marry their Vermont. sisters? No. <laughs> Only if they're in the same state. Oklahoma's not in here. Kentucky's not right. listed. I thought that was West Virginia. Are you asking no. if you're most yep. likely to marry someone that is born in the same state as you? Also from your state. Clarifying if it means yeah, yeah, yeah. that is living in the state at that, that time. 
that they're living there. Most likely to marry well, someone. Most couples state. live together before they get married. Yeah, or, That's a fair uh, compare, uh, clarification. I would assume that, yes, that they were born from the same state. Yeah. Who is from your state? Right. No, I would think from that they're they, they, the question would be general, that they're living born. current at that time together in the, like in that the street something else my because god almost almost everybody in the same state at the time thank you susan for creating i'll explain question. why i answered the question when we get to the answer <laughs> slicing right. the data by 2020 presidential vote yields a slightly bigger gap 17 percent of blank voters and 26 percent of blank voters said they had been on a cruise at some point before the pandemic. So we're looking name, name their cruise ship. <laughs> <laughs> so in other words, you're trying to figure out who the Democrats two are, are. were the Democrats or the Republicans more likely to do cruises before the 2020 presidential vote. Which which who cruises? Republicans or Democrats? But I put it in, I put it the answer is in Biden or 45. So but we know what that means, okay? So number question number nine, what country began an effort to encourage students to spend two hours of outdoor activity a day in order to reverse high myopia rates, which is when your eyeball grows too long making distant objects appear blurry. So Russia, Taiwan, Chile, or Sweden. They wanted the people to go out into the, the kids to spend two hours a day in order to get them to to control their um, rates of having myopia, I love the, the how last, you spelled chili. Yeah, I like that. The too. last letter for number three is an E. Yeah, Chile. Wow, Susan, you're in that It's, 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 it's kind of the hot words there. matter, but sometimes spelling matters too. <laughs> it's chi lay chi 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 lay it's their national chant <laughs> okay chi, 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 is. chi 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 le, le, le. <laughs> question 20 mexico in 2020 has the most exports of beer than any other country by far name either the second or third country that follows and in fact i just saw this yeah. in the news today well, they were talking about question. mexico and um, beer rates so the next the second or the third most exports of beer countries. So did I miss the theme here? Because I'm not quite getting it. Oh, it's demographics. demographics, she said. State of shock. Demographics. Okay, got it. Okay. Cool. Adrian. Oh, my goodness. Where are we putting Adrian? We'll She's going on team five. Yay. There you go. Sorry, Adrian. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I guess can't talk about Susan now. So I'm still trying to translate number one into English. Carl, you're still on mute, I think. So yep, I'm, I'm unmuted now. Yeah. Uh, I can also share, too, if we want to be jotting down answers on the screen. I don't know how long Gail's going to be gone, but either way. All right. So. More liberal channels, they tend to um, prohibit chains. In there favor, are very of few others. places that very few places prohibit change. Yeah, almost none do, and those counties are all going to have cities that have uh, shopping centers that have Applebee's and Chipotle and so on and so such. Those rural counties are much less likely to have as many chains. Oh, right, because they don't have the population to support the chains. 
Right. Okay, I'm having trouble making this work. Trying to. Okay, so the uh, the the staggered um, comments that got thrown in are really screwing me up. Mm -hmm. Number three, highest cost of living. I'm wondering if that's New York. I was I wondering think it's Hawaii. If it's Hawaii. Oh, I think right. it's Hawaii. Sorry, I forgot Hawaii exists. Yeah, me too. For a while there, yeah. Massachusetts. Yeah, Not that a chance. <laughs> well, if you're talking about um, states that people forget exist, then sure. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, Hawaii, I think, Hawaii, I'm I think it's which would be where's Wendy? Wait, where's Alaska? I'm here. What can I Alaska? do? Alaska? Where's I was Wendy? thinking Alaska Summon. or Hawaii. No, Hawaii. I was thinking Hawaii. Um, we're I was thinking, where, oh, Hawaii. We're wondering where Wendy is, uh, Susan. Yeah. Wendy? You we're think Hawaii there. is is more than Alaska? We're wait, we're missing Wendy, Susan. Okay, let me see if I can find her. Um. So you think yeah, junk, the junk, uh, junk food, the junk food places, the junk food changes, which are most the train restaurants are more likely to be junk food than non chain yeah. restaurants, yeah, except. Mm -hmm. Except McDonald's and so the on. more crowded places, cities are the democratic strongholds. Yeah. And there are more chain restaurants per area, whatever, and cities. That's true. Yeah. Quite Rob. But it's percentages and stuff. Uh, yeah, percentage. I, I'm still inclined to go with uh, with the Republicans. But, yeah, me too. Uh, I think but I'll, I'll go, I'll go whatever. Would, would, cities have more other restaurants all right than, i'm not gonna argue because we've got no <laughs> chance at winning so it doesn't matter oh. two. Three. Three, three, three. highest cost of living. it's how you play the game it's it's it, it, would that be hawaii number three hawaii oh. i would think so is that is that the uh york? highest cost of living yeah not new york I was no, thinking no I, i'll bet i'll bet that uh, it, because in new york we think of new york city but mm -hmm. the rest of New York, there's still the rest of the state. It's very, uh, but it's I think, very large, I think, very rural, most of New York. But I think right. Hawaii, you know, I mean, and probably right behind Hawaii is Alaska. Mm -hmm. yeah. It always seems like New York and California are competing for that that title of least affordable. Well, but, some of the big, the big cities, you know. Well, but but maybe. It's also hard to ship stuff to Cal to, uh, to yeah, Hawaii. That's 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 but what Hawaii makes it is expensive. Food's more expensive. That's yep. and that's the reason why you why Alaska's further apart. You have to drive to the chains to the oh fewer the cities. Well, she wants the name of the president, so I'd put Biden there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, then, then so, we have to go more. She just so. wants either Trump or Biden is the answer. Oh. There. Um, Trump, have Trump voters have fewer chains. I like that answer. Okay. But that's so, not what But the answer for. is the answer's Biden. Oh yeah, Biden. Yeah, Biden yeah. has a higher percentage. That but you know, I could we could be wrong. Who who knows? <laughs> I know you number three. Me. I know the number three. The questions are very Yeah. Very Susan. They're very Susan. <laughs> yeah okay. I know I know number three what do you guys think what U.S. state has the highest cost nope. of living I don't know New York Connecticut no it's not New York I thought it was it's Connecticut at first but it's not it's Hawaii oh Hawaii I always oh, forget about Hawaii Hawaii is very expensive I had yeah, a tenant who lived in Hawaii. or Alaska no Hawaii is much more expensive everything's expensive because it has to be shipped in Except for like pineapple, uh, Alaska and does too. Yeah, but there's not there's not enough people living there, they, and a lot of the guys that live there that work there on the pipeline and stuff like that, they make a lot of money, and the women who were, live there are nurses. 
So there's there's lo- there's more men there than women in in Alaska. Well, at least there was I when think one of my wife's true. friends wanted to go out there to get married. The state that has the highest percentage of, okay, there was all this discussion. Rebates end up retiring there. They just doubled the population of 65 in the state type thing. I, I don't think you count it overall. I think it's the highest percent. It's percentage of people 65 plus population that are military veterans. Right. It doesn't matter what the whole population of the state is. Well, it matters what the whole population of people over 65 in that state are. So if you have Florida's got tons of people over 65, there's no way most well, a ton of them are military veterans compared to another state is what I'm thinking. Yeah, but if you're old and I don't think anybody wanted to retire in North Dakota places they get yeah, but if there's if there's only ten people in North Dakota who are over sixty five and they're all veterans, it, it it's I mean right. We're talking percentages, not total. Yeah, then that's a hundred percent. It's there, not so. uncommon that uh, people in the military, when they retire, will just settle in wherever their last posting was. Yeah. Yeah, like my ex father in law, he he uh, retired in. Illinois, because his last post was at Scott Air Force Base, which was in Illinois. Yeah, that's what my grandfathers did. Their last post was in Pensacola, Florida, and that's where they retired. When so they yeah, got to, out, yeah, when they got right. out of the military, that's where they stayed, I should say, because they didn't necessarily retire. So right, and and so the percentage or, or the amount of people. That are military veterans the amount of people in that state over 65 that are right right yeah. which says chances are it is one of the smaller states yeah i would think it can't can't be something like florida or texas right right because there's so many people that retire there right that are not military that it's military. going to make the percentage that are military veterans very right. tiny yeah. right yep I That's agree. why I think it's it's something like North Dakota or Wyoming or Alaska. And they do do they have a lot of military bases over there or in those states? Yeah. People go like to Dakota wind up that. And... I like North Dakota if I uh, as far as for my answer, but I don't know what the consensus is for the team. Good a guess as any I was could think of. I, I do know I that say, my, my not not paying real, you're not paying taxes on food and other. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the idea of us moving through and okay. seeing the ones we have high agreement on, and then coming back and discussing ones because it sounds okay. like so, we don't have okay. a lot of knowledge. Number, okay, number seven. What is our guess? We have a lot of opinions. My I was thinking Texas. Vermont just because it. I don't know why. I was thinking Texas. I was thinking because, because those people are there. There's more people that are from your state that are available to you, kind of like as if you live in South Central Texas, the chances of you meeting somebody from North Dakota are a lot slimmer than someone yeah. from Vermont meeting somebody from New York. Well, how often, yeah. Pauline, were you trying to get in there to say something? For this one, I was wondering if you know, from your statement born there. So I was thinking more along the lines of what state's population don't move. New Yorkers mm-hmm. will leave their state. Texans will leave their state. Mm-hmm. Michigan and Vermont, I wasn't too sure about. So I was actually thinking more Vermont. People who yeah. you're born there, you live there, you die there. So <laughs> it, it okay. seems like no, it well, that does that does make sense. Although yeah. so uh, people Vermont? from the, 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 all those people from all those states would go, maybe go away to college for, you know, an out of state, maybe. Mm-hmm. Also, Vermont is small. So, so like, uh, that's what drive, I mean. Driving you're gonna, outside of Vermont is nearby. Whereas, like, if you're in the middle of Texas, exactly, you're not going to. So, I, my I like your logic, Colleen, but for the same reason I went with Michigan. But I'm from Chicago, and that's my impression of Michigan. So, who knows? Did they sort of stay put? <laughs> yeah. I, think, I think I like the logic, and I also like your logic that Vermont is very small. So, there's a higher chance that you're going to move out. 
So well, what? You, well, you can just, can uh, we just vote? How many right people? Right. How many people like New York? Anybody? Me. Oh. So we have one for New York. Texas. Anybody? Uh, could you be verbal? Because I'm. I, no. I have... uh, one. Me. One for Texas. And who's next? Michigan. Michigan. I like Michigan. Michigan. We've got two, three, three. for Michigan. I think Michigan's going to win. And Vermont? That would I be vote Michigan. Vermont. Vermont. And Susan? Oh, dear. <laughs> We're tied. Okay. 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 Let's, let's go Everybody back. technically voted for Michigan because we all did the Michigan thing. Right. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> well, let's, let's go through the rest of them and then okay. come back okay. Wait, uh, Susan, Susan, uh, while we're here let's just do a tiebreaker whoever didn't vote for either michigan or vermont should vote now for one or the other runoff isn't that you peggy because we got three for michigan and two for vermont no i'm a vermonter that's how it got tied i'll go michigan okay oh. now we got four for michigan yep michigan he doesn't want to sleep outside wendy okay michigan it's michigan <laughs> Because he does want to sleep out. Why well, leave Grand Rapids? They got everything right there. Okay. Hi, Susan. You You'll be talk? glad to know that Jane is delighted with our answers. You guys already finished? Yeah. Yeah. You're going to be here a while. <laughs> Isn't everyone else done already? They should know that. They're just going to have to put down an answer because they're not going to be able to. <laughs> this is a group of skeptics. They are reasoning these things out. So there's. Yeah, and and some things just can't be reasoned without enough data. Well, the last category of the night, people get start arguing with each other and, reason, and they're comfortable with each other at this point. So now they're really getting into the answer. So it's quite interesting. Some of the conversations. Have they started bargaining yet? <laughs> well, they just, did a, they just did a vote in one room and then two people got outvoted so then now they're making another vote because they're like okay we've narrowed it down to two so now you, it's really cute they're they're having yeah so let's see that room was on seven you guys are done let me go look around and see how everybody else is doing see you susan uh, where have i not been I'm just going to people at random, so I'm not quite sure where I've been now. Okay. I can't I keep looking up and then my fingers come down the wrong place. <laughs> and and my keys stick. If one word doesn't make any sense. Look for where the uh, L belongs. None of us are volunteering to take your place. Just you know, <laughs> <you're right. laughs> It's just I knew that I knew that the the chat would disappear. I, I think um next one is Taiwan. Yeah, I think it is too. I don't even know what the question is. Let's see. Okay. No, because I vaguely what? remember reading something on the news that yeah, I, heard some, I, 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 I thought it was, was Korea, about... so I'm remembering it as Korea. But since Taiwan, yeah, Taiwan. I thought it was China actually, but Taiwan's yeah. that's what I thought yeah. too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, Taiwan. The the funny one. I it was funny. I was so I was at one time. Uh, uh, a neighbor of mine was one of these people. She had to recruit people to do to do surveys and stuff like that, you know, opinions and that kind of stuff. So she and she wasn't supposed to tell me what the answer when they called, but she gave me the answers. And it was turns out they were t testing some uh, something beer related. So I had to sound very intelligent. So they wanted to know how many beers I drank, you know. So I said, "Oh, a couple a week, that'll do." So I came down and it was they sat us around a big table. I had all the sandwiches out there, like a dozen of us, and in front of each each place they had a t the tall bottle of uh of labatt's blue and i i got oh shit i'm gonna have to drink this stuff and sound like i like it so uh, we went so i went so i made that i made that beer last the whole the whole time but it was fascinating because at that time they all canadian beer came in remember the stubby bottles yeah 
Okay. They yeah. didn't have the, the long neck bottles. Right. And so this was a long neck bottle and they were talking about the marketing. So it was fascinating. They were talking about, do you like the signs? You like this? And we, then they said, can you come up with a name? And we came up with the name big blue or something like that. They ended up, uh, those ended up being the names they used, not because mm -hmm. we said it, but it was fascinating, but I had to, I, boy, did I bullshit. I don't, they didn't get any valuable uh, data for me, <laughs> you know, but, uh, but that uh, looks like, uh, Labatt survived. So do we have them all answered now? Oh, that's great. <laughs> now, where's that from? We went on a beer tasting thing when I was in the Netherlands, and this is my oh. favorite beer ever. The cider. And and I didn't know I was ordering beer because like, that's you know, cider. It, it, it said, yeah, but it's beer. No, is this alcohol? It's cider. Is it alcohol? Oh, yeah. you no, know, what's the difference? Big Hard difference. cider it's is made not from beer. apple. It's 4.5% volume. What? What? It's apple versus hops. There's no absolutely. Hops in it. It's not even close. I mean, yeah. it's it's it's, uh, it's uh, it's you know. That's why you liked it because it's <laughs> yeah. Well, I love yeah. Cider. I was, I was like, wow, cider like is that. good. I'm not a real beer. It's lovely. I don't drink beer. Is there, I don't. I don't is like it alcohol? Beer. Is it alcoholic? Absolutely. Yeah, five, uh, four point five percent. Four point five percent cider. Is that what that is? Okay. Yeah, it's alcoholic. Oh, and it's I love it. I love hard cider. Cider's great. Yeah. So you guys are all done. Yep. Well, are we? Did number ten? What did we decide on? Ireland. Oh, okay. We've got Can two. We get them all? Yep. Let me go look and see if everybody else is finished now. I think we're close now. We didn't have four. No. And... Are you guys all done? No, no we got we're two. Almost we're almost oh, we'll get, 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 get okay. wrapping it up. We're almost trying to go now. away. Okay, so <laughs> Trump has more tra chains. And yeah, then, no. okay, number four, Kyle said Tennessee. See, if someone doesn't like Tennessee, please state another state. I like Florida. I like Florida uh, also. Uh, Everybody uh, moves to Florida. Florida. The last 20 mm -hmm. years or so? Yeah. Do we get yeah. to pick two countries for question You guys 10. are done, right? Yeah. Do we get to pick two questions for question 10? Do we get to pick two countries? No, you pick one. Okay, pick one. Okay. But you have two, two answers that are possible. Mm-hmm. Okay. I like yeah, it when you can pick two and be the one. Disease resistance, Lee. I think everybody has uh, brought the hot production back. I, I like the German answer because Germany does produce a lot, and I know that Asian I community loves loves their Heineken beer. And as long yeah. as Heineken comes out of Germany, then that's a good. It's a good reason to. I'm not sure that. Heineken comes out of Germany. Yeah, that's my question. I'm not really sure if it does, but Maybe. I know it's considered but, a German uh, beer. Yeah, I'm not I'm sure. Again. But I, I, you know, I'm not sure on the export business, and I don't think Heineken alone is. Canada would... could be the answer too, because they have a few places, and and we buy beer from Canada, but then there's also Australia that produces fosses that goes everywhere. Well. The, I don't know. I, I like growing, the hot growing Ireland? areas of the 45th parallel. Could it be Ireland? I think Germany is a better. Oh, well, Germany. Uh, yeah. Or the United yeah. Kingdom for all the. Uh... UK. Yeah. Oh, we got a UK they beer. They drink a lot here. of pints there. So. But well, I'm just thinking of all the. But it's not, it's not just. Here. It's not just hops that you look at like mexico is too far south to produce hops you know there's more there than th there's but more how are they the number make... one then they're number one We're number you one. don't have to produce the hops there right to export the beer well they're the biggest importer That's of what hops I'm saying. Then. they're probably the biggest importer of hops they may very well be a yeah. big importer of hops Oh, they're making some know, kind of skunk beer. You know, uh, the, they just can the bittering. They just can the alpha acids. They just ship cans of the alpha acid bittering, you know, but you don't have any, any. You don't need the hops. You just need the byproduct, yeah. You just need the. Okay, so this was different from what we've had in the past, right? That's my goal. Let's try to make it a little bit different. It was different. <laughs> this was, I think, more of a discussion. I kind of like this. Yeah. It's not like a yes or no, I know the answer, but 
kind of like maybe I've heard something about this summer. Okay, so where are we at? I am curious what the answers are. Yeah, I, and and this first one right here, the first and second one are linked together. Can yeah, there's the first one, and this all comes from this article. And you guys are going to find this really interesting. Anybody who likes data, especially, this is Washington Post. They did this survey on, um, they're trying to figure out what, okay, the, the, the title is the most common restaurant cuisine in every state in a restaurant, a chain restaurant mystery. And what they've discovered is that, that uh, people who voted for Trump were more likely to have a chain restaurant in their area. And what Damn they're it. discovering is that there's more highways, highways breed fast food mm -hmm. and chains. So there's more highways there and therefore more people who voted for Trump are driving to work. So no non-drivers vote for Biden. And when you think about, yeah, non-drivers to work are voting for Biden. That's people oh, okay. are probably more in okay, city, that's good. like yeah. New York. That's totally they have good subway systems. They're not driving to work. Chicago, those kinds Boston. of things. Boston. But you're also, you're also talking about during the pandemic time. And, and if that's the case, that also the more educated uh, the Democrats tended to be working from home, where uh, the other people had to drive, uh, you know. Uh, Very likely. Yeah. yeah, so there's a lot of reasons. I love, I, I really en enjoy this kind of stuff, the surveys and the demographics. This is fascinating to me. It's social, social kind of a history thing that I, I really adore, but they get into the weeds of it here. So the answer to number one is 80% of the people voted for Biden and 90% uh, of the people who drove voted for Trump. So there was a 10% difference and, and it has something to do with what you said, you know, driving to work, um, having having more, um, yeah. you're not in the city and stuff. So the second one, which here's the question for number two, according to that same study, places with a higher percentage of um, Trump voters had a higher percentage of restaurant chains. If you read the study and you read how they analyze it, it'll make a lot more sense than what I'm explaining right now. It makes sense. Does it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I, I like how they reason yeah. this out. So question number three, this was about what U.S. state had the highest cost of living. And I think most of you guys got this. The answer is Hawaii. Hey. Hey. Yeah. So there it is. Everything now, is same, shipped out. Huh? Yeah. Everything is shipped there. Almost. Yeah. yeah except your pineapples. Except pineapples and, uh, and macadamias. And right. So this, this link cans. I just gave you that's in the chat right now. This link is going to also go to a lot of other questions I asked you, which was the U.S. state that has the highest percentage of population that are over 65 that are military veterans. And the answer is Alaska. Oh, oh wow. It's 23.4%. And there's it's all kinds of reasons why this is there. It's really interesting if you read this article. If you guys can't open these Washington Post articles, let me know and I'll give you a gift uh, a link to be able to open them up. So remind me and I can I can gift you an article because I have a Washington Post membership. So which US state produces the most crude oil? This is kind of a trick. The answer is Texas. Um, I figured you guys would overthink it. We we tried. No, Texas is way too obvious. Way too obvious. <laughs> it must be Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> New Hampshire. New Hampshire. No, we came up with Alaska, which I actually thought was a very intelligent game. Yeah, actually, Alaska is a really good answer. Texas was too obvious, and, and Alaska. Oh, you really did overthink it. Oh, yeah, Alaska makes oodles of oil. Of oil, yeah, but there's also North Dakota in there too. So yeah. Okay, so what U.S. state pays the lowest taxes? And the answer again, is Alaska. Yeah. Oh, my place. goodness. See, we did and good by putting Alaska twice. How, how do yeah, they measure that? Because, because, we did it in the wrong one. Been because they, no, Alaska, no, that's Alaska where it is. has the most, that's and not. so this whole article that, that I gave you the link to is about Alaska and uh, why it has a high military population, 
and why people stay there because it's beautiful and the outdoor life is so incredible. There's so many things you can do. And if you are, if you're a military vet, the benefits are so high because you've got, uh, people have, a, well, the lowest tax, well, you can read the article. It's really interesting. And you can see uh, Russia from your backyard. Well, there's that. And you can go swimming one day in the summer. Yeah. It, so, it, so the tax is frozen away from low like in Alaska. Say. Of course, it's very expensive to live there because of, you know, things having to be shipped in like in Hawaii, but there's other benefits to it as well. So I think also the property values are still low. So you could buy a home in Alaska. You have to fight the bears off. There's more bears than there are people in Alaska. <laughs> but they're veteran bears. But Alaska <laughs> yeah. is absolutely incredibly beautiful. If anybody's been there, I went on a cruise and I was able to yep. see it. It is very it. beautiful. Gorgeous. It's very, very beautiful. It's just too bad it's too damn red. State. It is, but and, if we all move cold. there, and it cold. helps change that demographic, all right? Everybody's going to move to Alaska and change I'm everything. not going somewhere where it's dark half the year. But no. it's only got like what, Caspian, is it three uh, electoral votes? Yeah. Alaska, yes. And yeah. it shouldn't even have that many. So if enough of us move there, we can swing it blue. Can, I mean, it's can, smaller than the city of Seattle. It's insane that it even has three electoral votes. Yeah. Right. Go, well, it's a go there, you turn blue. So question number four, seven, I yeah. thought this was interesting. I, I heard some of you guys' discussions. Everybody made some really good arguments about which state is it that you're more likely to marry somebody from that same state. And this, this article I'm going to give you has all of um, the reasonings behind it. But the answer is Michigan. Yay. Right. Yay. Kyle talking about it, says, oh. I just kind of think it's Michigan because of the, I'm from Chicago, so... Yeah, so Michigan, <laughs> and the article explains the, the place that is most likely to have somebody who's not from your state, I think, is uh, Hawaii. And well, well, most of the marriages sense. are international, you know, because of Japanese yeah. and yeah, Philippines. Yeah. And, and uh, I think number two is California, and I think mm -hmm. number three is New York. So we tend to have people more internationally come in and you meet them and, and so on. So that's Michigan. Michigan. That's most likely you're going to marry somebody from Michigan. A Michigan because well, they have that accent too. They have that accent. <laughs> they have that accent. Oh, they, and they want like their own, own accent. They want like to I told sound my like team, them. I lived in Michigan for 40 years and I was still considered an outsider. <laughs> oh, interesting. <laughs> See, you have to the desirability of people from Michigan. Huh? Mm -hmm. I thought it was the desirability of people from Michigan. <laughs> That's true. I married. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Funny. Funny, buddy. Um, what, it, it was just an interesting study. And they, so this, as I said, this Washington Post thing, they look into some really strange things like about donuts and, oh, it's just fascinating. Donuts are very important. Well, <laughs> one of the studies they're trying to figure out is how much weight in tonnage, do those little stickers that are going the fruit way in a year, oh. or something like that. They were trying to figure out, how would you figure that out? How is that figure outable? So anyway, God. so they asked some very interesting democratic leading state. Oh, Caspian says Alaska's leaning. Uh, Rending, but Rending. starting from a very red base. I was going to say, I mean, you, you, you convince one person to vote democratic in Alaska. That <laughs> that's use the statistics. That's a trend. <laughs> Well, maybe the maybe the Republicans are starting to die out because nope, there's nope, such number a big military eight. They're so old. They're just dying. Yes. <laughs> they're out fighting bears or something. So number eight, slicing the data. Okay, so um, I'm asking in this one, what was more likely to go on a who was what what uh, of red or blue? Who is most likely to go on a pandemic? I mean, on a cruise before the pandemic. Adrian probably knows the answer. To this she has a lot of cruises. What was your guess, Adrian? I guess Republican. And you're right. Most, <laughs> most, uh, and you know, it's very anecdotal, but I've talked to a lot of people who I felt were probably Republican. Yeah. <laughs> and it's, a, it's a by 17% versus 26%. So it depends what kind of a cruise, because uh, twice we were on small ship river cruises, which are much more expensive, and they were all high level professionals and no one was a Trumper. Well, you can look at the article. But they still could have been they Democrat. They still could have been Republicans. Yeah, I had, I, I've run into lots of people who were ashamed of being associated with Trump who still were Republican, as you were saying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I, I just I just went on the basis that most cruise people tend to skew old. Yeah. And well, of course, you've got the yeah. money and you've got the time yeah. off from work yeah. and so on. So, yeah, of course, that's where every you, uh, you get to a certain age, you're like, hell, I'm going on my damn cruise. I don't care about my kids inheritance. Well, and there's but, a big difference between this big, huge ship cruises versus taking a boat down a river. Right. There's a bigger difference. So you'd have oh, to look yeah. at the stats so, and see how they came yeah. up with this. I know that after COVID, the majority of people who are taking cruises is Republican. Because Democrats are still afraid to come out after the pandemic. They're much more cautious. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to give you that question be after because that was kind of obvious. Mm -hmm. uh, but in, in but, well, um, yeah, I mean, those big giant cruise ships are kind of floating petri dishes. Adrian's just done one. You went to New Zealand and yep. uh, Australia. I've actually been very impressed with, even before the pandemic, with how they try to, I mean, they're constantly, at least the cruise ships I've been on, constantly cleaning constantly disinfecting uh, and i think it's uh, yeah, that, because the they've had that, so many that's, issues that's, in the past that's really that's theater because this and does they, not spread they, that way they added a lot of um, hepa filters and yeah that's yeah. a good increased that's a good filtration part. yeah so it's a yeah, that doesn't spread that way but other things do so mm -hmm. norovirus oh norovirus norovirus yeah. yeah right yeah. so the, the, like, that's the why idea is they try to combat yeah after covid it's a perception that these cruise ships are plague ships. Mm -hmm. And so Democrats are less likely to go because we're still very cautious. Yeah. We're, we're more likely to be very cautious than... Um, number nine. Number nine. Okay, so this is which... And this is a study that was done. And I think Lee mentioned he thought he'd read about this somewhere. And you probably have. This is... Um, um, an area of the world, and they had very high rates. Um, I can't remember if this is nearsightedness or farsightedness. Nearsighted. 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 And, and because of the pandemic, Nearsighted. we have become more nearsighted as a society, from what I understand, because we're spending so much time in front of our computers. Mm -hmm. And so we're looking at things close. And what you're supposed to do when you're young is you're supposed to look at a distance. You're supposed to look Every 20 minutes or so, you should look off into the distance and it helps your strengthen your eyes and you're less likely to end up being nearsighted. And so this country really focused on it. And the answer is Taiwan. All right. Yay. So they Yay. have, and it actually oh. reduced job, the rates. It went way down. The rates really, it really had an effect by forcing, you know, really focusing on making your kids be outside because you're if you're outside you're more likely to look to the di in the distance whereas if you're inside all the time you tend to look at just things close up tv screens and and computer screens so i'd be curious you know as a pediatric occupational therapist i think it's great when kids get outside i'd be interested in really the statistics of the other benefits then mm -hmm. you know like if they have less sensory processing disorders mm -hmm. and better gross motor skills and mm -hmm. Well, more sensory processing is in the case of my kids because they hated the wind really? <laughs> and bugs. <laughs> well, I think it would just be a wonderful thing to be able to be yeah. in nature, just more yeah. peaceful. Yeah, absolutely. And then, you know, and then the, the psychological benefits of nature. Mm -hmm. and, I, mean, I don't think they address it in this article, but you should look, Celia, yeah. because yeah, I, think I think that, that, that would, would be really interesting, interesting it's to very know. Interesting. They were just looking at nearsightedness versus farsightedness. And we, or no, nearsightedness. Know that this, um, Levels of nearsightedness. Okay, so, so much, so many problems with kids not being outside. So I just did that little plug for the, you know, the 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 book, The Last Child in the Woods, by the Good guy book. who headed the nature deficit disorder term. You know that. Yeah. How terrible it is that kids are not spending. You know the the negative effects from them not spending enough. Time I know when I was a it. kid, we would get on our bikes and we'd be gone yeah, for just hours. Yeah. And <laughs> now, oh my gosh, when I was raising my kids, if they were out of my sight. That was that was scary, but yeah, yeah. stranger danger did a lot of danger to uh, mm -hmm. these kids. But there is a lot of there's a lot of studies that are showing about the more screen time kids have, and the less that they actually play with toys, or manipulatives we call it, that mm -hmm. there um, there's delays in our fine motor skills and you know lots of things. But anyway, I, yeah, so and it's fascinating. Yeah, yeah it is fascinating. So number ten, I ended up with beer. <laughs> and um, I, I don't like beer. I can't stand it. So um, it was what we know that Mexico had the highest, had the most exports of beer than any country by outrageous numbers. I mean, like way spikes of numbers. 
but the second and the third are Netherlands and Belgium. Oh, darn. Huh. Huh. They are. Okay. Huh. That well, was another Belgium does article. make a certain amount of sense. The Netherlands, it's just Heineken's, you suppose? That's pretty popular around the world. I don't it's know big. anything about beer. <laughs> we had guessed we'd guessed Ireland just because of how popular Guinness is. Oh, they're drinking it. They're exporting it. No, they're not letting. No, it no, out. they export it. Uh, Guinness, no, they export it. Uh, Guinness is really popular in everywhere. Uh, <laughs> and, well, <laughs> on Earth, Africa yeah. and the Caribbean. So I don't know if it's. Yeah, popular. I've had Guinness. Well, I mentioned in Heineken, Ghana. but I thought it was made in Germany. Guinness is very so popular in West Africa. I had one in Ghana. Oh. It's very and it's very popular in the Caribbean, even though they make their own beers. Guinness Australia too. Guinness awesome. actually has a brewery in Trinidad, Canada. Oh, is that right? I believe it. With how much oh, they I drink it. So um, I'm going to do scores, but before I go to scores, I'm going to mention that next week we have Carolyn, Caspian, Gail, and Rob, and I need a bonus. I'll do the bonus. Kevin's got bonus. Okay, so we got that. All right, next week's taken care of. And that will be game 166. So we're on 165 today. All right, so let's go over to scores. Let me get to that screen. I don't want to give away anything for our final round. So your scores are going to have something to do with, I'm going to decide what I'm doing for bonus based on your guys' score, how difficult I want it to be. So just keep that in mind. <laughs> And it be quick. That's all that matters. Yeah, I'm tired. <laughs> you. Okay. It's already go. after midnight. It's For already me. tomorrow. We are. After one o'clock. It's only 10 here. Someone <laughs> define recuse. We've been very consistent. Five. <laughs> okay. And standing with Trump now. Um, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> That's Wait. not a score. <laughs> um four okay so then let's hey we tied for last and then we're gonna go to oh, there we go. six i got yeah six okay Kevin. five after three years we've run out of ideas for names nine whoa oh. okay and reboot the left-footed nigerian prince seven nice 6.2 this is the kind of scores i like is when they're really low like that okay <laughs> oh that's mean no i like it because it's tough because there's too many we've been doing that's like everybody's ends up with nine or ten it's like oh. well you know what it was they were always like this in the beginning and then we started doing we wanted to lighten it up now susan's back with a vengeance yeah, I think so. <laughs> so, okay. So let me ask you this. Let's, let me ask this. I know you guys want to do for time, but I'm going to ask you generally, I have a very easy category be done in two minutes for bonus. It's super easy. You guys will probably all get 10, which yes, I don't think do. that's the one we want. I don't think I really want to do that one. Yeah, Adrian threatened. Choose the medium one, Susan. Have, Choose Adrian the medium one. She wanted okay. to leave if the next thing wasn't quick. And already the, the just giving the answers took about 20 minutes for that last one. So I don't think Adrian's going to hang out for a long one. Susan, choose the medium one. And I'm falling asleep too. Oh my goodness. I don't want to do a bonus round of I'm making the decision. Just do one, Susan. You guys, I'm usually the one falling asleep. <laughs> You're in California. <laughs> <laughs> um medium as opposed to the really i have one that's really interesting but it's gonna do it do it do it do it just do it okay all right i'm gonna do it hey, i'd like to be done before be saturday <laughs> okay you want to well i hate to do this you guys don't be too mad at me i better not do it so do yeah do something that's not really the longest one and not mono rules no mono rules yeah i took that out it would be too hard. All right, and I'll do the really easy You can do these one. another time, Susan. You're not doing it tonight, but you can do them mm. another time. Okay, I'm going to do the easy one because you guys are complaining about the time. Well, it's taking a, taking a half an hour to decide. I know. Okay, <laughs> so here it is. It's really simple, right? Name the 10 one-point letter titles in Scrabble. Oh, Super oh man. Oh, I, 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 I almost did something like this. Speaks uh -huh. back. Okay, mute that now. You'll be done in a minute. Do we know how many there are? 
26? Ben, you're not going? Okay. Question before. We did, and and I know on the other team, Gail was, um, she was um, actually writing out all of them, so she knows all of them. Um, so that's five of them right there. Right, okay, NSTR. Okay. And I'm not sure whether L is there or not. Or... Yeah, so that's nine. Mm -hmm. It has I been so long since I've played Scrabble. It's got to be L because all the others have got two or more points. Okay. These other stimulating categories she wanted to give us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like you said, she could do them another time. <laughs> We're done. I was getting too many complaints. so. But I'm you can do them again. Mm -hmm. No, I have to do it soon. It's kind of a time time sensitive. Do one. it next week. Tell Kevin to wait. Yeah, to tell me. Kevin. Kick Kevin out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do it next week, Susan. Do it. No, I can't. I have to because then I can't be on a team. I have to do it when I'm doing all of them. So you guys are done. Let me go see, make sure everybody else is. I figured it'd be really fast. That could just yeah, be the go. one thing that you're not on a team for. That's not a big deal. Well, I'll think about yeah. it. Kind of got it started off. Oh, no, oh, there she is now. You guys all done? Yeah. yeah. We, we talked about a baby. Um, I told Sue that I, Susan, that I had had a baby llama, and she goes, Oh, does it have a hat? So I had to send her this. I don't know if you can see it. No. No, you can't. I'm going to have to put that. You bought a hat for your llama? Oh, he put a picture of a yeah, hat on his, a... his llama. Llama with a... See? Yeah, no, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, very uh, cute. It's adorable. Yeah. So this category was super, super easy. You see my map, Susan? You know. All the, all the Dunkin' Donuts in <laughs> Massachusetts. <laughs> It's they real though. That's the funny thing. It's real. For chickens, like little things that you can put around them, and with little hands and horses, <laughs> and they also have diapers for chickens. <clears throat> you guys all decided? Uh, we're working on it. Most of them. I think you're the only team that's not completely done. I'm not sure. What's that? Not you, though. I'm going to mute her. Anything <laughs> else? Okay. You have two minutes to get it done. I'm sure you'll be no problem, right? Yeah, Adrian was off asking her, her husband. husband. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you can call us back. We just, have to one yeah, we just have to get one more letter. You're muted, Adrian. You're muted. Susan muted you. All the vowels are worth one. So there is, oh, okay. A E I O U. Oh, you. 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 Yeah. You so you. One. Closing all rooms. Okay, we're leaving you. Okay. George. Or, or, or the real George. The real George is sleeping, and you know what they say about sleeping dogs? Let them lie. So when, the nose. when he's up, um, I don't know that I don't think I have a picture on this computer. It flashed for a second when you came yeah, up. That's from when he was a puppy and he was super cute. You know, he still is. He's yeah. Okay. <laughs> he's adorable, but he's not a puppy. He'll be a puppy forever. She has a cute he, dog, Colleen. He'll be my puppy forever. That's for sure. Good point. He's just not tiny and adorable anymore. So yeah, so I he must die. 
So that's him when oh, he was just yeah, a baby, so right after I got him. And he was pretty freaking cute. He's not cute anymore. She's sending him off to work in a rice field in another nation, yeah. never he's, to be seen again. He's he's always my baby, but he's not that cute. He doesn't, you know, I used to walk around with that dog until he got to be about a year old. Everybody would just go, oh, what a cute puppy. I love corgis. Oh my God, he's so cute. And it doesn't happen anymore. And is that your Aww. goal when you have a dog to elicit that response or it's to for men? Shred, it's, for men. it's to spread the joy of having an adorable dog. But so now, do people spit at you it, now? Do they spit at you or throw no, garbage? No, no, some of them go off. Does you know, George go, wow, man, I, I'm old and ugly now. Nobody loves me. Oh, he doesn't care. Ooh. He thinks he's still the cat's ass, you know. Everybody's going to love me. <laughs> the cat's ass. Yeah, that's a saying. Somebody I've never was, heard that phrase before. I really? Don't exist. No. It's kind of a, a variation on the cat's meow. Oh. Okay. I will we'll keep that in mind. Everybody's back. Cool. I think so. So that was so easy, right? You guys are fast and done in like seconds. Yes. No. Is it, anyway. I think so. If All right, so it. the 10 point letter tiles and Scrabble, I'm putting them on the screen. There they are. A, oh, all the vowels. vowels. Ellen, Ellen and, all the ones, and all the ones on Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? Got it? I think yep. we got it. Yep. So let's go over to the scores and see how you guys did. I'm, I'm predicting nines and tens. Bonus, but do it, do it afterwards and let everybody who's too tired to stay to go. I was going to suggest that, to Susan. Those of us who don't have to go to bed, we stay and just play with you on your timely round that you wanted to share. I'm tempted to do that. Sure. So we can call it, a, it, it would be like bonus points or something. Let's see. A, a bonus, bonus, bonus round. Game. It a just bonus be like bonus. a little bonus game. Is the one Because what I have, I can't really do it later. Super hard one. It is kind of hard. Okay, here we go. Let's see. We've got a tie for last place. So let's go with standing with Trump now. How many did you get? Ten. That's I thought. Boom. Someone please define recuse. 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 It was ten. Damn it. Tie for last place. And <laughs> let's do... Nobody loses. Espionage with Kofepe. Ten. Okay, Nigerian Prince. Ten. And is it ten? It's One. ten. Ah, so boring. All right, so the winner tonight is after three years, we've run out of ideas for names. <laughs> run out it's of ideas. You lose a point just for that name. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's that's the one that Mark predicted. You run out of names, but you but you're still winning. That's that's pretty good. Was that the one that Mark predicted? No, no, he predicted no. left reboot the left footed Nigerian prince. See, that's proof now. Second psychics, place, just psychics one are not real. All right, good night, folks. See you next week. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Right, good night, everybody. I'm All Alex. Right. So I really want to stay for this little extra bonus, but I can't. I got to see how many people want to stay. It's a school night. I'm going to stay as long as I yeah. can, but as well, I do it now and then do it again at the start of next week. <laughs> good night, to everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night. As I just told my team, we are having some excitement here. Uh, we found out finally what it was. There were police knocking on our door a little while ago, and there's all kinds of police and SWAT all over our yard and police cars. Apparently, the neighbor across the street and down the block, a couple of houses, uh, has some, a hostage inside, and they're trying to get him out. So they told leave? us not to leave the house so I can sit here until okay. we find out what's going on. Oh, you can go oh out. Oh my gosh! How can we possibly yeah. do another uh, another uh, round if, with that going on? <laughs> okay, no, I, well, we, we can do it. When you what said what it was going to be Scrabble, one of my favorite topics, I actually know something. So, Susan, <laughs> bring a SWAT guy in. Uh, so, you you've done a lot of work on this. You're excited about it, so we can do it right now, and it can just be its own little game. Right now, we can just do a little game with we the category, or we can just do you guys, or if it's timely. Next week, you could start with a little um, amuse-bouche of trivia, <laughs> Susan, 
It doesn't work that way. You could I'll, do it I'll right just give it to you guys today because because I it's really hard for me to do a category on my own because unless I do all of them, it's hard to it's hard to do. So I will just give it to you guys okay. and let's see how you guys do it. And, and then, and then what will we do? Anyway. Are, we 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 are we having teams? Are we not having? No, teams? no, we don't need to. Oh, do it's teams. just a free for all. Okay, yeah. but people, let's do that. and I want to hear you guys reason all? this out. Don't don't shout don't shout out answers, please. No, you can, because you guys got to go ahead and do. You're going to okay. discuss it here. We'll so is this a free like for all, all of us said? versus Susan? <laughs> I'm just going to be quiet. It's just going to be you guys. We're, like, what? Happy we're happy one big happy oh, team. Just, well, well, at this rate, happy. we're not going to get anything done. Let's just do it. Go, go, <laughs> go, go. With it. Okay, so let me find it right here. So, um, Miriam Webster. Big dictionary place. So yeah. they have a word of the year. So some of you might even know this because this has been all over the news. Here's the, um, what you're going to do is you're going to come up with the, well, there's only nine. So I guess it's for the best. So there's nine words of the year. For this year? For 2022. For year? So I'm going to read this out for the recording. Since 2014, Merriam-Webster has created a list of 10 word of the years. Okay, These may not be actual words or a single word. These are in everyday use. Words are useful tools that can communicate assertions, ideas, aspirations, and uncertainties. But they can also become vehicles for ideological conflict. Greatest percentage of lookups over the last 12 months of the most looked up words in the website. So that's how they determine it. So... People are uh, looking up words on the website and they get over a hundred million word lookups a month. So people are looking up words and they want to see what has had an up, uh, uptick in percentage. So some of the ones they've had in the past, uh, the year for, of the word for 2021 was vaccine. The year of the word for 2020 was pandemic. 2019 was they. 2018 was justice, 2017 was feminism, 2016 was surreal, 2015 was ism, and 2014 was culture. So my question to you is, and we'll give you like 10 minutes and work it out here right in front of me. What are the nine, there's only nine this year, words of the year for 2022? Keeping that in mind. What? There was nine words for for. Well, wait a minute. Right. Well, well, my two, oh, my two are good night, everybody. <laughs> good night. Oh, 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 oh. Out. Okay. <laughs> what, Wendy? I have two. It's I want to suggest. 2023. 22. Oh, 22. Most looked up words that had a high percentage of people needing to know what that. We, means. Should, we should type them in. I suggest oh. drag and transsexual. No, that would be this well, this would be that's what I'm <laughs> suggesting. I, I'm not debating with anyone. I'm just offering oh, that. But I think she. Right. I'm puzzled. Right. Why only nine? Because that's they just did nine. Karen, just I would say year. transgender instead of transsexual. Yeah. 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 Me too. I put my two in there. Yeah. Sort of a woke. Woke. Oh, woke's a good one. Woke would be yeah. good. How about yeah. insurrection? That's 2021. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. uh, cancel culture. These are words that they. I'm not advocating <laughs> the use of that word. Are these words that are important to words that people most looked up words. Okay. Um, indictment. Mm -hmm. Most looked up words. Start listening them. Start listening them in the chat, and then we'll decide which, which nine you want to narrow it down to. These were in 2022. Yeah, and they, I would say that would be true for this year, but not. I what about know. Ukraine? Why don't you list them in the chat and then we'll decide which oh, nine okay. we pick through? Yeah, go ahead. That's a good idea. Maybe. Um, These aren't the same mine. It's just going to come up with nine. Twitter. Tweet. Oh, yeah, that Twitter one. Uh, quiet um, even Twitter. Kiev or Kiev? Quiet Twitter. Um, three. The tweet. Yeah. Quiet quitting. Oh, quiet quitting. Quiet quitting. Oh, good one. Good one. Oh, quit quitting. I meant quiet. <laughs> we know you meant quiet. Quit quitting. 
um, subpoena. subpoena. By Omicron. And and they're and they're words, not um, acronyms. Well, she said that they could be stuff that weren't really a word, like ism. Right. I'm thinking of so many acronyms come up. You know, are you like L LGBTQ? Yeah. yeah exactly. I, so this is being recorded, and not everything, not everyone has uttered the words here. The words that people have typed are recuse, gaslighting, trans, drag, gaslighting, transgender, indictment, cancel culture, transgender, woke, quitter, quiet, quitting. Omicron, woke, LBGTQ, gaslighting, and cancel culture. And what I said was LGBTQQI, I think. I'm not even sure. Yeah. Yeah. You have that many letters. I think now it's LGBTQ plus. Right. Yeah. That's right. But what was it in 2022? Malarkey has been added. I prefer alphabet mafia, but... Well, I don't know that one. Mm -hmm. That could be another. I, I like the one that uh, Linda came up with tonight. The uh, Cheeto Mussolini. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should that's, make that on next, next year's list. If we yeah. all promote it, it'll I think be on next older. year's list. Oh, this, the end of this he year. got indicted in uh, New York. I, accident, I, I didn't accidentally, but I went and got some Cheetos and sun kissed out of the oh. vending machine and did not realize it. <laughs> you know, orange looking celebratory snack. You know, my personal favorite name for that guy, but it, it wouldn't make the list because it's not that popular, but it should be is Tant Trump. It's what? Tant Tan Trump. Oh, okay. Tant Trump. Mm -hmm. Like Tantrum, mm -hmm. Tant Trump. Oh, okay. I, I just, I personally like that because he's so <laughs> That is fun. good. That's good. He's such a, he's so. He's such a toddler. Um, I, I, you know, I thought of Snowflake, but that's not a, that would be earlier. That would not be a 2022. Oh, that's that a good one, though. Well, okay. this, is my, this is my answer to the magma hat. Maga hat. <laughs> what about BLM? Well, that would be 2020. Yeah, yeah, I was thinking that, too. Same thing with Snowflake is kind of a 2020. Yeah, um, I mean the biggest thing of 2022 were advancements in AI. Chat GPT, <laughs> well, AI, but Chat GPT is so 2023, right? Yeah, yeah. no, yeah. 2022 came out. Yeah, because we were at but, SciCon and uh, Kyle was showing me that Queen Elizabeth yeah. monarchy, maybe because she died. Interesting. Yeah, coronation, secession. Succession. Succession. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. You know, I think we have to think about that. They wouldn't put in a word they they didn't already know the meaning of. Like quit was used a lot. People don't look but, that up in the dictionary. No, but quiet quit. Uh, oh, quiet quit. quiet quitting is the thing. Like what quiet, quiet quitting, quitting maybe. Faith, did it's, you say, did you say, what would, did, were you saying queen consort? You... I didn't say Queen Consort, but that could be. Oh, I I, I couldn't hear what you were saying. About I said su secession or succession. Oh. I can't even pronounce it correctly. I wonder about Queen Consort then. Yeah, because, yeah, I, I looked that up myself to see what the heck does that mean? And why is she the queen and not the Queen Consort? So, um, would someone like to suggest a list of 10 uh, from the suggestions that we have up there? Yeah, how many do we have here? Nine. There's only nine. We only have nine. Oh, there's nine. nine there. There's only nine <laughs> answers. We don't need ten. Yeah. What so, about self care? Oh. oh, but just put you can put down ten, and well, there's only nine answers. Yeah, just <laughs> just make a list. Of climate change. Well, so, have we scored any points yet? So we <laughs> have about fifteen <laughs> so far. We should yeah. just list this. If, right, maybe if Susan them. could tell us how many we've got correct now. We could see if we could try to get the rest of them. Like do I. We, do we have the nine yet, Susan, in there? Do we have any? <laughs> oh, you hey, wait, to tell us? you were going to do this as a bonus, so it must have 10 answers. No, nine. She then said how nine. Gonna I was going to make you do nine, but I was going to make you tell me which one was the main one, because there's always one that's a ah. one of the year. Oh. I would say I'll, the nine, I'll, and then I'll, tell me which is the 10th, the most important one was. 
I I've said what's been listed as woke would be one because that's been around a couple yeah. of years. Yeah. And I think it was really big last year because yeah. they had a couple of TV programs or at least one TV program with woke and the title. Yeah. Gaslighting, well, maybe castle. I would culture. say AI would be number one. That would be my pick for number one. I think that was a, a lot more talk about it this year. Yeah, oh, that's true. That might be number one for 2023. It might become that. That's true. Um, but I, I, I'm, I'm agreeing with you. I'd say woke for 2022. Uh, uh, I think, I think gaslighting was the word of the year for 2022. Yeah, I think that too. Uh, gaslighting too. Yeah, it was pretty big, wasn't it? And it's not something that was normally part of speech where people might want to find out right. what it means. Right. Right. That's somebody true. writing this down. You want me to do that? I do that for my teams all the time. So we're going to say gaslighting was as number one, but we definitely want to have woke way up okay. there. Too. So I'm putting gaslighting as number one. Woke. What do you want for number two? Woke. Well, not, we're not putting now, the, the, the rest of them don't have to be in yeah. order. Woke. But, no. but we have to count them. So right, we have yeah. to count them. AI. Did you want AI there? Are we... It's more of a 2023. Anyone object? Okay, someone objects to AI being there. So well, it's two of us. Well, we need to get. Well, to I know, but if we can just um, get the ones we all agree on, nine. So find the ones we have sure. agreement on, and then we'll see how many faces yeah. remain. Transgender, no, definitely. Right should yeah. be on that list. this year that i mean last year that, that's really more this year oh that transgender thing. oh it was a lot of talk oh about no it. they that's been a thing oh yeah i'm pretty sure it only started <laughs> last year <laughs> yeah no i, I mean among the yeah, people would have to look it up no oh we lost the chat my list that i wrote before oh wait oh no i found it again um let's see council culture what about council. red wave um oh yeah red waves an interesting one i think quiet quitting was big. quiet quitting I'd, I'd put omicron in there i was i was just oh yeah omicron. Omicron, omicron for sure and that was Good definitely one. not a word before uh it was but yeah. <laughs> all right it didn't exist before um let's see Indictment, or did we decide that that was? 20? I like that one because I oh, think they, they're indictment. hearing so much about it. Indictment. indictment, you can always take it out later after right. we have ten. Um, was uh, the Roe v. Wade overturned last year? Yes, yes, yes. that's Something. a good one. That's a good one. Oh, abortion. I, mean, I don't know codify. what the word is. Codify, codify, codify. 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 abortion, partial codify. Word. codify. Codify. Yes. Codify. Yeah. Codify. Yes. What what yes. about what about Karen? Just the word Karen. Yes. Yeah. Oh no, yeah. That was a couple of years ago. Yeah. Was it? No, no, no. It, it got yeah. really, really big in, in 2022. And they started making songs about it. And but yeah. don't people know what it means? Or do no. you think they'd look it up? Yeah. Well, um, I, I think people what about I don't know, this kind of might be more of a 2020 thing. White privilege. Well, you know, all of these things, as each year goes by, it becomes more and more uh, part of the language, and people probably start looking it up more and more. What we about Mastodon? Not, not to do I, I? Oh, yeah, Mastodon. I was really carried away with Mastodon for a few months. I was very involved in it for a while, but then I got too busy i need to get back oh home. instead yeah, of 11 wait, friends on mastodon in, or, or whatever instead yeah. of 11 gail if we come up with more we take off a word okay well actually mm. there's only nine so we should take off two no you could you can guess 10 i don't think a lot of people Give know about mastodon yet would they have been looking it up though as a result of not me it might be the again this next year yeah i don't think a lot of people mm. About it yeah all right so what no, do we Karen, replace I it think with you're right we have to take off another what one is that, Kevin? Kevin, writing is on it twice because it's the first one and that so which one do you want to take off oh that's it's good right DVD there we're gaslighting. Gaslighting. i request that we take off karen even if it's correct 
I would appreciate it being removed. <laughs> I understand. I so we'll wait, even if wait. it's correct, we don't want to give her the benefit. We, we don't. We don't have too many. We only have nine. Right. No, we have there, there, are, there nine. are nine because now gaslighting we, counts twice. I, I remember Karen being so miserable over Karen saying twice. Wanted to so change your name. Counts was one no, of the nine, and nine. that was number one. See, oh, but yeah. the issue, but the issue is, is there's only nine words. Nine words. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. I told you to go ahead and pick ten. There are two ants. There are two ways that oh. one of them is counted. There are nine words totally total and then we are to pick the one that was the most popular so right. we chose gaslighting which is one answer and then not th nine that's how she explained it that's how i explained it but go ahead and pick a tenth i'm curious i would, I, I would vote i would vote for chat gpt chat gpt i Ooh, that's think good. that's going to be a 2023 word but okay the chat gpt is a 2023 yeah I, I don't think i don't think chat gpt was there for enough of the year to make I didn't hear of it next last year. Okay, what working. about AI? Are folks comfortable with AI? No, I think that's, that's more this thing. year too. What? Yeah. Okay. More this year. What about Queen Consort? I like that. That's kind of yeah, go with that one. Didn't last year. That yeah. is what Jane said. Because I think I did Google the meaning of Queen Consort and caught a year. <laughs> I think we have our list for them. Right. Okay, yeah, what course. do you guys think is the number one? Gaslighting. 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 Okay, so start another column right next to it and I'll give you the real ones. Or can well, you do that? It, probably that's, under that's, it, it won't work. The word processing okay. Not a spreadsheet. <laughs> so I will start with number one is gaslighting. Yay! Mm -hmm. You got it. Let me so I finally saw that movie for the first time. I'm going to change the year. color when you say that it's there. So oh, that's a good idea. Okay, so gaslighting is there. Um, now these other ones, I'm not sure if they're in numerical order, order or not, but the next one is oligarch. Ooh. Oh, oh, we should oh. guess that. So how do you want to put that on there? It's not on there. Or in well, the chat, someone can just type it in the chat. Oligarch. Okay, so. You don't have to. Way, or should I just tell you what's can. correct you have? Okay, tell us what's correct first. Okay, then... you have queen consort is correct. Yay. Omnicron is correct. Omnicron? Yep. Omicron. Co codify. That's correct. This is a fun category. That's it. Yeah, it's a good one. That's yes, it. A good category. That's well, it. All the four. I'm not correct. Yeah, four, and then you got gaslighting. So four. if you were, if we were actually scoring this, you would have to score a okay, five. five. Only five. Well, I thought it'd be better than that. Okay. So then, what are the rest? Okay. So gaslighting. Okay. Then oligarch, Omicron, codify, LGBTQIA. We had that on the list, but we didn't put it on this list. We took it off. <laughs> Yeah, we dropped it. The next one is sentient. Oh. Ah. Hmm. The next one is Lomi. L O A M Y. What does that mean? It's a know, it's it a up. Wordle word. No, it's, it's from it's Wordle it's and it's from it's um, like soil. It's a type of soil. It's soil. So, yeah, it's so a another soil. Word, you come up with a Wordle up. word one day, everybody looked it up enough. It's a soil consisting of clay, silt, and Because they couldn't figure it out, they looked it up. Yeah, that and is how powerful Wordle is, Susan. Well, it wasn't we just that Wordle. as an answer in one of our trivia questions. There was another. I remember that. Yeah. I remember that. <laughs> there was another. I remember um, that. It was an another game too, besides Wordle. It was um, another social fun trivia word. with Susan. Yeah. I don't think it's been an answer in Wordle because I played Wordle. I don't know. Oh no, it says okay. It was okay, it was what? in Wordle, and it was in Quirtle. Wordle. 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 What was the ninth one, Susan? Raid. 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 Oh, like ID. Like oh, raid, like when strong. they raided somebody. Yeah, raided my office okay. or somebody. Look up that word. I'll put it in the chat. I can't believe anyone would look that up. Yeah, I well, don't have anything here. I'm I guess they were maybe looking at a maybe well, a legal definition. Of what, his idea I mean, of yeah, if you listen to him, it doesn't match what my understanding of that word is. I would have looked it up too. 
Yeah. It means when the FBI goes in and plants documents into <laughs> residents, <laughs> and then they come in and accuse you of stealing them. It, it, <laughs> if you are the greatest president that there ever was. Right. Yeah. So did you guys a, hear? Did you hear how um, they went into the, the Versailles, the, the Cuban restaurant, and he said food for everybody, and he didn't pay for a thing? I mean, he's just horrible. He's and so he left. Horrible I have a question about number eight. Is that Lomi? Like L O A M Y. Yeah, it's a. Uh, it says it was uh, Wordle and Quartal, and is I it guess spelled? it's a. Uh, look at how it it's twenty ninth. It was in, and the entry surge four point five million percent. Sorry. There. Thank you. Oh, now, okay. Now that makes and sense. And then they said, here's another one that had a huge one. Also in the, in May, the Quirtle, Quirtle, Quirtle. had Vola, V-O- Oh, voila. L-A. We had a lookup spike of 2.5 million. Voila. Voila, 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 voila. voila. Like the, the magic word, for voila. Yeah, voila, voila. Well, the French word. Yeah. French, but, yeah. So that was that was really big. Um, I'm going to say good night, everybody. I'm having trouble hearing you all over the police thing outside. So they're talking to them on the megaphone so thing. Took a hostage? Is that for real? That's bizarre. They crossed the street. Isn't that bizarre? Yeah, the sentient thing is is time. deals with a um, AI. So that's um right. So we should get that point. No. Okay. <laughs> Way to go, Jane. Hey, Spotify, yeah. So you like you this category, huh? Jane? It didn't take that long. But the A and I and the L G B Q. Yeah. Because they're adding on letters, I guess. Is a well, I know they're adding letters, but they do stand for things. I know what the L is. Yeah, okay, here they are. Um, lesbian, gay, bisexual, yeah. transgender, yeah. queer, yeah. question, intersex, and asexual, aromantic, and agender. Wait, 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 wait. A is for asexual? Yeah. Asexual, aromic, aromantic, and agender. It could be any. And then the I? Inquiring, yes, intersex. inquiring, inquiring, or intersex. It depends. Sexual. That's why you see numerous I's and numerous A's. Okay. And Q's can be queer. Can queer also be question. Funny. And then there's the plus. There's a reason why there's a plus there plus. because there are a whole bunch yeah. of other yeah. pansexual yeah. and um, omnisexual. There's a whole bunch of others. Yeah. So, but the word is. It's interesting that it's a word of the year. That it's being looked yeah. at, and it's it's they've added on these letters. I would think they just. It, it seems like it should be LGB, LGBTQ plus. Seems like it'd be easier to say. Well, I think it's time maybe to just come, come up with like a single word that's just like like sexuality, oh, sexuality. Oh, that's human? a single word for it all. Sexuality. It'll be nice when we get to a point in the world where we don't care. Yeah, <laughs> we're right. just. Whatever. So it's, it's, it's kind of sort of anything non hetero. Yeah. It's, it's just, not yeah. Going to cover anything non hetero. Yeah. But there's, there's whole things like I have a friend who identifies as demisexual. Mm -hmm. and, that mean, it, and that means that you can only form sexual connections with people by being friends with them first. Yeah. Like a long term friendship. Like yeah. a. Right. That's and the only way things. she can have romantic connections. So it's, with it's not and not casual sex. And then no. there are different like she, words. She, yeah. There are different words for those of us who um, are open to sexual having sex, having you know physical relations with people of whatever categories, yet only we want to be in romantic relationships or long partnerships with other people. There are all sorts of different words with things like that. And 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 as a note, there are transgender people who identify as heterosexual. So you can't just say non heterosexual. Right, right, right. No, very, okay, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah. Very very lots of letters of the alphabet to mean lots of little things. So it's it's an interesting thing. I, I was just noticing that heterosexual was the only one that didn't have a letter in the yeah. 
Well, because oh. that's the st standard. That's the exactly norm. absolutely so absolutely. So what they're yeah. so what they're so that's trying what I'm saying to do. sort of like being non-hetero, right. like being non-white, for example. Yeah, but yeah. The, the idea is to draw attention to to have these discussions like we're just right, exactly right no no i understand that i just didn't know what the a and the i were so now i know so the it says that the lookup spiked in late november after the shooting at a gay night club in colorado springs no, the no, longer no. acronym was used in news stories about the event that's what spiked the interest in in mm -hmm. the acronyms well uh, and when it got longer other people are looking it up to see what the other letters stood for like me they, yeah exactly yeah. they said there was an 800 percent increase over 2021 so that's what it was is that because of this violence this, yeah. this crime people were like wait there's two new letters on here yeah. what does that mean because they what all I, mean? they probably already knew what the other letters right. meant right. so that's why there was a lookup and codify was because of the roe v wade supreme court yeah omicron was was obvious that what, the Omicron variant 2022 <clears throat> the beginning 2021 I think it came at the end of 2021 yeah. but it really yeah yeah November 2021 here's what's puzzling to me I can get looking up LGBTQAI because you don't know what some of the letters mean but why do you go to Miriam Webster to look it up <laughs> Exactly. That's the first, yeah, I, you may look what it what it means in Google, and that's the first link that'll pop yeah, up. Oh, that's about, okay. Like Wikipedia, same thing. Oligarch I thought too. it was so funny that anyone would look up raid because you know what that yeah, means. Yeah, that is odd, but <laughs> like at least uh, one of us doesn't actually, you know. <laughs> We're looking up what mean what it means to raid somebody. Yeah, uh, it's yeah. funny because you guys said I looked up Queen Consort, you know, and I looked up codify. It's it's a fascinating. It is curious enough. Why did it know how to pronounce codify? Was it codify or codify? It's probably correct either way. Yes. Curiously enough, I knew the term gaslighting. I've known that for years and years and years. But uh -huh. last year, I actually finally looked up and watched the movie. What did you think of it? Oh, oh it's yeah. awesome. It's a great movie. I haven't yeah. watched it for years. Oh, That's my God. First... Watch it. That's the first movie Angela Lansbury was in. Oh, and she's brilliant. And yeah, Carl keeps showing a magazine her. cover of Gaslighting. What is that? That's the movie. It's the movie. It's oh, a I thought it was Vampires. Movie. No, it's in the movie. Oh. What it's oh. based upon is that she believes she's going crazy because of the gas her husband she keeps keeps going in the house. Her. And he's oh. the one who's messing with them. Right. I would have thought gaslighting would have been a bigger term a year or so again. Uh, okay. No, I didn't think it was a 2022 thing. I thought no. people knew about it long before that. But okay, let's see what the reason Gail, is. Gail, are you in Southwest Valley? Gail? Gail's gone. Police SWAT team standoff in, South, in Las Vegas. Police officers are on the scene of a reported kidnapping turned into an active barricade. This is in the wow. Southwest Valley. A woman was kidnapped at gunpoint. Oh, yeah, that may be where she is. Probably it. Yeah, why aren't you here? Was she? Oh, maybe said, they told oh, it off her in. I had to go suddenly. Oh, it seemed like she couldn't was... hear anybody. She couldn't hear anybody because of all, all the squad cars. Right. Yeah. That's what she said. Oh. It it's says it says amazing. gaslighting saw an increase of one thousand seven hundred and forty percent increase. Now, who made? I mean, who? Last well, year, didn't. who was talking about gaslighting? Yeah, why is it? Why is it big in twenty twenty two? Well, yeah, nobody somebody, was talking about gaslighting. It didn't because happen. in relationships, people, <laughs> someone will gaslight someone. Well, no, no, but why did it become why it was right now? Why, why, why is it? Why is it in two thousand twenty two? I was wondering. Because, I want to say it was because either Marjorie Taylor Greene or Lauren Boebert were talking about. It was Marjorie Taylor Greene was talking about we we're being gaslit during hearings and things like that. Well, she's the one who's gaslighting us. So yeah, exactly. Right. I think <laughs> Trump is the ultimate gaslighter. Has anyone yeah. been to Gail's neighborhood? That she has Van Halen Lane and Muscle Whisper. <laughs> I saw those There's two. Steel's way too. It looks above Van Halen. Steel's way. Now she steals. What was it? Crosby steals an okay, app. It looks like the New York Times caused it. March twenty-two. 28th 2022 the um, 
New York Times started talking about it. Patients who thought oh. their symptoms were inappropriate. And then Psychological Today, Psychology Today, and then uh, Carolyn Mahoney, Chairman of the Committee of Oversight, and then <laughs> somebody, somebody else. <laughs> oh, that's clever. Yeah, so it looks like it started getting used in some areas. And that's what people started going, wait, I've heard of that, but what does it actually mean, probably? Well, I'm sure it's probably the 20 somethings that kept looking it up. Never well, a gaslighter. They Trump never is a gaslighter. They said tells, there wasn't. That's what I thought. Trump was. Yeah, Marian, he tells you Marian don't Marian believe Webster what has saying. said there wasn't a single event that drove significant spikes yeah. in the curiosity of this word. Yeah, don't believe what you're seeing. Don't believe what other people are telling you. Believe what I'm saying. So he's like because of the deep fake, the fake news, that gaslighting, medical gaslighting, and then they saw again a slight surge because of Angela Lansbury's death. Oh, yeah. she died. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. it. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, but see, there's always some reason it, behind it. It's fascinating with the re I love that kind of stuff. Why? Well, too, probably with all the stuff going on about the war in Ukraine and Putin basically gaslighting everyone. Oh, about, that's a good. This reason. is what's happening. Don't read this. They're talking. Yeah, but I, I still think Trump is the ultimate gaslighter. I mean. Oh, that that's when I started hearing the 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 term more frequently. I could say I'd heard of it, you know, decades yeah, ago. It's a, yeah, but but good night, everyone. But in reference good night. to good night, some of my circles were talking about you know Trump as a gaslighter and and um, I don't know. remember hearing it that much in 2022. I think that's what's yeah. interesting. I yeah, I heard it. Before. I thought that was more of a like a. 2017. I did see it come up in Facebook quite a bit. I think I've seen it. Some we're just using, using it more. People just sort of saying, "Oh, I've been, you know, gaslit." Oh, you're no, you're, you know, you're just being a gaslighter. You know, and people would. Oh, you're your gaslighting yourself. You know, you know what I would think would have been a bigger word would be like a, a narcissist or something like that. If we're especially yeah. talking about Trump, maybe it was a, in earlier years, or the early Trump years. <laughs> Or um, 2020, you know, way back in 2020. Back in the old days um, when we no, it's, been, up. it's been a long few years. There's a um they have a whole bunch of different, yeah. So they've talked about the different words of the year. That was a fun category, Susan. I, I'm glad you was, liked that. I'm glad we did hard. it. You guys, it was interesting to watch it, you guys. It was it hard. Out. It was hard, but it was certainly interesting. But um I thought you guys I thought if I put you guys back in and did that one, everybody would be mad at me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so glad I finally saw that movie. My yeah. mother was had talked about it that she really, you know, enjoyed that movie and was going on about it when make reference. I can't remember the ending. I'm not sure you should say. Oh, it's don't give the ending away. No, 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 no. I can't remember it. No, no, no. I'm but sure she's not. Don't give away the ending. No, no, no. Don't just watch it again. Just watch it again. The I ending of what? Yeah. Gaslight. 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 Oh. The gaslight. I should probably remember. It's a great movie, and the whole sort of metaphor I think is kind of interesting about the whole gaslights and and the whole idea how you know, um, because it would go down and why because it was part of the whole husband's scheming things, and that that was sort of part of her thinking she was going insane because she saw the gaslight go down and he kept insisting, "Oh no, you're being ridiculous." Of course, it's still lit, and. Um, among the thought, the to, the thought to do that to your wife you know and any of us who have you know i don't know too personal here but you know a lot of us have been in relationships that we've been gaslit and it it really is a freaky feeling i haven't yet no. oh here here's 2021 in case you're interested okay 2021 number one word insurrection no obviously of course no. that number makes two sense. is press perseverance Perseverance. 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 Oh, Number three. Is that the year that she she still persevered? Yes. Nevertheless, she persevered. Well, yeah. no, no, that's not the reason. Name the rover. The Mars Perseverance. Yeah. Oh, perseverance. Yeah. 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 Nevertheless, she persevered. That was several years before. Nevertheless, she oh, persisted. Persisted. Persist. 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 I have that right here. But I don't have it 
dated. On a couple. Yeah, that was several years before. That had to have been around. Yeah. Well, that was that was 2016. That. He and was the, born. The other, word, the other word, the third he one was woke. Given an explanation, nevertheless, she persisted. So woke was the next woke, one, and, yeah. and that's why it wasn't this year because it's already been the year, year before, so it didn't have a high in, increase in percent. Oh, this one you guys would never have got. Nomad. Oh, because of that movie? movie, the movie Nomad. Nomadland. Mm -hmm. uh, infrastructure. No, that makes you sense. Yeah. Well, the infrastructure bill that. was being, infrastructure yeah, bill. being uh, debated. Yeah. Oh yeah. my gosh, here's another one we never would have got. These are This is really interesting. This category is interesting because it really <laughs> does tell you what was going on in the world. You guys would never have gotten this one. Cicada. Oh, <laughs> never would have gotten. Oh, that. because of the cicada. The, the, yeah. okay. It had had been living underground for seventeen years, and then all of a sudden, here comes the cicadas, and everybody's like, "What the hell's that? Oh, what is this? Oh my God! You guys would never have gotten this, and I don't know how to say it. So it's it's spelled M U R R A Y A. Murray, did you put that in the chat? Yeah, I can't. Murray, what? I have no idea how to spell it. I mean, pronounce it M U R R A Y A. Let's see if anybody can guess how it how it got there. What the heck it is? I don't know what that is. It's a genus of tropical Asiatic and Australian trees, having flowers and leaves with pearls on them. It's in the top ten. It's number seven. Wow! Why? Nobody can come up with a reason. This is really what year? What year? Huh? 20, 20, Last, uh, 2021. Wow. It was July 8th. Scripps National Spelling Bee. Oh, God. <laughs> Some kid in, uh, where is it? Could it be pronounced Mariah? I don't know. Great I'm, job, kid. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so it's it's named for a guy, Jordan Murray, a botanist in Sweden. And Bill Murray, oh, and Bill Murray from, you know, Bill Murray, the actor, he gave yeah. he gave her a surprise congratulations on the Jimmy Kimmel live show. <laughs> so that would be another reason why it would be looked up is because if she was on Jimmy Kimmel and um, she probably did a whole round of like people, she went, oh, wow. So, okay, here, here's the next one. You might've gotten this one, cisgender. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, you guys would never have gotten this. What the heck? Why would this? Why did they have to look this up? Guardian, guardian, guardian. That was the Cle That was uh, the Cleveland Brittany, Indians team name. Oh, no, it would have been conservative ship. Yeah, I was gonna say. Uh, oh yeah, conservatorship. Good or, one. Or a guardian. No, the one after that. The word. No, the guardian was because the Cleveland Indians changed their name from the Cleveland Indians to the Cleveland Guardians. Oh. Why would you look up the word? Because the the guardian is actually these two big statues that are at the ends of a bridge. It's a it's a bridge in Cleveland. But why would you it's need known to look as the it guardian? Up. The rest of the country is. didn't know they what it was. Yeah. Why would you look up Ray? They may not be looking up what the word is spelled, but they just looked That's up why the word they call the, the guardians. Definition. They're looking up what with the definition of what it would be. Oh. In that context. Okay, Mr. Mr. Barry one, Webster will give you a bunch of different. One more year. Okay. The year of 2020, which was uh, coronavirus, defund. Pandemic. Defund the police. Defund. But defund why would you police. need to look that up? I don't know. It's unfunded. Because it's not just doesn't mean just to take away their money it's a whole you know it's a whole thing well, it's a whole agenda uh, okay. to take away their power and things like this that. this one i yeah. i would but never it heard of it. but the funding elsewhere is just was a big part yeah of it. okay so and this one oh oh my gosh i remember this now i know why uh the third most popular in 2020 was mamba m-a-m-b-a oh and yeah it's because that's when kobe bryant kobe. died and that's yeah. what he called himself, the Black Mamba, I guess. It's a I snake, yeah. Oh, yeah. That happened in January. It's a penis joke. Oh. Because it's a snake. Oh, oh Mamba's my God. a big Here's snake. Another. Here's another one, good one. And I can understand this one. Kraken. Oh, Kraken. 
release the kraken yeah and it's also a football term hockey no quarantine hockey team too yeah antebellum antebellum well, a lady antebellum group they changed her name she changed the yeah, name the, of the band yeah lady a so they said it was for two different reasons it was looked at it was it was because of Aunt lady antebellum and in june and the second increase call uh was because of a movie release that had that word in its title I don't understand why they didn't just change their name to something else instead of Lady A, this which sounds... still stands for Antebellum. Why didn't they just change their name to something entirely different? Like Ant Lady Anteater? I missed this completely. What? <laughs> Where were you? I have no idea. <laughs> I, I, I have never heard of Lady Antebellum. So, there's, so, uh, okay. there's some country group. The and country group, they're okay. No, like country, country music, they're pretty good. They because the of the association of antebellum with slavery? Antebellum, yeah. yes. Because this was during 2020 Maybe. when you had um, a lot of George Floyd. Yeah, had, yeah. The all Black that. Lives Matter and all that. Yeah. So I miss so that. They completely. made this controversial in the country music world, controversial stance to come forward and make, make a position statement and change their name. So that they wouldn't be associated with. I never even heard that. They were and and what that why well, is probably. But then why didn't they just? Why did they leave it, Lady? Because a? they did something similar that the Dixie Chicks did. They just they're called the Chicks now. Right. They but just dropped they, off. They, they entirely it. removed the word Dixie from their Dixie. name. It, but Lady A does not remove. Right, but they antibiotic. otherwise they would just call themselves Lady, and I think it was a way to appease both sides that were not. So that does not appease me either. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, but they, they they weren't doing doing it to, to appease people like you. Unfortunately, <laughs> I don't. Yeah, the whole heritage. Maybe not it's hate kind of a. Them. It's kind of a. Well, I, you know, you also have to remember the marketing reasons, you know, you want to have your, when you're looking for something alphabetically and stuff, if it's, if it's you want mostly to make a stand, your name, but you really don't. Well, I think <laughs> well, it, also, but too, it also could have been easier for them to change marketing materials. Posters, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Logos. If you're, yeah. if you're, remember when you go to a band, remember the days when we had records and cassettes and you're looking and you're looking to see what the name of the different groups are. And you're looking, if you had like ZZ Top and you're looking under Z for ZZ Top and then they change their name to ABC someday, then you're like, well, do I look under the Z or do I look under the A? Where do I'm looking for this? So well, a lot of people do change. like John Mellencamp and John Cougar and, you know, the Beatles and Paul McCartney and Wings, you know. Well, <laughs> but that was a different group. Different, it's a different group, but we all know we can we can hold that information in our heads that you know we you know yeah I agree. Well, what's funny be about it? Antebellum and now there are this other maybe Jane, you're gonna find this hilarious. Lady A is an A. <laughs> you're gonna find this hilarious. After they changed their name, they were sued by a black blues and gospel singer who went by the name Lady A. Oh. <laughs> so it didn't work after all. But you know, also it puts them right up in the news, right? Mm -hmm. So when you do that, if you just said, I'm changing it from Lady Antebellum to Boston Greenback, Green <laughs> I don't know, some other word, some other thing, it wouldn't get the attention, I don't think, as well as as just change it to lady a well i said we're talking about i it. never heard of the dixie chicks till the brouhaha happened well okay so number seven number it seven says that lady lady a picked their name because it was inspired by the antebellum style house where they took their first band pictures they didn't realize it was associated with slavery if only they, they could have looked it up oh, in the shit. back then and oh, then shit. And then they switched it when it had a strong connotation to slavery. The antebellum period, which means before oh, the war in Latin, is generally thought of the time period between 19, 1812 and the start of the Civil War in 1860. Interesting. It's a slavery they knew what it had to do with. They were just romanticizing slavery. You know, it was real bullshit. These people did, which did these plantation, plantation weddings and then try to claim, oh, I had no 
idea that plantations well, were slaves. As somebody who grew, like, who, somebody who's grown up in the South and has had that shown to you since you were a small child, when even though I knew that there were people that lived here on this land that were enslaved, it still was confronting that and the discomfort of, oh, crap, I had, because like I took Susan and Adrian to a slaveholding house that's downtown in our, in our downtown area. Mm-hmm. And it's discomforting to sit with that and to recognize that you've had friends that have gone to plantations, you yourself have romanticized it, the whole concept of big wide front porches with your glass of iced tea and then understanding what that connotation brings and that you've been exposed to it as you go through the grocery store looking at uncle ben's and right. Earl Millings and jemima and in california we don't really think about it didn't like think anything yeah. was wrong with it it's like, like how i have those members so you literally like years plan years for them to get rid of the a fortune crop. on a wedding with that whole romantic plantation on an idea and it would well, never at any because point it, occur to you that it's you know, it's ingrained it's so ingrained cool, in the culture. You know what? Tell you, tell you. I have a good example here. In places down here, there's something called debutante balls. Yeah. I never attended any of those, and it's it's where you come out and you dress in these fancy dresses, yeah, it. and it's based upon those other cultures and traditions, and you have that alongside you know, pork barbecue and macaroni and cheese. Like you love macaroni and cheese. Macaroni and cheese came from a slaver that was owned by um, Thomas Jefferson. Mm. Like the whole reason that is on your table is his black cook brought it to you. Right. And I forget his last name, but his first name is Hercules. And a lot of people don't realize how all this stuff comes into play and how really like in, the, in South Carolina, there's something called golden rice. And it's really tasty. It's really good. But the problem with that is golden rice was cultivated by black hands in the South. Right, right. Yeah. So, so, But if you're going to say, well, you know, that, that, that this band had no idea, the Association of Antebellum, you know, I agree with that. That's kind of bullshit. They did, they did and they didn't at the same right. time. So I, can't, I have a hard time kind of believing that somebody in this day and age uh-huh. you know, be planning a, a wedding on a plantation and thinking that's just romantic and having no idea. Well, that's what I'm, I'm, I'm saying, Celia. Here in California, people plan weddings all the time at California missions. Yeah. It's yeah. a place Harrison, where you get yeah. married. Yeah. And those well, are- and it's, it's still a functioning Catholic church. So if you're Catholic- well, you know. and some people have it because it's a beautiful facility and, and, you know, they have, they, uh, you know, it's, it's a place to go and there's parking and, and, it, and it's, it's, it's a beautiful. functioning Catholic mm-hmm. church and it as a museum and yeah, yeah. but yeah. there's a lot of, but it's hard. Hard. a lot of bad things happen at, at yeah. these, and you, look oh, at these God, beautiful, yeah. you look at these beautiful houses and it's hard to reconcile that yeah, there's a structure place here. to have a wedding. You know, it's about the beautiful. grounds, the parking, the the big porches, you know, and the that beautiful look. I mean, I think I think those houses are gorgeous. Oh well, so so here's the other words: Schadenfreude, Schadenfreude, Freud. Say it again. Schadenfreude. Oh, here's another really good word: asymmetric. Asymmetrical. No, ace. Symptomatic. Symptomatic. Asymptomatic. Asymptomatic. Not yeah. having symptoms. COVID infection. COVID, yeah. 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 Oh, here's a really weird one. How about long COVID? When did we start saying that one? I don't know, but irregardless was the ninth most. It's not a real word. word. It's not it a, is word. a real word. It, it is a real word. It means it's the same not thing. a word. Is that why people it look to it? It is a real word. Yeah. If it's not a word. It's a real word. Irregardless is a real yeah, word. That's the so reason. Regardless of your opinion, <laughs> that's uh-huh. what that's regardless is not it's supposed to be regardless. So no, we have a restaurant here called irregardless. It says so here. It says exactly that. Correct. It says here. It says the word earned a spot in the word of the year uh, because it had the tenacity to be a word. While someone has the word's presence in the list is further evidence of how truly a ad- um ignorant no the, the general population maybe. is you're just upset you didn't come up with it first. What is the word? Truly it's a horrible word. It's odious. Regardless, it's, it's, regardless. it's how odious the year was, is that the word 
irregardless was I mean, we might as well have word. big league. Yeah. It's not a word. Big league yeah. coffee fee hamburgers, okay? Jamie Lee Curtis on Twitter was the one who brought it up, I guess. And that is where people started looking it up because of Jamie Lee Curtis. She, why would she start this? It's been in the dictionary since 1934, it says. Oh, but that's what it was. It was celebrities tweeted. Oh, and the last word is icon. Oh, why would we need to look it up? Oh, 11 is malarkey. They had 11th word. Yeah, that I knew <laughs> that, that was on our list. list. But why, why uh, is that becoming popular now when it didn't? No, that's because Joe Biden said Mal well. malarkey is Joe Biden's word. Yeah, he says it all the time. But that that was Paul Ryan's word before. Who? Paul Ryan. When he 2012 election. I don't remember Paul Ryan. Never, never. No, I had Northern California. Iron going kind of like Northern. some of that malarkey girl. It's Never it's such it. a Joe Biden word, you know. In the it's a great word, he actually, he, he even used it when he was debating Sarah Palin. Remember that when they were the vice presidential candidates, and mm -hmm. he said something so ridiculous, and he said, "Oh, that's just a bunch of malarkey or something like that." <laughs> no, he's old enough that he yeah, grew Google. up with that word. Yeah, yeah. No, it's it's a genuine word for him. Yeah, yeah. Google Google, Google yeah. Um, Joe Biden, Paul Ryan, and malarkey, and you'll get the uh, um their debate where Paul Ryan actually used the word malarkey, and that's probably where Biden got the. <laughs> no, no, he grew up speaking that word, and I I wouldn't be surprised if Paul Ryan took it from him. <laughs> yeah, it says it right here. It says. Biden used malarkey several times during the vice presidential debate with Paul Ryan in October 2012, sending many people to the dictionary to look it up. He used it again in 2016 at the Democratic National Convention, saying of then candidate Donald Trump, he's about he's trying to tell us he cares about the middle class. Give me a break. That's a bunch of malarkey. Yeah. He says yeah. malarkey because he can't say bullshit on TV. <laughs> that's probably true that is probably it's true. In the is an old word it's yeah it's a nice word isn't to it say an old irish word I it says it's um, an irish last name you're full of shit you're full of malarkey. and it uh seems to be a, it's it's similar to a a greek word well i i always associated with the irish is I thought they used it kind of like because the Irish are known for just being able to talk, blah, 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 you know, and all that. And that was sort of called malarkey. You know? <laughs> oh, it says that it malarkey. was, um, it says it's spelled malarkey for somebody's last name, Irish last name. Malarkey, yeah. But it also could have come from an Irish slang, which yeah. is uh, used malarkey. And I guess what's going on is Biden will use a word and it's a very famous word. And it gets spiked at a point, and then a couple of years go by, and there's nothing, and then he uses it again in a place, and then it goes back up again. That's how quickly people forget about this. So it was probably a spike in 2012, and then it was a spike in 2016. Yeah, I guess the election. Using it he keeps bringing yeah. malarkey well, back. Well, Susan, there's just a lot of younger people who don't know these words because malarkey, that was more used back in the 50s and 60s. Oh my gosh, there's been more than 2014. They've been doing uh, word of the year for a long time. I didn't realize that. I thought it was. There's a Wikipedia page, Susan. Yeah, but I didn't see the links to it. The 2004, the word of the year was blog. Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. 2005 was refugee. 2008 was bailout. Ooh, 2009 was admonish. 2010 was austerity. 2011 was pragmatic. These are the these are the number one words. 2012 was socialism or capitalism. What? 2013 it was science. Whoa. Bye, thank you, I guess we should be going. This is this has been an interesting conversation. I didn't think yeah. that. Yeah. I'm glad, I'm also, glad I got talked into doing what, this. What words are common by I always found like the spell check what they want to change my words to to ones that are more popular out there you know i always find these autocorrects very infuriating but I, for the longest time right. for the longest time back in 2008 the my the spell check i had at the computer at that time that i had would change obama to osama <laughs> Yeah, Even I after he that. was elected, I it never it wouldn't accept Obama till he was actually inaugurated. 
as a real word. Oh, what kind of Republican God. computer did you buy? <laughs> <laughs> it was crazy. Here was this guy running for president, and I would type his name in, and it kept changing it to Osama. He had nothing. He couldn't find his birth certificate. That's why. <laughs> oh my God. It was, I know. I was really pretty. Co- I, 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 this is an honest story. And I remember, even after he was finally when he was inaugurated, I could write Obama without the damn computer trying to change it. <laughs> they didn't have the if you right click on it, add to dictionary function on there. Oh well, maybe so. And I never figured it out or whatever. It I might not have been there. I, but I, my I, point is still that the spell check was trying to change Obama to Osama, which does make you wonder who what what geeks are out there choosing what words are spelled correctly and aren't. Oh, no one's it's choosing it's an algorithm is, is it, it well, yeah whatever I well how the algorithm chooses it then it was like i just thought my god this guy's a major candidate for president and you're not gonna let me write his name out well i have Obama? that issue with my email address my email address is my first initial and my last name k mocker but it always <laughs> wants to type knocker k-n-o-c-k-e-r <laughs> I hate you gotta add to you gotta add to dictionary. To suggest something is one thing, but to automatically change what I'm writing it really pisses me off. Oh, you know, like Google Google off. search, like Google search does it to me. Did you mean oh, knocker? So annoying. Well, if it asks, you know, you know, do you really mean this? But but I still get the you know automatically changing it thing. You get the little oh, phone lines underneath. Oh. You can change mm-hmm. your settings, though. Yeah, you, you yeah. just add it to your dictionary. Just right click on the word. I know. Add I know. dictionary. But it's, still, it's just, you know, it's, but it's a good story. And I shouldn't have to do it for every damn, you know, or I just, <laughs> well, you know, I it shouldn't automatically change it. It should suggest. And then I go, oh, yeah, I was spelling it wrong. Okay. But to do, to automatically do it, here I am in the middle of, you know, and then it, oh, very annoying. Very annoying. All right, you guys. On that note, well, that was a fun one. Yeah, thanks everybody for hanging out for our fourth year. Oh my God, we're starting our fourth year. I cannot freaking believe it. Good night, night, everybody. Good night. See you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me.